All right, all right, all right. Uh, I think I gotta go mute some of the music on this overlay. We got some music playing that probably shouldn't be playing. We're gonna have to mute that up. Um, hello, everybody. We are live. I was just setting, resetting up my uh, other webcam because I got some new Pokemon cards I wanted to open. I actually found some from a while ago that I never opened. I have like a whole nother... This is like part of like a Pokeball thing that I had. I had a coin here too. Got a little Raikou coin. Uh, hope you guys all had a really wonderful Wednesday. We are live on the tube. We're live on the YouTube. Uh, give me two seconds to actually figure this out. This is not working. There we go. Okay. We got, we got Luminous. And, I feel like I haven't played Luminous and Platinum in honestly, what, like a, probably over a week the last time that I streamed it. So it's probably, I, I need like one, like one or two day break from Fortnite before I get back into playing it more. But we're live and I hope you guys are all doing so good. And I'm so glad to be here today. <laughs> hello, Firefly. Hello, Chris. Hello, Bradley. Who's, who's all in chat today? We got some we got some silly people in chat today. We got Common Pencil, we got Firefly, we got JJ, we have uh, hello Chris, hello Jessica, hello uh Evelyn, hello Nate. Hello to Jello. It's good to see you Firefly. Aiden, hello. We got Aiden in the building. Uh if you guys could do me a favor, if you guys want to consider dropping a like on the stream. Is this too loud for you guys? Is that too loud or is it a good volume? Hopefully it's a good volume. Um, that should be fine actually. I thought I still had I thought I still had that media source cranked up from yesterday's stream. I wasn't too sure if I did or not, but uh we are here. If you guys haven't been here for the Luminescent Platinum streams, these streams have been very fun. We uh have a we have a really, really cool team right now. Full of Pokemon that aren't even traditionally in Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl or, you know. This game's got Gen 9 Pokemon, Hisuian forms, custom forms. So we just made it to Sunny Shore City, and we're going to be facing the 8th Gen Leader, and then maybe getting to the to the Elite. We might try to challenge the Elite Four one time today, but it's going to be a little bit hard, because I, I don't think I'm going to... I'll probably do very well. Hey, Tangerine, thank you for being a member for this channel still for 30... Or, sorry, 25 months. I can't read today, sorry. <laughs> Hey Tangerine, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm gonna kick off the stream. I'm gonna go get the membership today. But yeah, we have uh we have like two packs of cards here I can open, and then I'm gonna. There's also gonna be like a. This is like still sealed. I had this from a while ago. This is like still just all sealed up. So we're gonna open this tonight too, along with some other packs I have. Dude. It's good to be live though, guys. It's good, good to see you guys. Hey, Draco, what's happening? Hello, Draco. Hello, uh, Baxter. What's up, Tyler? Thank you so much, Tangerine. I appreciate you very much. I got my controller all, all hooked up, so that's got a, that's all ready to go. I'm just gonna open this and see what packs are in this thing. Of course, Dilly. Am I excited for WrestleMania weekend? Of course I am. Of course I am. Boy, the, I got gypped on this. So we have two Raikou coins. And then I have a Chilling Rain pack. We have a Fusion Strike pack. And I have a pack of Evolving Skies. Well, why would it give me two Raikou coins? If you guys would like to do me a favor before we kick the stream off today, if you guys would like to guess the energy we're going to pull. Uh, I'm going to do one pack opening right off the bat today, and then we're going to hop into Luminous and Platinum. So for the first pack of the night, I got to adjust the, my light here too. It's like bothering me. That's better, I think. Uh, for the first pack of the night, I am going to guess. Let me seal that up. For pack one of the night, I'm going to guess water energy yeah, I got that closed thank the lord that was annoying
Dude, the luminescent platinum music is just so good. <laughs> uh, I, I like didn't know this today, but if you leave this um, just like playing, it'll replay the intro and the music over and over again. So but I was like before I was like closing the game out and reopening it so you, I could show you guys like the intro when I was going live. But it just it just recycles and replays every day, which is, and I never even knew that. Banana, na 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 Hey, hey, it's so good to see you, my dude. He's back on the grind again. I'm back adding more copies of the DS era of games to my collection. What up, Aeth? How you doing, dude? Welcome back, man. Okay, for the first pack. Tonight. I think I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with fighting, I think. That sounds, that sounds like a pretty... That's like a pretty good guess. We're gonna go fighting energy for the first pack of the night here. Bro, this music is just beautifully, it's it's just, it's amazing. Hey, hey, hey. yo, JJ, what are you doing, man? Thank you so much. JJ, you're the best, dude. All right, uh, I guess I shouldn't give those, I, I've been playing the TCG, but do I wanna give the code cards away? I don't need the packs for Fusion Strike. I'm just so used to giving code cards out like that. Do I give this code card away today? Do I do I not? I mean I already did, so like but like I mean for like future cards that I pull. Do I want to give the packs away for the future? Or the, the code cards for the future packs away, or do I just I'll just give them away today. I, I don't really have plans for these. Alright, here we go. I think for this set it's still four from the back, I think. I think we're still four from the back. Wow, guys, I legit called it. Believe it or not, I legit called it. Well, I don't know how I did that today, but I did. We're off to a beautiful start with that. Can you believe it? I said fighting, and it's actually fighting. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to finish... Uh, we're going to finish... Luminous and Platinum today, or maybe next week. Because I, I don't really plan on playing this more than just tonight, but uh, once I finish this game, we're going to move on to, uh, what's it called? Cobblemon. Anyways, we have a Fighting Energy. We have a Shauna card. We have a Victini. We have a Electric. Electric. We have a Sandy Gast. We have a Plusel. We have a Vulpix. We have a Meltan. I like Meltan a lot. Meltan's cool. We have a Toxel. Dude. I, it's weird. I think Araquanid's in my top six favorite Pokemon of all time out of nowhere all of a sudden. The more that I, I look at Dewpider and Araquanid, the more I love these two. He's like one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Everyone's favorite Pokemon that's ever been released, Huntail. Everyone's favorite. It's just weird because I, I, I used uh, Araquanid when I played through Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. So I guess I had that bond with it. And then the more that I look at it, like the more that I see it now and look at it, I just love Araquanid. All right, here we go. I gotta make sure my controller is all plugged in. This could be the final Luminous and Platinum stream that we're gonna have. So I wanna thank all of you for being here today. Thank you, everyone that's enjoyed this game alongside of me. I really appreciate you. Everyone that's been here for, through all the streams, I appreciate you. And we have like four more packs, but we're gonna, we're gonna open these all tonight too. Thanks, JJ. I gotta keep up my streak for my longest my my channel is this is your longest membership jj i i just say that because I, I know you like i i see you in streams like pretty often i know you're like an avid fan of streams my, my, there's no way my channel is your longest membership 
There's no way. Really? There's no way. I appreciate it so much. I don't know. Well, we have to go. Um, so what's really cool about this is my favorite gym leader from the from Generation Two. She's actually like in the town we're in right now. Her name her name is Jasmine. Wait, why is that not working? So, I think the last time we left off, we were like talking to Jasmine. She's in this town right here. Well, hello there, Stephalophagus. Hi, Steph. <laughs> so we're in we're in uh, Sunny Shore City right now. This is where we, we last left the game off. I remember we came and we, we talked to Jasmine. The, the, she's my favorite gym leader that's ever been a gym leader from Gen 2. It's so cool that she actually is in Sunny Shore. I, I always forget about that. My name is Jasmine and I'm a gym leader. I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. All right, do you guys hear the volume? Do you guys hear music and everything? Is there music? Everything sound good? Everything look good? I hope. Steph, it's really good to see you. Yeah, me too. Like, she's one of the best gym leaders of all time, in my opinion. I really like Jasmine. I really like Jasmine a lot. So, this is what... This might be the last team that I have that I try to challenge the, the whole Pokemon League with. We're very close to beating this game. So we have my Ursaluna. His name is Knucklehead. We have Big Hammer Bex. She's a Tinkaton. Love her. My Probably my, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Beaconella. We have Kanga the Kingdra. We have McQueen the Electrode. And we have Chronix the Crystallonix. I think we have a good shot of beating the whole the whole game today. I just we we're, we had to go buy some more like um, potions, revives, elixirs, and ethers. We got to buy all that stuff today. Yeah, I think uh, we look at how much money we have from like beating all the trainers I beat last time I streamed. So we're like really good on money for right now. We're chilling on money, big chilling on money. If you guys uh, are just joining us, this is a, uh, uh, it's a ROM hack. I got to put that in actually in the actual pin message, I think. I'm going to make a new light goal. I'm going to put light goal 100. BDSP is a ROM hack of... Brilliant, Diamond, and Shining, Pearl, I can't talk about how I'm playing it. Boo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Hey, Shelly. You know what day it is today? <laughs> well, it's not that day anymore. It was hump day, though. <laughs> I hope you had a good week. This week is flying by, isn't it, Shelly? Oh, my hat's looking funky. I gotta adjust my hat really fast. Shelly, I like, I love your, uh, every week I love your hump day message. Your hump day message is always, make, it's always awesome. Thanks for being here, Shelly. I really appreciate you. So we are going to attempt to beat the, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I mean, I can't even like remember if we can challenge the eighth gym right away or if we have to wait. I think, did I, did I even talk to people in the town the last time we played this? I can't remember if I was talking to people in town. 
yeah so i'm not really allowed guys to like talk about too much how i'm how i'm playing this so if you have questions about it i can't really answer them like legally i can get in trouble if i try to help you guys get this game too so i gotta be very tight-lipped about how i'm playing this so i'm i'm not gonna answer questions about it i'm not gonna talk about it here so just keep keep all the like just keep the chatting to like you know I, don't bring that, that stuff up here i don't want to get in trouble please I'm trying to play this game with like with the with the least amount of issues I, I possibly can, you know. It is a really good ROM hack though. I've really enjoyed playing through it. It's been really fun. That's so nice, Shelly. That makes me happy. And then, I I know recently Nintendo's been cracking down on um They've been kind of cracking down on emulators and everything like that, so I'm trying to be careful about what I say and how, how I talk about this game. I don't think we talked to Julia last time. My husband's a sailor, and he's working off somewhere far away. I long for the day he comes back to me. All that waiting every day gets to be very boring, though. I know. How about you visit me, and I'll tell you stories every so often. Does that girl even, like, give me... Do I even get anything from that girl? I'm kind of hoping this is like the last Luminous and Platinum stream. Uh, hopefully we're going to beat it today. Wait, where does he, where did he go? Hang on, we got, I got to look at my map. So the, the gym leader's not even here right now, is he? So this town is missing a gym leader altogether, huh? Oh, is he? Is he in the? He's in the lighthouse, isn't he? He is in the. I think he's in the. I think he's in the lighthouse. I believe. I think that's where he's at. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he's in the in the lighthouse. Um. Do you guys do you guys hear like any other background music that's um that's not the game music? Do you guys do you guys don't hear anything in the background that's not this game, right? Everything should be good. Yeah, I think he's probably. I think you have to. I think you do have to climb the White House. If I remember correctly, I don't. I haven't played this in so long. I, I, I don't think they changed anything from like the original game. Yeah, he's up here. That's got to be him right there. I thought. I thought I did this last time I streamed this game, but I must not have. See, next time I next time I play Lego Fortnite, I'm also gonna build like a lighthouse. I I, I looked up. A good way to build a lighthouse today in Lego Fortnite. So I'm gonna build a lighthouse right next to my my beach house. Here he is. This this is the, this is him. This is him for sure. Oh man, you're right. I did say that, sorry. It's just hard. I when I'm like when I'm going live I'm, I'm always like in a rush and everything. Sorry. That is totally on me. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out with that. So you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm gonna challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym too, so I don't need to be there. More than anything, I wanna have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. I know they're they're going to give this guy like a, a lot of a lot of really I got to mute my phone. I think this guy's going to have like electivire. He's probably going to have a lot of really good electric types that I'm not ready for, so Yeah, man, you're always welcome to my Discord, Redbeard. Dude, if you enjoy my Discord, that's what it's here for, you know? See, I well, I have Ursaluna. Here, what I usually do first when I, before we challenge a gym, I like to just, like, use my base team. So we're going to bring in, like, my regular team, and if hopefully it's going to be good enough to beat this trainer... We're gonna bring in my. We're just gonna bring in. Well, I should probably level them up to the. Because you're in this game, you have like you can like actually use like candies for 
yeah, so we're, we're at... You can try to link your Pokemon, like, at the, the level cap, but the level cap is 62 right now. This is going to be difficult. We can get to the gym from this way, I think, right? Bro, it means a lot to me that you enjoy my Discord for real, uh, Redbeard. It really means it means a lot to me. So, thank you. I think what I'm gonna do today. So, if we beat the gym leader, um, I'm gonna open a pack of cards. Then, if we beat the first elite four member, I'll open a pack of cards. Second elite four member member open a pack of cards and then we'll do that and I'll open all the Pokemon cards that I have that'll be my plan I am a little bit nervous for this though maybe not you're not you're not ready for this Nick maybe not yo hi up but the beautiful thing is if we lose this battle if we don't if I don't win this we can always come back and try it again he seemed to be feeling a B2. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's getting, he, I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. And this this gym is the one with the remember the one puzzle it has where I think you gotta like move like those like uh those like giant gear things. I think that uh I remember how to do it. Because I, I struggled when I streamed BDSP a long time ago. I got a reward for you, Hotshot. Consider it payment in advance. It's a technical machine containing a real scorcher of a move. Is that overheat? EM50 is overheat, I'm almost positive. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at chat because I'm sure you guys are trying to help. Is DM50 overheat? It is overheat. Let's go! I mean, what else could it have been? Could have been like Fire Blast, but that's not 50. Okay, I like barely remember what every TM is. Yeah, me too, Dilly. I'm a Knucklehead fan and I'm always gonna be a Knucklehead fan. I was born a Knucklehead fan. I'm, gonna always, I'm always gonna be a Knucklehead fan. I love Knucklehead. Till the day that I die, I'm gonna be a Knucklehead fan. I'm never going to stop being a Knucklehead fan. Let's see if I can actually figure out these gym puzzles, though. These gym puzzles always always seem to stump me a little bit. So I guess we'll figure out if I can... We'll see if I can... Oh, okay. I, I understand now. I think it was the next room, though, that actually stumped me a lot back uh, in BDSP. No, I didn't like it at all, Jessica. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did you like my like goal? I did not like it at all, actually, no. It was funny, I'm just kidding. I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. It was okay. It got me to laugh, but I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna pin that. I said, there's no way I'm gonna pin that. So, do you guys, do you guys know is the Victory Road in Luminescent Plus is, is Victory Road in this game long? I don't remember Victory Road at all. I feel like the last time I played Victory Road in any Pokemon game, it was in BDSP was a, it was like a while ago. Does this game have a long vi Victory Road or is it not that long? Because I like legit can't remember save my life how long this is. I think it's probably short too, Dilly. I don't remember it either. Yeah, I don't remember it either. I'm trying to I'm trying to think like I don't remember it at all. I will say we have a really good team. I really like all the Pokemon we have on this playthrough.
I, I just wonder what this gym leader is going to have that's going to counter Myra Saluna. Because I know he's going to have a counter for ground types. He'll have like something like... I don't know what he's going to have, but... No lost. This this game has like a lot of Pokemon that aren't in BDSP. This is this is not BDSP. This is a ROM hack of this game. So they added a bunch of Pokemon like Hisuian forms. They, they this game adds a lot of Pokemon that weren't in BDSP. So there's a the gym fights are way harder. This is not BDSP. This is like a complete different game than Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. It's like a it's a ROM hack. So yo, what's up, Maddie? Maddie, what's going on tonight? Hope you're doing okay. It is really good to see you, Maddie. I hope everything's going good. Um, I want to use my Orin Berries up because I'm not going to like... Let's just like try to burn through these really fast. Party rockers in the house tonight. Ooh, Maddie, you're playing Baldur's Gate 3? I like it. Um. Yeah, probably. He's gonna have Grass Knot. I mean, we have a pretty decent Pokemon team here. I think we're gonna be like, we're gonna be kind of okay. I never, I've never played Baldur's Gate in my whole life, Maddie. I've never touched that game in my life. They, they said this game's gym leaders get really hard after like the fourth or fifth gym. But the hardest gym for me was like the heart home gym. I did that one third. Maybe that maybe that's why it was so hard for me, because I did it I did it so early on, you know? That might that might have been why I struggled with it so much. I think I just did it really early on in my playthrough. And I'm kinda hoping we get this game beat today. Hopefully we can beat the, this game and then um, we'll be we'll move on from it. That sounds fun, Maddie. Baldur's Gate sounds really fun. Are you really? We're getting a massive blizzard in Tennessee, so I'm assuming this will be my last chance to play for the next few days. I think we're like done with... You're getting a massive blizzard in Tennessee, Maddie? Wow. I don't think we're supposed to get any more snow in Michigan here for like a while while. I'm probably till, I, I think we're like dumb with snow here hopefully you guys are getting a blizzard in Tennessee for real that's kind of crazy I'm surprised you're getting a blizzard like that in Tennessee oh you mean Maine got you got you <laughs> got you I, I don't know why like I Oh, TN meant tonight, not Tennessee. I got you. Got you. Sorry. Feel kind of stupid. TN as in tonight, not Tennessee. I got you. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> My brain just went... I don't know what I'm thinking today. My brain just apparently, like... <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Sorry. It's been a long few days for me. That's crazy you guys are getting like an actual storm like that, Maddie. That's really crazy you guys are getting hit by a storm like that. Just be safe, okay? Mm. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this game has this gym has three rooms. So it's this room. Oh, it was the first room, this room, and the third room. And the third room is like the hardest one that I remember facing from like my first time I played this. So really, spot. You remember the Elite Four had two trainers that were really tough to beat, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to do our best then.
I think we have a good chance of being okay. I think, I think overall, I think we'll have a good chance of being okay. My team is strong. I, I have some vitamins. I should go buy some vitamins and stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna like soup up my whole team. We're gonna give them a bunch of vitamins and we're gonna make them really strong. Hopefully we can win. Hopefully we can win. Hey, Draco, that really means a lot to me. That really means a lot to me. Thanks for still being here. I appreciate you. I might stream some more Lego Fortnite tomorrow or some more, probably, probably Friday I will. I'm kind of sad. They announced that Aang is coming out next Friday and not like this coming Tuesday. I was really hoping that Aang would come out Tuesday with like the with like the new update or whatever. But it'll be in the game on Friday, I think. Or Thursday night, I guess. But I'll be definitely streaming that when Aang comes out. That's gonna be really, really cool. I think we just get, we're just gonna go through all the trainers here and we're gonna be doing great. We're gonna be big chilling. Bum bum. Hey, Sky, it is so nice to see you today. Sky, it's really good to see you here. Thanks for being here tonight. I appreciate you. We have a good group of people in chat today. You guys, you guys are the best. See, the problem is my earthquake's gonna be almost out of, uh, this is gonna be a problem. This game has been very fun to stream, though. It's been very fun to stream and very fun to play. It's just crazy because I know eventually they're going to keep adding more Pokemon to this game. They're going to keep improving it. And they're going to keep adding stuff. And I'm going to want to come back to try it, keep trying it and stuff. But I just, I don't know. Yeah, I did spot. I got the shiny Celebi and I got um, a shiny Mew as well. I was gonna end up, I was gonna try to shiny hunt Suicune in this game too. And then Heatran. And then Deoxys whenever I beat Dilly 4. And then maybe like some of the I don't know who else, but yeah, I did. We beat all of them. We got, I think we got like a Jirat, we got Celebi and like, how many resets was it for me? It was like, I think it was like a little bit over odd. So it was like one in, I got, I got like maybe 600 resets. And then Mew, I got, I got Mew in like 200 resets, which is really good. I don't do a lot of shiny hunting as of recently, but that was still really good. I used to only do shiny hunts here, which I like started my whole channel, but I don't really shiny hunt that much anymore as much as I used to. Okay, we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center quick. Hmm. Look at how cute Jasmine is down there. Jasmine's the best. Look at how she's an adorable gym leader. Jasmine's a really adorable gym leader. I really like her a lot. Hey, BMX, I appreciate you, dude. Hey, BMX, I really appreciate you, dude. The team's looking nice. Yeah, I, th I think... I think there's one Pokemon that I'm worried about that's probably going to give me problems when we face the Elite Four today. So I might have to swap them out for somebody else. There's one that's giving me problems overall, but... Going to cross my fingers that we I can keep him on the team because I love him. Okay. But you see, like, uh, in my so right now, money wise, we have like four hundred seventy-one thousand Poke dollars. 
I'm going to go to the Veilstone department place and blow it all. I'm going to spend it all because you can't take it with you. Funny how you can't wait. Funny how they wait till you're gone just to miss you. Spend it all. Spend it all because you can't take it with you. Funny how they wait till you're gone just to miss you. That's a, also a great line. That's a great line from a song. Funny how they wait till you're gone just to miss you. Hey, Team Rocket Grunt. Thank you very much. Anyone want to buy some Gen 1 Poke Tales? Only 1 million Poke... <laughs> Dude, that's such a good super chat. Dude, that is such a good super chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very, very much. That's a really, really good super chat right there. Anyone want to buy some Gen 1... <laughs> Dude, that's so, that's, that's so good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll buy some from you right now. I'll buy some right now from you. How much are you going to... Can I get a deal? Can I get a discount on those? I'm not even sure who whose like alt account that is. Who's who's who is that? Oh, that's Lester's banana, bro. Lester, what the hell, man? That's hilarious. Thank you very much, Lester. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. How is Lester's Team Rocket grunt? That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I want to buy some Poke Tales. I'll buy some Poke Tales right now if you have some for sale. Anyone want to buy some Gen 1 Slow Poke Tales? Only 1 million ruble. They're tasty. There's no way that is Lester's banana in the chat right now. Hey, thank you so much, Brooke. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Thanks, thanks for being here. Buffwa, you're so awesome. Thanks for being here. Uh, Beck, you're so awesome. Thanks for being here. How are you guys today? I, uh... My plan is... Here's the plan. I definitely plan to try to finish this game tonight. We're going to see if we can beat the whole Elite Four tonight. And I also have some Pokemon cards. So once we beat this gym, we're going to do an another Pokemon card opening. So, do you guys want to get your guesses ready for energies or whatever? Aw, oh, man. Bro, BMX, thank you. God, man, you're so nice. Thank you, BMX. That's so awesome of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for that, for those gifted memberships, man. That is so nice of you. It's not even funny. If you guys want to put some hearts in chat, can we get a lot of hearts in chat for BMX Forever for being awesome? Would you guys mind dropping a ton of freaking hearts? Like, give this guy all the love in the world for me if you would. It would mean a lot to me. Please show some love. Please show a lot of love to BMX Forever if you could for me, guys. I'd, that'd really mean a lot to me. Wait, I saw a message I wanted to read. Hold up. I remember when I tried to reset Shiny Hunt for Giratina and BDSP. I instantly gave up and just caught him. Draco, is that because like the resets were like four hours long if you wanted to try to Shiny Hunt the legendaries? You had to like encounter them and then you had to like <laughs> see if they were shiny. If they weren't shiny, you had to like close the game. And then the, the Switch takes like four hours to load a game up. Is that why? Probably. I, I understand that. That's the reason. They made it way easier in the ROM hack here because you can just like encounter them, run away, encounter them, run away. That makes it a lot more convenient to shiny hunt a little bit. But I understand. I understand. You gotta like take the game. You gotta like see if they're shiny, you gotta squint. Then you have to like uh, run away from the Pokemon. Then you gotta like go back to like the... And then you know what the, you know what the worst part is, Draco? The worst part about the whole encounter is when... Um, <laughs> you know you know why I think a lot of shiny hunters gave up when they were shiny hunting in BDSP? Because it involves completely force closing your game and the Switch's screen is so big and you can like see your reflection in the black the black screen when you're resetting the game or when you turn your switch off and turn it back on. Or I guess like you, when you close the game, like obviously you're gonna see like the, the black screen for a second and you see your reflection in the screen and you have a momentary you have, a, you have a moment where you're looking at yourself in the in the switch's screen, asking yourself, what am I doing with my life? And then you're like, I'm done with shiny hunting. I'm, I'm wasting so much time on this. And then you move on to other stuff because like 
it's always when you see yourself on the screen, you see yourself looking back at yourself, that it makes you like have like a wake up moment. You're like, I can't do this right now. I'm not wasting time on this, you know? Or like when your phone dies, like let's say like you're before bed, like you're scrolling on your phone and then you're, you're doom scrolling and your phone dies in your hand and you see your reflection. You're like, I'm just gonna go to bed. I've been doom scrolling for long enough. I'm going right to bed. I can't do it anymore. I'm not doom scrolling any longer. Ace Trainer Destiny. Hey, seriously, BMX. I just want to say thank you. you you've been one of those people, man, that have uh, really supported my channel more than anyone else has ever had to. And just know that you being here and supporting and being awesome, man, never, ever is unappreciated. So I love having you around. I love having you part of my channel. Thanks for always being here every day. You're such a legend, dude. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, Jasmine. I've been having a hard time IRL, so thank you for the gift membership. I'm really sorry to hear that, Jasmine. You have a great name, too. I'm gonna name my daughter Jasmine one day. <laughs> ja I think Jasmine would be a great name for my for a daughter someday. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna make her grow up and work in a lighthouse and have an Ampharos as a pet. I'm gonna make her live her destiny. Ooh, she's a lantern. She has a lantern. Does lantern have levitate? Does lantern actually have levitate or not? This is gonna kill me. Not quite, okay. Does Lantern have Levitate? Does not have Levitate, wow. I thought Lantern did have Levitate for some reason. Maybe maybe it does, but maybe just this one doesn't. I don't, maybe, maybe Lantern doesn't have Levitate at all. I might, I might just be, I might just be misremembering, misremembering stuff. I don't think he does have Levitate. I don't remember. Is, who, who's he? Who's he swapping into right here? I was I was trying to read who he's swapping into, but I didn't watch. Make it hot, make it real. Oh yeah, they made uh. So in this game, Luxray is actually Dark type, so fairy moves are super effective on him. Wow, that one shot my Onyx. Oh, it was quite effective, right? Yeah, there was Iron Steel is good against Ice and Rock. That was quite effective. That's why it one shot me. That's why it one shot me. It was quite effective. That's so unfortunate. I almost feel like, uh, I almost feel like Luxray gaining the dark types a disadvantage because dark types have so many weaknesses that are so prevalent, like fighting, fairy. There's just so many, there's just, I feel like that's just like, it's just such a common thing, you know, like, okay. This, this, this gym for, uh, for Kingdra is going to be like a no-go, so I can't really use Kingdra in this gym. I'm just gonna hope that we use Brick Break. We get a, we get a, oh, I'm, I'm dead. I didn't think that he had, he had a, like any move that would be effective against me. This is, this is not even the gym leader. We're already struggling kind of hard. Here's what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna bring him back Knucklehead.
And I think we're gonna use like a hyper potion. Do I have a max potion on me? Yeah. He's, he's gonna go. He's gonna go for like a extra sentry or low kick. Yeah. Okay. He went for extra sentry. Good. I think we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose at this gym leader. I feel like. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this gym. Da, 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 da. Hey, thank you so much, Tyler. Lurking while grinding my star path in Dreamlight Valley. You're the best. Thank you for lurking here while you're doing that. It, it, it really means the world to me. Thanks for lurking and being here while you're grinding your star path. I really appreciate that. I haven't played Dreamlight Valley in like, I don't know, man. The last time I played Dreamlight Valley <laughs> it was a long time ago. Thank you, ABMX. One more time. Thank you for the five gifties, bro. It means the world to me. I appreciate you. I love you. <laughs> it means a lot to me, man. Thank you very much. I have 61 revives. I can bring my team back to life for like three years. That's a lot of revives. Oh, the gym leader's right there. I remember I remember in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I struggled really hard to try to remember how to get to to him. I, I like literally failed trying to get to the gym leader for like a good 20 minutes till I figured it out, so. I think I'll have a less hard of a time now if I remember how to do it correctly. Bum, 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 bum. I love you, Backpan, so much. You have no idea. I love you, back so much. <laughs> you have no idea, man. I owe you... I owe you... I really appreciate you, and I owe you... Ooh... Ooh, what Pokemon should you shiny hunt and sword? You should shiny hunt for... Hmm. Is Alakazam in sword? Abra? I don't remember if he's in sword. He might be. Now, here's... I don't think Magnezone has Levitate for an ability. I don't remember exactly. I don't think Magnezone does have Levitate. So if we, if we use Earthquake, we should be able to hit him, right? Yeah. It's always Magnezone that I think has Levitate, but I don't think he does have Levitate. Or maybe like he, maybe it's just one of his abilities and he doesn't always have it. But you would think if like he did have Levitate, I don't think he does. It's, it's always like Fortress that I'm always, I'm always confused about. It's always like uh, Magnezone. Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think he has Levitate. Hey, Mumsy, I appreciate you. <laughs> the lurking the lurking uh the zone is crowded today thank you it's all good though lurkers are appreciated thanks mumsy i i really appreciate you though wait is there a way that I, do i have to turn the electricity off here wait huh I gotta, I think this is how I got stuck last time, right? Oh no, no, you, you can walk under that. Oh my God. Dude, it, doesn't it look like that? Like you're not supposed to be able to walk through that? That's what I got confused on the first time I played this game. That's why I can figure it out. Cause it, it looks like you're not supposed to be able to walk through that, you know? That's what, that's, that's what I, that, that's what I always got confused on. Like, it just looks like it's impossible to walk through that, but it's not. Like it would, it would look like you like were maybe it's supposed to like turn the power off first, and then maybe once you turn the power off, you're able to like. And this is like, like an electric gym, so wouldn't you think that like turning the power off before you face a gym leader would, would be like maybe like a gimmick they would have? I don't know. That's just like that's just what my head goes to, you know. Ah. Uh. 
Ampharos is like one of the best Pokemon of all time. It's like overall like peak design. I love Ampharos. I love Ampharos so much. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any Pokemon that like I think we're going to be able to take this attack and we're going to live it. Yeah. Wow. The, he like, that was like, we survived that with a lot left. <laughs> we had a lot left after that one. That was beautiful. Okay. I'm going to send main trick out. See, I think the uh, Ursaluna will be pretty much the, the best thing that's going to carry me through this whole gym. I just got to make sure I keep him alive. But if, if uh, there's going to, I think that you, I think, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Electivire. My, my brain's barely working today. I think Electivire has Grass Knot, though, or Grass. No, no there's no Grass Punch. <laughs> There's no grass punch. But I think that um this shouldn't do any damage at all. Wow. What do I know? It actually killed me. I said that shouldn't do too much damage. I'm wrong. Okay with me. I think this is the last trainer in this gym though. So after we beat this trainer, hmm, I think we can go heal up and we just have, we just have the gym leader left. We got this. Really, Jessica, you don't like Ampharos? That's illegal, ma'am. Ooh, I think he does. Ha does he have lightning rod? I don't know if he has lightning rod. He might. He doesn't. He, like, you would think yeah, he would have lightning rod. It wouldn't be a great ability for him anyways. But he's got like an actual like rod sticking out of his head. So wouldn't that make sense? Wouldn't having lightning rod for an ability make sense? That's funny. I, I like don't really know what abilities are common for certain certain like some pokemon so i that, that's like where i struggle a lot with like memorizing abilities i really struggle with that who's my least favorite pokemon I don't know. Probably Illumice and Volby are like pretty high on my list for my least favorite. Illumice is high on my list and so is Volby. They're both high on my list. Wouldn't even let me like heal my Pokemon up here. That's crazy. Dun, dun. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. <laughs> There's a lot of Pokemon that like I, I can never think of that I don't like either. Oh, you know, I think I do have a uh, one electric type that I like more than Ampharos, and that's probably Zerka Tree. I think if I was to be like a, if I had to pick my favorite electric types of all time, Zerka Tree is high on my list, but Ampharos is also high on my list. So I don't know what I'd pick overall between those two. I think I would probably go with Zerka Tree as number one. 
Especially if it's shiny Zerka tree, because I know shiny Zerka tree turns like a blue color, which I like. I like the bl the blue Zerka tree is very nice. So I'd probably go with that, but that's pretty high on my list too. Now the question is, are we going to be able to get through this gym with any without any problems? So I know I struggled the last time I tried to get through this gym. We should be okay. I'm nervous though. This room is not going to be too hard. Oh, yeah, this is the final room, actually. All right. Yeah, it's weird because I like frog Pokemon, but I don't really like Belly Bolt that much. I don't know what the like what is. What about the design? I don't like that much. I just don't like Belly Bolt that much. See, I think that's what, that's what we do, and we have to run all the way back down here. I struggled with this so, so much when I was playing through this game for the first time. Then I think we have to hit this, right? Why do I remember having to come through here again? Yeah, this is not. This is where I got stuck the last time, I think, too. Yeah, because like I, this is where I got stuck the last time for sure. Am I gonna fail in how, how, like getting through this gym again? Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. You come down here like this. You rotate this one time, then you can come back up the same way you came down. That's what that's what it was the last time. Then you came up the same way you just came down, and, and then boom, that's what it is. That's how that this gym is tricky as heck. That was actually really tricky. I forgot about that the first time I like when I when I initially played through this game, that actually did stump me pretty hard. And we have the eighth gym leader. The the eighth gym. Yeah, have you guys ever seen like the one version of Belly Bowl? Like where it was like redesigned? If this was Belly Bolt, it'd be my probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I personally think this is a much better design for it. And if, it, if this was the design, it'd be my probably my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's down here, sorry. I think that design looks so much cuter. It looks a little more derpy, but it looks a little more cute. I like the right, the, the right, and like, it looks like it's wearing a pair of headphones on the back. Little headset it's got on. I much prefer that design. The original design doesn't really do much for me. I, I just think he looks a little bit too, like, like a piece of candy almost or something. But this design looks a lot more cute, like a lot more frog-like, you know? I, I would never, I would use this on my team every playthrough if that was how it looked. I just love that design. I much prefer that one over like the one we got, but it is what it is. He looks a lot more happy too, you know. I know, right, Draco? It's way. It, it is a lot cuter in my opinion too. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna voice Faulkner. All right, trainer, or he's a challenger. It's not often a trainer manages to make it all the way here to challenge me. And when they do, they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. Ha! I'm Volkner, the gym leader. I'm going to light you up like you stuck a fork in an electric outlet. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but anyways, I guess we better get this done. I'm probably going to lose to him. I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how much fun it is to battle. All these, other, all these other Sinnoh chumps come in here and they're bringing a bunch of bringing a bunch of scrap Pokemon. I'm wiping. You see the scrap yard in the back? Those are full of Pokemon that I've beaten.
Here we go. I'm not particularly excited for this battle. I think, oh, it's a double battle too. This is the, I, we have, I haven't had like a double, oh, it's a, it's a, this is a double battle. But I think the first thing I have to do, it's gonna probably, uh, Tinkaton's gonna have to die. Or I, I think I just swap out Tinkaton here. And we have to bring in someone that has, like, who's not gonna die if I use? Ah. Uh, I think what I should do is I back out and then I give Ursaring a move, or I should give Ursaluna that's not a move that's Earthquake. I should give it, like, high horsepower or something. I guess Kingdra's gonna die. Uh, Kingdra's not gonna survive this gym anyway, so hopefully this will be good. But the good thing is Earthquake can knock out two of his Pokemon at one time, you know? I should use Protect. I should use Protect first. Yeah, I'm already playing this really bad. Because he's gonna attack Ursa Luna. Yeah, I should... I played this really bad. I played this really bad already, off the bat. Oh, I wanna restart and try again, kind of. I didn't start that battle very, very intelligently. I didn't know though, you know. I didn't know. Ooh, this, this, this the Elite Four is gonna really challenge me a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna be really in trouble. <laughs> I think I should revive Mercer Luna. Maybe that's what I should do. Okay. We knock out. That's probably going to be huge because I think he's got a, probably a mine in too. That could do some damage to me as well. So I think next turn I should probably heal up. Um, Luxray is burned. Oh, Lu Luxray has Flame Orb too, huh? Oh my god. I think I, I have to take out the Luxray, right? And I think I should probably use like. Let me use Scald on Jolteon. Eventually, I, I think Jolteon had a... Uh, oh, God damn it. Jolteon had Grass Knot, right? Who used Grass Knot on me? It was Jolteon, right? If I can knock out Jolteon, then I think I can bring back my Ursa Luna. That's huge. L getting Luxury getting Luxur right there is actually really massive. Okay. I'm not sure what he can do to my Onyx. This might be okay for the time being. Should I should I heal? I'm gonna brick break the Jolteon and I think, I think we're gonna use Power Gem on Rotom. Actually, he can probably use, oh, he's gonna burn. That's fine. Wow, we built, we're, I think I, I think I can actually knock out the Rotom this turn too. No, not quite. Hey Jenny, it's going okay. This is the the. If I win this, it's my eighth gym badge, and then we can go challenge the Pokemon League today. But this guy's already really hard. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night, Jenny. I I had a four win streak in Fortnite, so I won two games last night and I won two games tonight. So I had a four game win streak going in Fortnite uh, leading up to tonight then I lost the last game that I played, got third place. Do you think Ice Shard? Nah, it won't, it won't knock it out. It's going, it's, it's going okay, Jenny. It's going okay. We've been having some like, uh, some hit or miss luck. No way. He for sure predicted that I was gonna use Dazzling Gleam. We lost my onyx it's going okay jenny it's going okay i really want to see if we can beat the elite four tonight here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna use Grass not, is, is Grass not a physical move? 
And then I think we're going to use... I think Grass Knot is a physical move, so we're going to use Reflect. I don't know if it is or not, though. I, I really have no idea. See, the problem is... Hmm... And we, we, I have some Pokemon cards we've been opening, so we're going to do some more pack openings tonight, too. Okay, we lost my... I think we're going to lose to this gym, probably. And we're probably going to lose to this gym. Um... I think what I do is I'm gonna I'm gonna waste this turn. I'm not gonna waste this turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to revive my Ursaluna. And dude, like I should be safe. My max revives. I think we save we should save all these for the Elite Four, but I'm not doing that today, which sucks. I'll use one right now, I guess. I should be saving all of them. Yeah, we're just gonna get knocked out. I should be saving all my max revives. I know I'm gonna need them for later. So the first thing we do is protect so I get burned. And then I think I'm gonna put a light screen up. That's what we'll do. I can't talk about it, um use a guy. If I tell you, if I'm streaming and I tell you guys like how to, if I'm like advertising how to play this game, I can get legal legal trouble. But I'm not trying to get in legal trouble. I, I can't talk about anything like that. It's it's got to be keep kept under wraps. Obviously, there's there's ways to figure out figure it out, but I I can't tell you. I don't want to get in trouble. Now Rotom does have levitate for sure. I know Rotom for sure has levitate. Does overheat? Okay, overheat only hits my one Pokemon. Uh, you know what? I think I think the I think it was the. Ooh, I think we actually can still win this battle. This is not over. I think this is actually still kind of winnable, maybe. Ooh, I I think we're actually we're actually like semi cooking here. I don't know. We're actually kind of cooking here. Magna Zone goes down. I thought we were for sure going to lose this battle, but I think we actually might win. He still has Jolteon, though. Yeah. And that, that Jolteon right there has Grass Knot. So what I have to do is I just got to go for Earthquake. The, now that I'm burned, I think we're just going to we're going to be fine, I think. OK, did you guys did you guys see my reflector, my light screen fade? No, I, my my reflect is still up, right? My reflect is still up, right? I think that I think I still have my reflect up, I believe. But yeah, if I could help you guys get it, I would help you guys get it because it's really it's really fun. I think my reflect is still up. Did, did you guys did you guys see? I don't remember anything ever happening. Let's just use Thunderbolt on. Oh my god. I gotta hope that whatever happens next, I can survive it. Actually, oh, he's gonna use Grass Knot right here. Yep. I'll survive it this time. Because I, ha I have screens up. See, Light Screen and Light Screen is such a. Can I. Dude, we beat the, we beat the eighth gym. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, Ursa Luna is so awesome. Ursa Luna is like slowly climbing the ranks of my, my favorite Pokemon, too. I really like Ursa Luna. Wow. Wow, that was awesome. Wow, that was awesome. He came through. It was see, I love that I have um I love like Hisui and Electro is really good at setting screens up. And then when I have the screens up, I can set up with like, you know. This is actually a pretty it's it's not like the best competitive team, but we're actually we're making it work and it feels good. Ha ha ha. That was the most fun I've had. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. 
That's that's my that's also my favorite gym badge of all time because it looks like a lighthouse. Sunny Shore City is one of my favorite cities too, and the fact that Jasmine actually shows up here as well is awesome. Sunny Shore City, Jasmine's here. You receive the Beacon Badge from Volkner. It's called the Beacon Badge. No wonder I like it so much. I forgot it's called the Beacon Badge. Dude, that's like it's like meant it's like made for me. I forgot entirely that this is called the Beacon Badge. That Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall from your Poketch. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to, to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all eight badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you. I want you to take this too. I got some stickers. I'm gonna put those on a uh, Electrodes Pokeball. Whew. What's inside the TM? wild charge a tm you're probably never going to use <laughs> it's incredibly strong but it's incredibly useless i'd like to decorate one for for electrode oh you, have you guys seen how big waylord is in this game i don't know if you guys were here the last time i was if you guys weren't here, I gotta show you guys something cool quick. That's what I wanted to show you guys from last time I played this on stream. We'll do a pack opening here tonight, too. If you guys would like... Um... Anyways, so if you go in your boxes here, right, and we take out Waylord, they made all the Pokemon. When you battle with him, he's actual size. So this is how big Waylord actually is when you walk together. <laughs> is that not really cool? They, like, legit made him as big as he actually should be. So he makes it very hard to, like, maneuver around, but it's cool that he follows you that way. And then um, if you're battling with him, even in battle, he's actually huge. Oh, I'm so, I think I gotta beat him again, don't I? Oh, he, maybe we challenge. Maybe I think he. I think he tries to challenge me again when we get. To, uh... It's just awesome how big they made him. They made him actual sized. It's really, really cool how big he actually is. It's really awesome. Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got along made me, made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without fighting. It made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much. Metal coat. I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. I came from very far away because I wanted to get stronger. On the way, I met all sorts of people with their Pokemon. They all looked like they were having fun. I felt happy seeing it. Here, I want to see what happens when we... Let me try to encounter... I'll use, I'll use like my super rod really fast. I'm not even sure what you can find in these waters. Kingler. Like, look at, like, the size of him is actually insane. Willard's size here is really crazy. Chris, you have a really good night, okay, man? Hey, Chris, have a really good night. I really appreciate you. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Chris. It really, it really means a lot to me. I'll, uh, I'll probably talk to you tomorrow, I'm sure, at some point. If you guys would like to do me a favor, if you want to try to guess, um, I'm going to do a pack opening here. So if you guys would like to guess what energy we're going to pull, I'm going to do here. I'm going to open this pack from Evolving Skies in one sec. Bro, that was, uh, I like how they made him like actual size. It's really cool. All right. We, all we have next is the Pokemon League. And we got to get through Victory Road, too.
Let me talk to... Let me talk to you real quick. Yeah, he takes up like the whole screen. It's actually awesome. All right. For this next pack, I'm gonna guess. What am I gonna guess? I have no idea what I'm gonna guess. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen for the, to the pack. It's gonna tell me all the secrets it has. All right, we're gonna go with, I'm gonna guess fire here, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, if you guys wanna use that code card for the Pokemon TCG Live, you'll get a free pack of cards if you use that code card. I think it's still four to the front for this too. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yo, Allie, it's so good to see you. What's going on tonight? <laughs> oh no, guys, guys, guys! Wait, did, did I say fire? That's that's my second. I, I dude, the the cars talked to me. I put it up to my ear, and it, it literally it, it whispered in my ear. It said it said, "Hey Nick, you're gonna pull a fire energy." It talked to me. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not, maybe. Maybe I'm here. Am I going crazy? Am I hearing things? Am I losing my sanity? I don't know. But that's, the first pack I said fighting. This pack I said fire. I'm just we're we're just we're we're getting lucky today. Oh my god. Dude, I can like... I'm gonna have a, my own show on National Geographic called Card Whisperer. Yes. I think there's gonna be a reverse holo in this pack. Or... Yes, I think this is gonna be a holographic or... Yes, I think you're gonna have a, a special energy in this pack. And I'll like do like card predictions and then... Um... Maybe I'll also like... I'm gonna start reading people too like... You're gonna get a holographic energy in this pack, and this week you're gonna get really good news about a potential job offer that you're trying to hope for. Right, here we go, sorry. We're gonna go, we have a grass energy. We have a Zoelis. We have a Skiploom. We have a Raihan. We have a Dot. We have a Lillipup. We have a bag on. That's really beautiful. That that card's really pretty. We have a Litleo. We have a Lotad. That's a cool card. We have a Snow Leaf badge. No way! I think this is my second favorite Galarian bird. That's still cool though. I think it's my second favorite Galarian bird. All right, guys, just just for giggles, Hedger Tails. Just because of the cards on my desk right here, Hedger Tails. <laughs> the way that I binge watched that show. Here, Draco. I. I'm sense the pack is telling me something. It's telling me that, um. There's a struggle in your life right now that you're trying to manage, like you're driving a car down the road and you go too far left or too far right, and you're just trying to stay right in the middle, but you keep deviating to the side, and it's one of those things, and it's gonna be a fire energy too. Like, imagine like the most like pro like profound, like psychic reading, and then you just go like, oh yeah, and you're gonna have a, you're, it's gonna be a water energy. <laughs> Today with pack readings with Nick, I'm sensing a disturbance in the force. And there's gonna be a dark energy in this pack. It'd be so funny. That's my new. That's my new gimmick. It's, it's like, a, do you guys remember like Totally Kyle from um, from the Amanda Show? Totally Kyle. Like, bro, I went to put my shoes on the other day, and like, I put them on, and then I went outside, and I realized I would I put uh paper bags on my feet, bro. And I was like, no wonder I didn't tie him today. I just, I used to love Totally Kyle. It was really funny. Totally Kyle. All right, heads or tails? Sorry, heads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess tails. Sorry, I, I forgot to flip the coin. I've not revealed it yet. Here we go. Heads. 
Did I say Tails? I think I said Tails, didn't I? Well, it's Heads. Sorry to disappoint you. It's totally Kyle. <laughs> totally. Wait, Alucard. There's a new update for Power World? Dude, I didn't know they're gonna be updating Power World. There's a brand new update for Power World, for real? I didn't know that. Dude, they didn't like even like give a date for it. They just like, what the hell? There's a new update for Pal World, eh? Wait, there's wait. Why is the level cap? Wait, the level cap is now seventy eight. Wait, the why the level cap goes from sixty two to seventy eight? What? Why does the level cap go up that high? It went from sixty two to seventy eight. I don't understand why the level cap that that's by far the highest level cap has deviated for uh for me. Going from 62 to 78. Is that right? That's cool, Alucard. Maybe I'll play that tomorrow. Wow, it is 78. Wow, that's a really high level cap. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and level my Pokemon up that high. I mean, there's no point in not doing it right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a very quick bathroom break and then I'll be right back, all right? Give me a brief minute. I've already been live for an hour and a half already too. Um. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick, and I'll be right back. So, one, thank you guys for being here tonight. Two, thank you everyone that's lurking. Uh, there's a lot of lurkers today, and I really appreciate it. Thank you everyone that dropped a like on the stream. Thank you everybody that's, like, just, you know, spending your time here and supporting my channel in any way you do. Thanks for, if you guys would like, would want to join my Discord, you're more than welcome to join today. So, if someone wants to put exclamation mark Discord in chat, that'd be really cool. So, put that in chat if you want to. I'll be right back, everybody. Give me a sec.
guys we are actually uh we're back but i also gotta do one thing real quick give me give me a hot second okay <laughs> thank you sky i uh what i have for dinner today can someone guess what i had for dinner today someone asked what i had for dinner today can someone guess what i had for dinner today he doesn't know this but one of my favorite games is to ask nick what he's having for dinner so i can get ideas of what to make for dinner I don't think anybody can can uh, truly guess what I had for dinner today. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to guess it. I didn't tell anyone what I had for dinner today. Not a single soul. I didn't tell anyone what I had for dinner today. I didn't tell anybody. Well, asparagus is part of it. No, I didn't have, I didn't have chips and dip. No, asparagus is part of it, actually. It was asparagus was only one piece of the overall dinner pie. It wasn't the whole dinner pie. I did have some asparagus though. I like asparagus. It wasn't even. It was like grilled asparagus too. You get, do you guys ever grill your asparagus? I like to grill mine. Cause like you can like what like boil it or like broil it or something. It was not chicken. No, it was not chicken actually. It was not chicken at all. You're on the right track though, kind of. It was not Chimkin. <laughs> yeah, I had some slow poke tails. I bought some slow poke tails from uh from Lester's Banana. But no, it wasn't uh I don't think any of you guys were even on the right track. I haven't seen anybody on the right track yet. Not so much. I haven't seen anyone on the right track yet. Yes, there was a meat product involved in it. I don't I don't know if I've ever like talked about it here. Avocado ice cream. No. It's weird alley. Okay. My I have a hot take. I don't really I don't really like um pasta that much. Like on my overall list of foods, like Spaghetti, lasagna. Pasta is really low for me. I'm not really a pasta person. Much at all. Was well, not pasta. I don't, I don't hate pasta. It's just like not one of my favorite foods that I like of all time. But, um... I know how to make this, uh... It's gluten-free meatloaf. Because meatloaf, like, some meatloaf has a gluten in it, but I make a gluten-free meatloaf. I know how to make it like a, like a, very, like a individual sized. That's what I made for dinner today. I like meatloaf a lot, actually. It's one of my favorites. That's what I had. <laughs> I'll eat all of Nick's pasta. Thanks, Steph. You can have my pasta. You're more than welcome to have as much as you want of it. Thanks, Stephanie. You can have any pasta you want from me. I'm not going to... I'm going to let you have it all. Really, I like for me personally, meatloaf. Just, it just like it just hits the spot. I like meatloaf a lot. When did you stop? Like when did you stop having it, Steph? Like when did you stop liking it? Yeah, and it's it's weird, Ali. I I've like heard of that before, pants it. I've heard of that before. Is it is you pronounce it pants it? What is that? I've heard of pants it before, but I don't even like really know what even what it even is. I'm sure it's like uh, some kind of pasta dish, right? Okay. A retaliation move that counters any special attack, inflicting double the damage taken. I don't know, guys. We're I've I think we're about to for sure lose the, the Elite Four today. I don't think we're gonna beat the Elite Four at all today. So what we have to do, we have to beat four consecutive trainers in a row beat the champion, but they, they're all going to have really good teams, and I don't know if we're going to be able to, to beat them with what we have. Wait, Steph, did you unlock the actual, like, balance core skin, or did you unlock just the first core skin? Did you also see there's there's a, there's a second core skin you can unlock, too? I think you probably saw that, right? I was going to ask you about that.
Yeah, well, I think I have a tank. I need a tank in my team. I guess Ursaloon is not really a tank, is it? That's why Slowbro would probably be the best choice. It's Filipino. Yo, Ali, one of my friends, she uh, works in the Philippines. She's like a like a CEO. Well, not like a, she's like a close to being this like the she's like a like a I don't know if you like, like one of like the biggest like brand brand. I don't even know what you want to call her, but she's like uh, she works like a, a really high up at uh, uh, it's like Procter and Gamble, I think. Where is that the company? She was in the Philippines, and she used to be a lot in my Unite streams a lot, and she always tell me about all like the Filipino dishes they have over there, and like dude, I feel feel. Uh, Food in the Philippines just looks like it hits differently. I used to stream a lot of Unite, and she'd always be here for those streams, and she'd always tell me, like, about the food she was having. I'd, I've, like, never had Filipino food, like, pretty much ever in my life, but, um... But I think if you guys have never played this game before, what's really cool about this game in particular, uh, you can get these things that let you decorate your Pokeballs. So you can, like, place stickers on the Pokeball, and then when you send it out... The stickers have like effects you can you can see so like we have like the electricity stickers so we can put these all across the pokeball and every pokeball can have 20 maximum and what's cool is you're actually able to uh preview it isn't that cool so when you send them out there's like an actual like ele like electric effect that it has i, I always like that about this game <laughs> That's the strat stuff. My cousin married a Filipino man. God, your cousin's so smart. You got a smart cousin. I got to find myself a Filipino man. <laughs> you guys know any single Filipino men? I'm coming to marry one of them. Does your does your cousin's Filipino husband have uh, any brothers? By chance? I'm about, to go, I'm about to go get me a Filipino, man. <laughs> I'm kidding, Steph. <laughs> what about me? You, you're my. I, I, I was gonna call. I was gonna say you're my Filipino man, but you're, you're not a Filipino or a man. You're my Filipino woman. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, Steph. What about me? <laughs> You know I'm kidding. That's really cool. Look at how pretty that is. My non-Filipino woman. That's cool, Allie. My mother-in-law and her sisters made the best food. That's cool. You should tell them to open a restaurant. Well, wait, do, do they still live in Michigan, Allie? Or are they, are they like, did they also move away? Tell them to move back here so I can go to the restaurant. I can try their food. That is crazy. Allie found the channel recently through a uh, Kato raid, and she, she, I think she grew up like half an hour away from where I live right now. But she doesn't live in Michigan anymore. But she grew up like, uh, like, I, I, that, that's just crazy to me. Like, how do you like? How do uh, the world's a small place, you know? But how do I rotate this? Oh. How do you get the other there's more stickers? How do you like how do you actually rotate this? Toggle okay, toggle toggle list. That's how you do it. I can't honestly believe that. Let's just uh deck this one out and then we're gonna sail the seven seas.
It is cool. Yo, Trash Panda. This is a really cool ROM hack. It's... They, they took, like, the base game of Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and they, they made it a, a lot better. This, this game is, like, BDSP, but, like, like you know, miles better. It's really cool. That is so pretty. Dude, look at that. That's so pretty. I'm going to use that for sure. I want to make Pokeballs for all of them. I think I did one for Tinkaton. I, this one's still active. Yeah, that one's cool. The only problem is I'm not sure if I have like uh, like Pokeball capsules for all my Pokemon or not, though. I don't think I have them for... Look at the hearts. I don't know which one I want to put. I could actually put those on Kingdra's, couldn't I? Have, couldn't I? Or I could put them on Tinkatons. I have those hearts. Those are like really, really cute. Maybe I should deck out Tinkaton's Pokeball with those. We can put the hearts like on... Uh... Oh, we already maxed out of stickers on this one, huh? How do I remove stickers? Okay, this is really stupid. I thought I liked this, but the way that it actually like kind of plays out is kind of stupid. I won't lie. Na -na 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 -na. Put those there. I am machine. I never sleep. That's so cool, Allie. My fam's in Michigan and California. Hubby's mom and some fam are here. So did you move to be with your husband then, Allie? Is that why you eventually like left Michigan? That's cool. Do you like where you live now, or do you like do you like Michigan better? Do you have like a that's very cool. Okay, I can't place any more stickers. I don't know. I, I've, I've always liked the sticker feature in this. But I can play. I can place one more sticker. Okay, let's just preview it. That's kind of cool. I like how the top of it looks like it's like purple, like the hammer's purple. We'll leave that. I want to make a Pokeball for all my Pokemon before we move on. We can make them all pretty quick. Well, I think the smoke one should be on top, right? But I think the smoke ones look really cool because it looks like... It didn't even do anything. Where's the smoke? <laughs> There's no smoke. It didn't even work. Do I gotta put them lower? Why was there no smoke effect there? Is it, is it, maybe maybe Ursaluna is busted or something. I don't know why it's not working. That's also cool stuff. My boss is from Ann Arbor. That's also very cool. That's cool he lives in Ann Arbor. That is very cool. It's wild that so many people, like, so many people have, like, Michigan roots, and they also have, like, California roots. It's weird that people have, like, um... I know a lot of friends that, like, that went to high school with me here, and they ended up moving to California. I know a lot of friends that had that happen to them, you know? I know a lot of friends that took the trip. They moved. Let's go to the, what'd you say? Excuse me for wearing a bikini. Excuse me for wearing a bikini.
Wow, I'm really happy for you guys. We met through a English friend's creepy pasta Facebook page. I follow a lot of creepy pasta pages. I follow a lot of creepy pasta pages. They did a long time. He moved to me in Michigan, and then we moved here to uh, Missouri, right? Mo is Missouri, or is it, that's not that's that's not Montana. Montana is M T, right? Or M N? No, Michigan. What is M O is Missouri, right? Wow, I'm happy for you guys. I'm really happy for you guys. Cause I was like, you either told me you live in Missouri or you live in Montana. I couldn't, I couldn't think of that. I was like, is it Missouri or is it Montana? We're gonna be closing in on the, the Elite Four here like any time. I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, they were saying today that um Man, did you see what they tweeted out today about Lego Fortnite? They were saying that they're like gonna be implementing a f they're gonna have a fix for like the the problems or whatever. So it looks like it's possible we might get our old world back. It's possible we're gonna get back, but there's no guarantees. Hopefully we do though. They said they said it's gonna be coming out in the next little bit. They're gonna have some kind of patch for it or something. So I just wonder what the problem is with our world, you know? I wonder what like what's actually going on with our world. Like what the problem is. I don't even have any idea. I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, our first Lego for our, our first world is still not even um it's still down. Okay, that's gonna do some big damage. I don't know if you guys know, but like in this game they made a lot of the starters have two types. So Blastoise is now like water steel type, Meganium is grass fairy, Sceptile's grass dragon. Um, they gave they gave new typings to some other Pokemon too. They, they they gave a lot of Pokemon in this game like different like Fly, Flygon in this game is Bug Dragon type and he's not like a uh, Ground Dragon like he usually is. It's really cool. They did a good job like actually like cha like changing a lot of things up and I like how they've updated this game. Do to do. Yeah, it's cool, Trash Panda. And what's cool about this game is uh, you can pretty much every Pokemon from Gens one through four is just found like in the overworld. You can find them at well, you can find them like in any route. They have like all kinds of Pokemon. So you have the national decks from the very start of the game, and then um, every gym leader has four teams they can actually use. And when you face them, it's going to be one of four teams. So they rotate. They rotate teams. So you can never you can never like fully prepare for what they're gonna have because you never know what team they're gonna be using. So it's it's really 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 like up to chance and you gotta get lucky and hopefully your team can encounter their team. I just I just this has been a really fun rom hack to stream. I've really enjoyed streaming this. I know stuff. I know it's getting late for you. Thank you for. I really appreciate you hanging out, Steph. I really, really, truly do. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, hopefully we'll play some more Fortnite tomorrow. Guys, if you want to do me a favor, if you want to drop some big hearts for Steph in chat, can we get a lot of like, show, show, her, show her a bunch of love for me, okay? Drop her a bunch of hearts. Uh, just, it'd mean a lot to me if you would. She's very great. She's very great. Mm-hmm. 
Bum, 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 bum. I know, Steph. Have a good sleep, all right? I'm glad tomorrow you can work from home. You don't have to be up, like, at the butt crack of dawn. You're going to wake up and look at dawn's butt crack right in your face. First thing you see when you wake up. Like, ah, today's going to be a good day. And you wake up and dawn's butt crack just, like, right in your face. You're like, come on, dawn. You got to have your butt crack right in my face when in the morning like that. We should be able to blow through these trainers like pretty easily. No, 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 Jessica. I'm talking about like you know, like dawn and dusk, like dawn. Like I'm not talking about like an, an actual person. I'm talking about like the the sky, you, you dingus. No, I'm not talking about the Pokemon trainer Dawn. I wouldn't bring up her butt crack in my stream, okay? Her butt crack is irrelevant to the conversation. I'm talking about like the sky, okay? You're so silly, Jessica. Jessica, you. <laughs> You're so silly. Wow, I can't believe Slowbro like Slow Slowbro didn't even tank that hit. That's crazy. Poor Slowbro. <laughs> hey Steph, I hope you don't wake up in the morning and you don't have Dawn's butt crack right in your face. I really hope you can wake up without that tomorrow, okay? That made me very happy to know you wake up tomorrow morning and Dawn's butt crack is not in your face. Do that for me. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, they made, I think in this game for alligators, um, dark and water type. <laughs> hey, I'll pop. I love you, man. Huh? <laughs> Oh, Papa, you ever wake up in the morning at the butt crack of dawn and like you wake up and dawn's butt cracks right in your face? I love you, El Papa. Hope you're doing okay, man. I actually am so glad to see you, El Papa. Hopefully you never had that problem, though. I'm just being silly, man. I'm just being goofy and silly. Um, let me update this really fast. So thank you. I, I really, really appreciate you very much. Have a good night, okay? I'll message you later tonight, I'm sure. Do, 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 do. Hey, El Papa. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Hey, El Papa. It's good to see you, man. At the butt crack of dawn. Dawn's butt crack in your face. I, um... Hold up. Yeah, it's wild. It's, I was talking about it the other stream, but I think a week from today, my, my, uh, my dad's gonna be leaving to go... To Florida, and then my mom and her boyfriend are gonna be also leaving to go to like, uh, like somewhere in the Caribbean for a week. So like, I'll be like basically, like, I, I don't see my parents every single day, so it's not like I'm like used to like, but it's just it'll be weird knowing that they're both like out of the, not out of the country, but essentially out of the country. Might as well be. They're both gonna be leaving around the same time, taking both double vacations. I don't know. I might I might actually do a couple games. You, well, maybe I might stream some Unite next week. I'm thinking about playing some Unite pretty soon. I might even play a game or two on stream today before I wrap up later. We'll see. I'm not opposed to it. There's uh, the Unite Champions. There's like the tournaments this weekend, isn't there? Do you guys follow competitive Unite anymore? Anyone follow that still? I think there's gonna be tournaments this weekend. I believe at least. I wanna watch those. Hey, thanks, Firefly. I got your message today too, Firefly. I, I, I'll respond to it, okay? I'll, I promise I'll respond to it. I just really appreciate you, Firefly. You're like, 
you're a wonderful person and a wonderful moderator. I love having you here very much. So thank you for always being here for me. You're like the best. I know, no rush. But I did see it though, so I, I will get back to you about that. Billfish. Hey, Dilly, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually very excited for WrestleMania this weekend. I'll be there both Saturday and Sunday. Obviously, we're gonna watch both. We're gonna watch the whole thing together. We're gonna have a great time, Dilly. We're gonna commentate the whole thing. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time watching together. I know we will. I am very excited for that this weekend too. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Get a room. I know, man. Do you guys know anywhere that has like some cheap uh cheap rates for where two people can get a room together? Because man. We gotta, Dilly and Shay gotta get a room. I heard, I heard the Best Western down the hall has some really cheap rooms. Maybe you guys can go there and, uh, maybe you guys can, uh, <laughs> get a room. Okay. So I think once I get to the Elite Four, we're gonna go to Veilstone and we're gonna ball out and buy all the stuff I need to buy for the. Uh, for the those those fights, I, it's gonna be hard. We're gonna be struggling. We gotta buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way, Shay. Obviously, I'm kidding. Three ninety nine for a dumpster, eh? Sailor Zachariah. That's pretty cheap for a dumpster. That's pretty cheap for a dumpster. Dude, you know, dude I have a really... No, nah, I'm not going to say this. I have a sad story about me from like... It was gra it was the graduation night in high school. Ah, uh, I'm not even sure why I thought about this just now, but it's a really sad story. Story that I kind of want to share here, but one that I'm not sure I I'm gonna say right now. Just so sad. And when you guys said get a room, it brought it like brought back memories of like this night. We're gonna. So my surf fetch has something called the um, amulet coin. So when we beat these trainers, we're gonna be just like raking in the money. We get double money for beating trainers right now. So we're gonna be raking in the cash. <laughs> oh my! So I think I, Ellie, I was gonna uh, see your your answer about living here versus. I I wanted to read that message. I was curious. I love it here more because the sun is all year and spring is more than just my birthday month. Yeah. Have you ever seen the thing, Allie, where it, it it goes like in the order of like it's like this it's like the cycle of winter. It's like uh full it's like I gotta remember like I can't remember all this it's like full spring, second winter, then it's like uh the spring of the seat, then eventually because here like you don't get spring very long. It's like winter. Obviously you know this, it's like it's like winter, you get a month of spring, and then it's like hot as um it's hot as the balls of Waba Fett's feet. That's what it is. That's what basically what it is. I think it's better if I say the balls of his feet rather than just balls in general. It's hotter. <laughs> I just said it anyways, but it's hotter than the balls of Waba Fett's feet. And the, the summer here gets very like humid too. I wish we had more, like, more spring. We just don't, though. I 
I know. I said I said the word that I shouldn't say. I said it. Ban me. I think they gave a uh, Hisuian Electrode such a cool animation. Because I think I was born to be a, a grass type trainer. Like, as of as of late, I, I like Meowskarada a lot. I think Meowskarada is my new favorite starter Pokemon next to like next to Empoleon. I don't know. We can uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip some of these trainers too. Wait, did we unlock Waterfall for my Pokech? Yeah, we can use Waterfall. Oh, there's so many other caves I can go back and explore now that I couldn't before. There's a couple... Where's the, where's the, where are some Waterfalls at that I couldn't go to before? I know there were some. But see, the thing is, I could beat these trainers for money quick, you know? The more trainers I beat, the more money I can go ball out with and spend. Which is probably smart that I do that, you know? And like you, you remember how like in like regular Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, they uh Gyarados had like the, the flying animation. Every flying animation in this game they actually gave like a ground animation for. So they changed all the animations are different in this game too. So Pokemon that have like the flying animations where they it looks like so like wonky, you know, like they're just like sitting in the air like flying. They they made him sit on the ground like that, and I think it looks really good. I just swap out. Look at that animation. That's cool. Yeah, Ellie. See, like, it's weird because I used to like Squirtle the best, and then I like Charmander. From the anime when like his tail almost burned out have you have you ever seen like some of the newer movies like the i choose you movies or like power of us or anything because i watched the i choose you and that really made me like charmander a lot and then i also like I, I, over time though my 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 love is just transitioned from water to fire to grass so now i think i like grass the best right now out of the three I used to hate grass types though. But now I like I like Venusaur a lot, but I never used to like Venusaur that much. Yeah, we've been I've been playing through uh Luminous and Platinum for like on and off for like almost a month now. We've been slowly getting our way through this game and it's been a lot of fun. Victory Road. It lives up to that lofty name. Lofty. That's a weird word, dude. It's a weird word to describe a cave, isn't it? Or is that like normal, I guess? That might be normal, I don't know. Does lofty mean like, uh... Oh, Ali, you know what's crazy? They actually, in this game, they actually have uh, all the student Oh, sorry, I have like a... Uh... Oh my god, my comp my laptop. No, stop. I don't want I don't need antivirus. I'm trying to stream. I don't no 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 no, I'm trying to stream. Um <laughs> they have the Hisuian version of Typhlosion in this game. I can show you quick. And he's even got like a really cool walk like following animation. Where he, like you can kind of see like he like runs behind you. I was using Typhlosion on my team for so long, and then I took him off. I named it Soulfire. 
Yeah, Typhlosion's cool. I should keep using him. I just don't know if I want to. This team. Yo, what's up, Leon? Leon, how you doing, man? What's up, Michael? Oh yeah, Bulbasaur is my, one of my favorites. I uh, I actually got... I have a Venusaur plush right here. I like Bulbasaur a lot. He's really awesome. I just like... I, I like frogs and I like grass types, so Venusaur has always got a special place in my heart. He's really, really awesome. Actually, uh, Steph bought this for me. I was in um, California in October, and we, we went to Frankenstein's out there, and Steph bought this for me actually. So I really, I really like this plush a lot. One of my favorite plushes I have actually. And then uh, she, and then what? The last time I saw Steph, she got me this thing, this Comper from Ooblets. This guy's really cute too. I like him a lot. Bulbasaur supremacy, am I right? I'm doing good, Leon. Honestly, man, I'm doing pretty good. There's definitely some things that I'm trying to work through in my life, but besides those things I'm working through, I'm actually doing pretty good. Ooh. I, I think you were here. Um. It was crazy. It was crazy timing. I bought this mammoth swine from a woman that lived in Ukraine. She had like an Etsy store. She custom made Pokemon plushes. And I'm not trying to like get like super political or anything, but obviously what's going on, like everything over there is like, you know, horrible right now, but it was right before everything happened over there. So I think about the girl that made this for me all the time. This is like a Ukrainian Mammoth Swine plush. And he's, he's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time too. It was custom made by her. And I, I just, it's just, a, it was just weird because I bought it and then like maybe weeks after I got it, like all the stuff happened over there. But it's definitely cool. It's it's a weird shape for Mammoth Swine. It's like more like a football, but <laughs> it's a cool plush though. I, I always look at it and just think about all the stuff going on over there, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, Leon. Honestly, man, things are pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think I do need a tank on this team, but who am I going to use for my tank? I probably would benefit from having a tank, but I, I don't even know who to catch this guy. I don't know who I would, like... I could use Slowbro. I think I'm just going to try this team out. I'm trying to think of some good tanks that would that would be good against the Elite Four in this game. The Farfetch'd! I mean, you're right. I do, I do need a tank. You're right. I just don't know who, who I would use. I have no idea. And we're basically just beating these trainers to get a bunch of money that we're going to spend. And we're just going to go... We're going to go uh, to the Veilstone. And we're going to ball out. And we're going to soup up my Pokemon like they're, like they're all sports cars. Soup, soup, soup. We're going to soup my whole team up. Yeah, Snorlax is a good option. Yeah, we could definitely... Snorlax is definitely an option. I just don't know if I want to use Snorlax, you know? Because I'd have to take away... I don't know. I think Ursaluna does the job okay. It's not really a tank. I don't want to have two normal types. I'm not, I'm not going to take out Ursaluna, you know?
I just don't really know. I agree, though. But, like, I, I just think I'm so attached to the team it, how it is right now. I don't really want to change it. I'm really attached to my team. You know? So the idea of changing my team out right now, does, does Gengar have Levitate? Dude, I almost think he has Levitate. Does Gengar have Levitate or does he not? Oh, he does. I just knew he did. <laughs> just knew he did. I don't have Scrappy. So I can't, I can't even hit Ghost types. I just knew he did. Oh, what am I thinking, man? What am I thinking? I can't even hit him with Ursa Luna. That's, we're screwed. <laughs> Why is that a problem, Draco? My, my boyfriend doesn't like Snorlax because I hug my flesh while I sleep. Why is that a problem? That's funny, though. Why is that a problem? It sounds like a win-win. That's funny, though. <laughs> wait, do you have, do you have a Snorlax? You, you actually have a Snorlax. Ooh, it actually hit. It hit for a lot of damage. Do you, actually have, a, do you have a Snorlax plush, Draco? That's hilarious. That's really hilarious. So you do have a, a Snorlax plush? I don't have a Snorlax plush. I kinda want one though. I don't have one. That is so funny. What he's got to do, hear me out on this, right? What your boyfriend's got to do, he's got to. Is my phone playing? I just heard my stream playing on. Whoa, I think my phone's playing my stream. I can't tell. I'm like the other room. Is my monitor here? Oh, I think I probably unplugged my headphones from my... Yeah, that's what I did. My headphones came unplugged from my monitor, I think. That's what happened here. God, that was so weird. I just... Yeah, I unplugged my headphones from this monitor by accident. I was going to say, I was like, what is happening? Hey, Jacob, your boyfriend's got to... Eat a lot of food. Like he's trying to hibernate for the winter. Store some fat up. Become about as big as Snorlax is, and then maybe he can take the place of Snorlax when you're sleeping. You can just hug him instead the whole time. That would be a good strategy, in my, in my opinion. Just tell him, hey, why don't you just eat a lot of food? Like, instead of trying to lose weight, he can try to gain weight, and then they, once he is able to have that body that body shape and that body size like Snorlax does, then you can just hug him when you sleep, and then that'd be, that'd be a winning solution. Drake, you, you guys said, I think you said you're also like long distance with your boyfriend, aren't you? So is he like, is he like, uh, why does Snorlax get to hug you when you sleep and not me? Because I, I can understand that. All right, dude, I'm lost in the echo. Yeah. It's hard, Draco. It's hard. A lot of people in this day and age have been 
like are doing long distance relationships but i feel like in the past like and they were still kind of common but i think technology's made it a lot more possible to have those they're still hard obviously but long distance is not easy never will be but it's worth it man with the right person Ah, that's a long time to be together. That's so that's so long, Draco. That is so long. I'm happy for you guys. When's the last time you guys saw each other, like in person? I'm happy for you guys. I know it's real. It's, it is really hard. Well, long distance is not. It is very hard. But doing it for five years is definitely something that I respect. It's not easy to do that, so that's awesome. Hey, yo! So you guys saw each other in October last year. That was pretty recent. Kind of at least. Yeah. Dude, like my, my grandparents, my, my grandpa passed away a couple years ago. He passed away from bladder cancer a couple years ago. And uh, him and my grandma were together for like 54 years, I think. And they didn't have like a perfect, they, they had a pretty good marriage, all, all things considered, you know what I mean? Like, Except for my, my, my grandma would like nag him about something and he would just like, you'd have the most like, I'm over it look on his face and you just go. <laughs> they had a pretty good relationship for being together for 54 years. You gotta, I gotta say, but. It's just, that, that, that's a long time to be together with anyone. 54 years with anybody is a long time, you know? I can't even imagine, like, this, obviously I want that in my life, but. It's a long time. Wait, can I hit? Can we hit him with Night Slash? We're gonna die first, I guess. That's dope, Sky. I'm not happy for you too. Wait, Sky, are you guys also long distance? Dude, wait, I think everyone in chat is, is everyone in chat right now in a long distance relationship. Well, I guess besides a couple of you guys, are we all are we all in long distance relationships? Is that how is that how it's going? <laughs> I think everyone here is, man. Ooh, I can't. We can't use that move two turns in a row. I mean, it's weird to say, but I don't think Tinkaton's really a ta Oh, no. We're, like, 15 levels ahead of this thing. That's why we're, we're doing so good against it. That's why we're even doing as much damage as we're doing. We're just, like, so much stronger than half these Pokemon right now. That's why we're doing damage. We defeated Ace Trainer and Marina. I think she, doesn't she heal my Pokemon up? She does heal my Pokemon up. Wow, Allie. You guys were long distance for seven years before you guys are, are together permanently now? Wow. I'm, I'm like really like happy for you guys that you guys, I'm obviously like, you know, you can make it through that stuff if you, with the right mindset, you can make it through it. But wow, I'm, that's a, it's not easy to be together seven years long distance, so. I'm really, that's really cool. I'm really happy for you guys. Because you, you got to really be a strong person and be like a understanding person and like a compassionate, empathetic person when, you know, it takes a lot. It definitely not is not easy to go through that. So I'm happy for you. Yeah, it's just easy. It's easy to have hard days, you know? It's easy to have days where it's not easy. 
Oh, <gasps> you guys see what's back there? So all, I think, not all the birds. I think Ent Entei and Moltres are both in Vic Victory Road in this game. You can find all the birds in Victory Road. Isn't that cool? You can see Moltres back there. That's so cool. We found a Max Elixir. I'm gonna need that for the, the Elite Four for sure. How do you even get back there to Moltres? I think I read you have to beat the Elite Four to actually even encounter him, but I don't understand. I still believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can understand that, Allie. I was patient until I wasn't. I don't know. I think, uh, um,. I think valuable, valuable advice in any relationship or even a long distance relationship. Like, I think what I've learned throughout my life, if you're with somebody like that, is if you like, if you're fighting or something, or if like you're disagreeing about something, it's not always helpful to win the argument against someone that you're with. Because then you're with someone that lost an argument. I think you should fight to not try to win the argument, but fight to resolve the argument, right? So you're both happy. That's one of the most important things about having being in a relationship and that or that, that I've learned throughout my life with if you're in a relationship That's one of the most important pieces of advice. You shouldn't f Fight to win an argument. You should fight to like try to find middle ground and peace You don't want to be with someone that you just like beat an argument like that's not gonna help the relationship. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bad way to approach that They have a Rampardos. Hey, thank you, Sim. Speaking real facts, I try to. But like, I, I like saw like a, a lot of like my, my my mom and my dad like they would fight and they were trying to be right, you know. I think I think human nature you want to always feel like you're in the right, but you should like try to. You shouldn't fight to win the argument, you should fight to try to figure out where the problems are and how to resolve them, you know? I still struggle with that, though. Because sometimes, like, in my head, I think I'm right, and I want to, like, try to make that law. But I try to I try to always keep in mind that it's not the way to be. I still have tr I still struggle with it a lot. I really do. Not always easy. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. Thank you, Sim. I appreciate the kind words, man. Yeah, I'm glad that worked out for you, Allie. Because, you know, a lot of times it never works out exactly how you want it to. But then when it does work out how you want it to, it feels really good. When life works out exactly how you plan it to, which never always happens... It's rare that it, play, it plays out exactly how you want it to play out. Dude. Mammoth Swine is such a... I love Mammoth Swine so much. Okay. This is actually gonna do a lot of damage, a lot more than it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I, I'm rock. It wasn't that bad. I'm rocking ice type. I'm sorry, man. That's fine. You're a beautiful Pokemon, and I love you dearly. I really do. But I gotta take you down.
I think it's important to remember that like all of us in life are like very imperfect people and none of us are very easy to be with. And especially over a long period of time, I think all of us are hard to, to be in a relationship with, you know, even myself included. Everyone's in, a, every, no, there's no easy relationship. See, and especially long distance makes that a lot harder, you know? Because like, you don't have like the, always like the, just the time to be together and, you know, to enjoy things that couples enjoy. It makes it definitely strange things a lot. You, just, you really gotta, you really gotta be patient. And you really have to, um, takes a lot of patience, takes a lot of understanding and compassion and takes a lot, takes a lot. Everyone's hard to be with, myself included. Yeah, but if you're like, if you like figure it, figure it out, can we do a very beautiful thing? I spy with my little eye, Jessica in chat. You, Jessica, you, gross. Jessica, you. And what you really want to, what you really want, when you wake up in the morning and you go to stretch, you're like, oh, what time is it? And you check the clock and it's like uh, seven o'clock and like, you, you're not really like processing anything in like the, you know, in, in your periphery. And then you, you look in front of you and then you're like kind of opening your eyes and you're trying to figure out what's in front of you. And then you just see two large bun shaped objects right in your face. And you're like, is that the butt crack of Dawn on my face? And if you see that, you want to just like roll out of your bed to the left and you want to avoid that at all costs. You want to go right to the bathroom and, you know, get your day started. I swear to God, I'm like hearing something. Is there something playing on my computer right now? <laughs> Were you not here for that conversation, Draco? I was saying the butt crack of dawn. Steph had to go. I said, oh yeah, you got to be up at the butt crack of dawn, don't you? And I was like, you got two... You get Dawn's butt crack in your face when you're waking up in the morning. I don't, I don't know if you're here when I said that, but... Waking up with the butt crack of Dawn. I, sometimes I just say things and then... They're just stupid. <laughs> I'll never forget Dawn. I'm never going to forget Dawn either. I love Dawn so much. She's the reason for the season. She keeps me going. She's the reason that I'm here every day. Love Dawn. I thought we were going to for sure take Tortara out. I thought my Ice Shard would definitely kill it there, but it didn't. Oh, I have no... This is a ground type, and I have, I have only electric moves with this Pokemon. What am I trying to accomplish here? Guys, we smashed it. We, we already hit 80 likes on the stream. Thank you for 80 likes tonight. That's really awesome, and I, I really do appreciate it. Wait, were you playing Fortnite? Draco, like, were you playing? Wait, were you, were you like driving home or like, like in like Lego Fortnite, were you trying to get home? Probably in Fortnite, right? I'm assuming. I assume you're talking about Fortnite. <laughs> Trying to get home in that game is such an adventure, man. Wow. We're, we're actually going to come close to losing. I don't think... Is Meg Cargo ground type? I don't think Meg Cargo is ground type, right? It's just it's just a uh, fire and maybe rock. I think Meg Cargo is not ground type. We can hit it with Thunderbolt. The problem here is we we still I mean, this girl still has a lot of Pokemon left. But I'm sure she gives out some freaking big dollar sign that we beat her. Alright, we're gonna have to swap out somebody else. I don't like how this is going. 
<laughs> I was pretty far from home. Far from home. It, that was the wasn't that the name of the the second Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland? Spider-Man Far from Farm from Home, where Spider-Man like gave up the life of trying to ser serve a city and he was like a farmer or something. Spider-Man Farm from Home. He was a, he was a he was a he was a work from home farmer. Oh, I used the max potion on this Pokemon. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's so silly. Spider-Man Farm from Home. Yeah, so he like got like a little what do you call it, like a pitchfork, and you you like had like a some cattle and some cows, something like that. I don't know, I don't remember. Spider Man Farm from Home. Hear that, Spidey? Hear the cattle in the back? We're gonna be fine. We can take Starmie out. I love it. Sorry, Draco. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Sorry. All that for 4,000 Poké Dollars, man. People are just like... Let's go back and heal, have my team healed up quick. We're going to be challenging the Elite Four here really soon. At least we can, we can, go, we can go spend a bunch of money uh, on supplies before we do that. We have, five, we have 551,000 Poké Dollars. We can go spend a lot of that in Veilstone, which is going to be nice. Oh, why? What is happening here? Okay, I mean, I guess everything helps towards the Elite Four, so if we can find a full restore, then that's good. Man. I think it's important that we beat all these trainers. We'll get some huge dollar signs. This is probably on the way to the exit of the Elite Four, too. Just gonna, they have two wish caches. What the hell? Why do they have two wish caches? I like wish caches as much as the next guy, but that's a lot of wish caches. No, I do have the amulet coin. I have it on my surf fetch right now, actually. So we do have the amulet coin. It's still it, so that trainer would have given me a lot less money. Would have given me two thousand instead of four thousand. I just can't believe it's so low. I, I just heard the Elite Four in this game is so disgustingly hard that I'm not ready to challenge them today. See, my, the screens I put up? If, if I didn't put that screen up right there, that would have done so much more damage. They're doing double Earthquake, which is just kind of cheesy. Did my surface get KO'd? Wait, did surface get KO'd? What happened? Oh, he did. Okay, he's still alive. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's no way. It, it didn't even do that much damage. There's no way surface gets. He gets. I was like, there's no way he got KO'd from those earthquakes. That made no sense. I almost just cried. No way. We were just talking about Venusaur today. We were like legit just talking about Venusaur. Nasty plot. What are you plotting there, buddy? Oh my god, Lizzie, it is so nice to see you. Lizzie, we um we beat the eighth gym leader. So now I'm heading to fit we're gonna be facing the the Elite Four here pretty soon. I'm just trying to beat these trainers, and then we're going to be at the Elite Four like any minute now. But I'm going to go do some shopping at Veilstone first before we face them. <gasps> they gave me 
six, did you guys see that? That was 62,000 Poké Dollars they just gave me. Bro, where do those guys just get that much? That That's so much money. That rare candy doesn't even matter. They just gave me, they, that's enough to buy so many items that I'm gonna be able to, to use that, that'll, that'll benefit me. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money they just gave me. That was in Buko Bucks. That was not the way out though. I'm glad that we went to face them. That's like a lot of money that I otherwise wouldn't have purchased. See, I think this guy's once once you face this guy, I think you're very close to being outside the Elite Four. Or you're you're you're, you're very close to being outside the um You Licky Licky's disgusting. Hey Draco, thanks for lurking. I really, really do appreciate it. I'll see you back in a bit. Boobies. God, lit. He's here for about three seconds. Already saying boobies in my chat. Three seconds. That was a lot of money, though. That was a lot of money they gave me. It's a lot. Um. D -d 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 Filthy stinking rich. He's got a pincer. Pincer? Probably know her. Nice. I think here we send in this girl, she, this guy, I think this guy gives me a lot of money too. If I remember from like previous games, I think that this guy does provide a lot of the, a lot of money to you when you beat him. We'll protect first. Look close combat. Now we get burned. Now we go for the earthquake. See, I mean, I like the mark. I mean, Ursula Luna is pretty tanky. I mean, I guess it's a level 64 light to buyer, so what am I really talking about? He's not even that tanky. So, uh, Nenny, this is actually a ROM hack of uh, a Pokemon game. So th this is not like a, like the traditional Pokemon game. It's like a fan-made game. They just added a bunch of, like, you know, future generation Pokemon and, like, custom forms to this game. So this is not like a Pokemon you can really get in, like, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, usually. This is like a fan-made game, if that makes sense. <laughs> This guy should give us a decent amount of money when we beat him. I'm gonna guess like 20,000. 10,000. Better than nothing. I, th I think we are pretty close to being outside of the Elite Four now. I think we have to come. To yeah, I remember we come this way. I could go back and get uh, my team healed up though. There's, I think there's gonna be a trainer fight. Let's go. Let's, I'm gonna go heal my team really fast. I think there is gonna be. A, uh, I'm stuck. Just, not just to be safe and sorry, or just to be safe and not sorry. Not safe and sorry. That made no sense. I'll we'll just go heal my team. There's a free nurse Joy right here, so she's like, she's happy to do it for me. Boop boop boo doo doo. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. I want to see the chair again. You never see my chair ever again. I don't know what your obsession is with my chair, Jessica, but no. Never seen my chair again, ma'am. Forget about it.
I think this guy is one of the last trainers we have to face, though. I'm trying to think. Black Belt Miles. I think he's one of the last trainers we face. Man, all these Pokemon are like, they must all be IV trained because they're like 15 levels lower than I am and they're still taking my heads like crazy. They all have to be IV trained and EV trained. My champ, my champ. Hey, thanks, Ashian. Back from lurking. What up, dude? Thanks for lurking, man. Big fat denied. Denied. Okay. Put a reflect out. That reflect for sure helped me a lot. Nice. Hey, Hayden, you're so nice, man. Am I gonna win? I don't even know. <laughs> I really don't even know, man. I'm gonna try to win at least. Thanks, Hayden. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to try my best to win today. I'm going to try my best to not lose. The Elite Four is coming up, so we'll we'll be there like momentarily. I just got a few more trainers to beat, and then we're going to take them on. These weak trainers. Can I get like 20,000 from this guy? 3,000. With the amulet coin too, three thousand. I forgot there's water in this leaf four. There's more cubus than I remember. I'm gonna try my absolute best, Aiden. Hopefully, we can win today. I'm guessing this girl is gonna be a psychic trainer. Guys, I want to do a in the in like the future. I want to do like a stream where I do like a um like a little thing where I pick my favorite gym leader from every single region. Who's your favorite gym leader from Gen Three? From the Hoenn region, who's your guys' number one gym leader? I mean, like Tate, I think their names are Tate and Lisa. Tate, Tate, is it Tate and Liza or Tate and Lisa? I never knew how to pronounce them. They count as one gym leader, obviously. Who's your favorite gym leader or leaders from Gen 3? I'll wait till someone says my favorite if I see it in chat. Who's your number one of all time? Who's your favorite gym leader from Gen, Gen, Gen 3? Who's your guys' favorite Gen 3 gym leader of all time if you had to pick? <laughs> Grissy, that is so sweet of you. Grissy, that... I really appreciate you. Thank you very much for the gifted. That's really nice, Grissy. Thanks for being so nice. I genuinely appreciate that so much, Grissy. Hope you're doing okay today. If you guys want to put some big hearts in chat for Chrissy for me, can we get a bunch of love for her for being like so, just so genuinely awesome. She's been around my channel for a long time and she's always been supportive and she's like one of the best people, man. Show her some love for me. Chrissy, are you ready for WrestleMania this weekend? Are you ready for WrestleMania? I'm, I'm like so ready for WrestleMania, I can't even tell you. I'm so ready for WrestleMania. I'm looking forward to it.
Thanks, Chrissy. I hope, I hope all is well. I'm not sure if you guys... Um, I think Winona is my favorite from Gen 3. She's, she's, a, she's a really cool gym leader. I, I like Fortree City. Her, her name's Winona, right? From Fortree? Is that Winona? Now I'm like second guessing myself. That's that's gotta be Winona, right? Or is it? Is, is yeah, that, that's gotta. I'm I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna second guess myself. That's for sure Winona. Right? Unless I'm thinking of a different gen. I think that's Winona. From yeah, it's gotta be Winona, right? Yeah, that's Winona from I think. Hey, Mops, how are ya, bro? I'm I'm really proud of myself that I remember her name from Gen Three. I'm like proud of myself. Cause like it didn't sound right initially. I was like, is there a name Winona? I think it's Winona. But for like a moment in time, I was like, I'm kind of like second guessing myself. Hmm. See, I have a lot of these, uh, I gotta give my Pokemon all the Zinks and Calciums and Proteins I can. I'm gonna have to make sure I use those really intelligently. Like, my for special attack, I'm gonna give, uh... Ooh, I can't even raise it any farther. Or Onyxes, either. Well, we're gonna be in trouble. I should I should reset some of their stats, I feel like. Because, like, their, their EV training stats are gonna be, like, all over the place right now. We're gonna be in trouble. I think I spotted Kimberly in my stream. Is that a Kimbo? Dude, these guys better give me a lot of money. I, I need like, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and ball out on revives and max revives. I gotta go buy everything I can for the Elite Four because it's gonna be so hard. We're gonna be challenging. The, we're gonna challenge the Elite Four in like no time tonight, and I'm not ready. They're apparently very hard. Yeah, Winona's cool. You guys you guys know what's crazy? I actually didn't remember that Agron had a Mega. I was looking at all, all the Mega Evolution Pokemon. I forgot that Agron had a Mega Evolution. Because I was looking at it, and I'm like, I don't remember Agron having a Mega. And I, I like looked at it for a few times, and I was like, is that really real? There's a few Pokemon that I don't remember their Megas. And Agron's one of them. I was like, there's no way Agron had a Mega, right? But he, he definitely did. He definitely did. That was huge. I mean, we're like over leveled right now by a lot, so it's not that huge, but still. Dude, and then, I don't know, man. Here's my question for all you guys, all you Pokemon fans out there. If you could give one Mega to a Pokemon that doesn't have a Mega right now, who are you picking? What's one Pokemon that you think deserves a Mega right now? That doesn't have one right now. I, I should not switch him in. I should not do that right now, but I'm doing it anyways. Because I'm... I, I honestly think Shuckle should have a Mega Evolution. <laughs> and, like, you know how, like, um... You know how... My, if I can give Shuckle a Mega, you know how Shuckle has like, a, he's like a shell and all of his like little body parts stick out of it. I want like a big shell with multiple Shuckle's head sticking out of it and multiple arms and multiple legs. So like, it's like a collective Shuckle com community inside this giant rock. That's what I would choose if I could pick. It's probably a weird choice, but I want Shuckle to get one and I want, uh... Shuckle... Uh, Ampharos, Ampharos, I was gonna, I was gonna say Ampharos, but I, they already have one. Um, Kingdra would have a great Mega. Give Kingdra a Mega. Give Dragonite a Mega. Give Shuckle a Mega. Who else deserves a Mega Evolution? I'm trying to think.
Ooh, Mega Mammoth Wine. Mega Mammoth Wine would be cool. I would, I'm down for a Mill Tank Mega Evolution. Are you kidding me, Chrissy? Dude, imagine the udders on that thing. That thing would have the freaking biggest udders of all time. Mega Mill Tank? That'd be. It might be a little bit unsettling, but. That would be utterly cool. Um. I'm trying to think who else. Lapras should have one. I do agree, though, that they should go to Pokemon that don't. that kind of are a little bit un, like underpowered, you know? I agree with that, too. I don't think we should give them the Pokemon that are already pretty strong. That's a good, that's a good take. So, I think, like, Pokemon, like, that I think are really cool, like, probably needs one. Tropius would have a cool one. Give Tropius a Mega. Give a Mega to, like... I don't know, Excadrill. Yeah, the world's not ready for Mega Milk Tank. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it would be wait how much did i get for that money wise wow we i i almost have seven hundred thousand pokey dollars we can go spend before i basically leave for that's a lot is it where Moltres is no all that for a rare candy when i have infinite rare candies in this game whatever I made some money fighting those trainers that I, I'm going to need that to go to. I'm going to go to Veilstone and we're going to try to. Uh, let me come down this, these stairs. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Tick tock. I'm singing rainbows. Rainbows. It really, oh, Miki, it makes me very happy. You're gonna pop in here every morning since it makes me happy. It really does. Like, I really like seeing you here. <laughs> I don't think you're really a Pokemon fan. Uh, maybe you are, maybe you are, I'm not sure, but thank you. It makes me very happy. I, I, it really does, though. Thank you. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Thanks, Miki. You're awesome. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. So I'm grateful to see uh, just everybody, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't take it for granted. So thanks for popping in. <laughs> Mega Bruxious and I am not touching Pokemon ever again. Damn. Laying down the law. And Jack said, if they make a Mega Bruxious, I'm I'm never playing this game ever again. Don't do it to me. They should make a Mega Clam Pearl. Oh, they, they have a Mega Slowbro, don't they, already? Yeah. At least Slowbro got a Mega. You're, you're a Gen 1, Gen 2 fan? I respect that. I think Gen 2 is one of the best Pokemon Gens of all time. I respect that a lot. Gen 2 and Gen 1 are like untouchable for me in a lot of ways. They're, they're just like great Pokemon gens. I respect that a lot. Like my best memories playing Pokemon are Gen 1, Gen 2, and then also playing through gen, the Gen 2 remakes and the, and the Gen 1 remakes. So I think that I agree with you. Like, there's some of the best times I've ever had playing this, like this franchise. Can I get burned early? Mickey, we're gonna be facing the Elite Four in this game today, and they're apparently very hard in this ROM hack. So this ROM hack made it so there's more Pokemon in this game, and the the gym leaders are a lot harder. So we're gonna have a very hard gym fight, I think. I'm about to get destroyed. We're about to get bodied. I can't believe that Marowak survived that attack that I just dealt to him. You gotta be flipping my bone around. You gotta be flipping my pancakes. You gotta be smacking me with a boomerang.
Oh. Wait, it's gotta be horsey. Mickey, it, it, you know what? Do you have a Misty profile picture? Is that Misty? Is your favorite Pokemon Horsey? Or Sea King or Golveen? It's gotta be Horsey, right? My I think the my my the first guess is for sure gonna be Horsey. If it's Horsey, I really respect that, because Horsey's a great Pokemon overall. Yeah, I think we're almost done with the uh Dragon Scale. Ooh, Mega Golduck. Kimbo said Mega Cofagrigus. I think Mega Cofagrigus. That's a weird. That's a weird pick, Kimbo. But I like it though. Is it Dratini? It's either Squirtle or Dratini. Or it's Star You or Star Me. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm going to say Dratini probably. Or Dragonair. This guy's got a Kingdra right here in front of me. This is. Oh, I thought I was gonna have enough to. How do we avoid? How do we like avoid a muddy water? Like that that attack hits everywhere. There's no way I just avoid that attack. I'm gonna guess it's probably Squirtle or something. It's not Horsey. Ooh, Vaporeon. That's a good guess. That's a really good guess, actually. That's a good guess. Is it Alteria Fairy type? It is. If we beat the Elite Four right away today, I'm gonna like have a I'm gonna celebrate so hard. Hopefully we can beat it right away today with no problems. How is that now super effective on Charizard? Is it because he's dragon type in this game? Wow, dude. Charizard is dragon type in this game. That's really cool. Well. This is one of the last trainers, I believe, in this hole. Hopefully we get some good money from this guy. He's got a Salaman still. I hate Intimidate. I hate Intimidate so much. <laughs> wait, you guys both like... Wait, no way. You guys both like Vaporeon? Ava, why are we not besties? That's so cool, Miki. That's so cool. That's so cool. Vaporeon, then Espeon, then Kanto Ninetales. You like, like, Quad Pedal cats or dogs. Honestly, you guys know how my favorite Pokemon of all time was Hisui and Lilligant? I think that's still the case, but Meowth Garada is climbing the ranks really fast. Since I, I, I've been using Meowth Garada in the Pokemon TCG game and in Pokemon Unite, so Meowth, Meowth Garada is for sure climbing their way up my favorites. But Mamoswine, Empoleon, Miascarada, Hisui and Lilligant, Ampharos, Coma O, Zerkatry. I like Breloom a lot too. Breloom, Venusaur are all high on my list. I like Cramorant. I love Cramorant, dude. Cram's one of my favorites. Flamigo's one of my favorites. I like Flamigo so much, actually. Oh, because we're gonna have a trip. We, we have to face our rival. 
There's going to be a rival fight coming up. I'm going to skip that gym leader. Wait, where where am I supposed to? Do I have to? Maybe I do got to fight them. I think we have to fight them and we have to keep going. Yeah, we have to go down. We have to fight this girl. Or this dude, sorry. There's a lot of hard trainers in here. Veteran Edgar. Luckily, we just overleveled for this. So my Pokemon are just like super strong. We don't have to worry about this. <laughs> Miki, there's no way it's your top three. There's no way you and Ava are the same top three. I don't believe that. <laughs> Hey, can you guys uh, not catfish each other in my chat? You guys are catfishing in my chat. Nick, I'm being catfished by Ava. Nick, I'm being catfished by Miki Dad. Miki Dad. I don't even know Miki's dad. If I don't know Miki like that, and I don't know, I don't know who her dad is. Okay, I don't know her like that. I don't know Miki at all like that. Okay, jeez. You asked me to call Miki's dad. I'm not going to call her dad. I don't know her like that. I don't know her like that. Dude, Typhlosion should definitely be a ground type. Typhlosion and Embor should both be ground types. Fighting ground. Or fire ground. Why are they not? It should be. We got the poison. Dad. <laughs> it's just nice when people in chat when they when you see them like just you know. It's nice when you're streaming and see people in chat having a good time and becoming friends. Makes me happy. Yeah, this is Pokemon Luminous and Platinum. That's what it's called. Thank you, Sky. I'm, I'm playing this on my computer, but I can't really, I can't go into specifics about how I'm playing it or I don't want to get in trouble. So I can't really tell you how to play it, but I'm playing this on my PC right now. Oh no, I got to face this trainer. I'm not going to face, no, I, is that the way out of the, is that the way out or is it not? That's the way out if I remember correctly. I think it is. I think up here is just an item. Oh, I think this is where Maltrace is actually. I think Maltrace is up here. Yes, that's where Moltres is. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, the way out was the way I was going already. Wow, that is so cool. God, man, that's amazing. That's like legit amazing. I love Maltrace so much. Ooh, there's like... Wait, there's like a... Can I go to the right? How do I get up there? Wait, wait, wait. I can go to the right. Oh, no, I can't. Can I? Oh, oh my God. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I think that there's a... Where does this take me? There's going to be somewhere, right? You can go up this way. And then I think there's also going to be like a little cave over here, right? Yeah, you can go this way over here. I didn't, I didn't realize you can go this way. Fun Zinc. Where does this take me? This is this is me leaving. This is oh, this is like the way out, probably right. Is that how you get out of this place? I I I completely forget my way around like this game all the time. I'm gonna go up there and see what happens if I go up there, because that might be a, a different way out or something. I don't remember. Is that where you find Giratina in this game? Maybe. This guy's gonna be hard. I just know it. The way that the way where they put this guy in the game, this guy's gonna be a hard fight. Ah, oh, Rebecca, Rebecca Tappy, Rebuku Tupu, Rebuku Tupu, Rebuku Tupu. Rebecca, I'm really glad to see you. No, no, no. He trains uh, in like the volcano, isn't he? 
Yeah, the, uh, heat train's not here. Heat train's in the volcano. About, about like the resort area. But what does that cave go to? It's gonna one shot me. Why wow, it didn't? Rebecca, we're gonna face the Elite Four today, so we might actually we might actually finish this game today. And I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm ready for the Elite Four today. But we're gonna be facing the Elite Four maybe today. Oh Rebecca! Oh Becky Tappy! Rebecca top 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 tappy tappy! Top top top! <laughs> We still got you on the team, Rebecca. You're still a, uh, you're still a member of the roster, and by and an actual very, very, um, very contributing member of the roster. You've been doing a lot of good today, which I'm very grateful for. This is gonna, this for sure kills me. Wow, it, it, I keep thinking it's gonna kill me, but it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out. To, uh, this guy's a nuisance. Nuisance. Rebecca, tap, tap, tap. Is Big Hammer finishing with a bang? Bang, bang, bang. Tap, tap, tap. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, yeah. We're finishing with a bang and a tap and a... Who's a what's it? Oh, yeah. You know it, Liz. You know it, Rebecca. We're banging. We're tapping. Boom, boom. Chakalaka. We're banging. We're tapping. Boom, boom, boom. Chakalaka. Woo, hoo I think we're going to struggle on the Elite Four a lot. We're probably going to... I'm probably going to walk in there and then... I'm going to get humbled. But we'll see what happens. Bucky toppy, top, top, top. Maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we'll be okay. I don't know. I think... Sw this is the worst swap in. I, I could have swapped into... Uh, what am I thinking? I could have swapped into... Oh, wait. You know what? That was not a bad swap in at all. Kingdra there was a good swap in. That was a good swap in. He's an he's got an Aerodactyl. Flying in Brock type. Well, so, well this this might be the last trainer before we have to face my rival again. We have a we have a rival fight, I think, and then we have a. We have a rival fight, and then I think we have to fight the, the, the Elite Four, and then we basically have the whole game beat. Besides, like, there's there's a lot of post-game stuff, but I'll do that later. Whenever I'll fin get around to that, but I gotta pee, guys. I kinda gotta pee. Rebecca, top, 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 Becky. Oh, wow. You're not quite ready yet. Have you been to Route 224? It's through a passage to the east. You can hone your skills there. So we can't go this way yet. That guy was not there in regular BDSP. That guy was for sure not there in BDSP. I don't think I don't think he was. Do you guys remember him being there at all? I don't remember. I don't. I have no idea who that guy even is. Rebecca, tap tap tap, boom boom boom. Becky, Becky, two belts. Who's this? I'm Marley. You are? Oh, Beacon, you're a Pokemon League challenger. I'll wait to battle if that's okay. Who the hell's Marley? Uh, who is this? Is she from Black and White? Who the hell is Marley? I never, I don't even remember this girl. Who the hell is Marley? I, I have no idea who, who, who is this? This is brand new. I don't remember her at all. Who the hell is Marley? Who the frick is this girl? Is she new? Yeah, we're about done. We're actually pretty much about done, Rebecca. Like, the game's pretty much over. Oh, did you? She's Oh, she's the shaman girl? Ooh, there's no shame in that. I, I honestly I don't remember her at all. How did I forget who this girl even is? She's maybe she takes maybe we go see Shaman first. Oh my god, we gotta. I'm, I'm switching into Ursula now. You told me this girl was an this girl's in vanilla BDSP. 
I beat, I beat this game three times. There's no way this girl's in vanilla VDSP. You guys are crazy. You guys are trolling me, dude. Can you guys not troll me? I like legit don't think she was. Maybe she was and I'm, it's been a while. I don't remember her at all. Septile's coming in, so we gotta, we'll gotta swap back into Onyx. Septile's a dragon type in this game, so. Top, top, top. Focus Blast. Wow, this thing has Focus Blast? Are you flipping my pancakes right now? Bro, that's that's so crazy. That's so stupid, but I respect it. This thing's gonna sweep my whole team. This this one shots me, right? No. Thank God, that subtitle is so annoying. She showed up in Gen Three, huh? But I did play after the like I played this game after the Pokemon League. I just don't remember her. We survived that with two HP left. Yeah, Rekka, we're gonna finish this game and then I uh I really enjoyed streaming this game. If we win today, it might be the last time I play it on stream. So this might be the total total finale. We'll see. No, I'll do some. No, that, that's not true. I'll, I'll do some shiny hunts. I want to shiny hunt sweet, uh, sweet coon. The crowbat's tanky, man. Tap tap tap. Hypnosis. Let's just use a. Uh, do I have an awakening? Oh my god. Just a berry. Seven, we have seven HP left. <laughs> my left foot itches right now. I gotta call someone to itch my foot. 1 800 itch my foot. Yeah, I already have a Mew, Rebecca. I can show you it. She said, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can show you Mew if you want to see it. It's really cool, Rebecca. I'll show you. And Weavile goes down. The luckiest thing here is that she's sending out a uh, fire type. It's still gonna intimidate, but I think I think one earthquake will This Arcanine's about to get annihilated. Was she the last thing I had to do before I feast I fa feast face the champion? But Rebecca, we have a. Uh, I've been saving up money in this game. I have enough money. I could probably like I can I can go ball out hard for like a day at Veilstone, and we're gonna get a bunch of items. Oh, Beacon, will you help me, please? I want to get through this tunnel. We gotta escort Marley. You know what, Marley? I'll escort you. Pokemon shouldn't be hurt. I'll heal them. Okay, we gotta escort her all the way through. You can't use Surf because you're with Marley. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a very quick pee break. And what we're going to do, we're going to get Marley all the way through this tunnel. We're going to go to Veilstone after we leave this. 
We're going to stock up on a few things, and we're going to try to face the Elite Four today, okay? Uh, I'm also going to do a pack opening when I get back. So if you guys would... We've been opening packs all night here. So if you guys would like to guess the energy we're going to pull, I'll, uh, I'll open this pack when I get back too, okay? Just give me a brief minute to use the bathroom, and I'll be right back, everybody. I love you for hanging out. I appreciate you for hanging out. Thank you, everyone that's here tonight. Thank you, everyone that's in the stream. Thank you guys for chilling with me. I found I found this uh, this Pokeball right here full of Pokemon cards. I had never even opened them, so this was this was completely full today when I found this. From like I must have like just found it and never opened the packs in it. So we'll do some pack openings when I get back. I'll be right back, everybody. I gotta pee really bad. I'm just gonna go. Ah, uh, you guys are the best. I guess before I go, since I already asked you guys, we'll see what the energy is before I go first. Uh, you guys can use that code card if you want it. I'm gonna... I, I've got every energy today right so far. I'm, I've, if I get three for three, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna say grass. Aw, oh, man. Alright, we'll do. We'll open the pack when I get back. It was electric. I'll be right back.
man let me adjust my gain on this mic i think there's way too much gain right now hold up turn it down a little bit we are back do i see uh jordan in chat jordan it's good to see you man it is good oh we're gonna we're gonna do pack opening i forgot to do the pack opening before we're officially back i gotta do one more thing jordan it is really good to see uh it's really good to see uh Guys, when I was in chat, I said, uh, shake that chair for me, shake that chair for me. I was laughing in my kitchen. <laughs> I was waiting for my dog to come back inside. I was like, do I post it or do I not post it? So I posted it. We should make a cartoon series with Nick's chair, who does different stuff. He can pop that on when he leaves. Like the, we can animate like a, a chair skit like a chair cartoon so like the adventures of chair me and like every time every day will be a new cartoon episode one while nick's gone jeremy goes to the store <laughs> all right i already had you guys guess the energy so will we get a good card from this pack who knows we have an electric energy we have a curly up i like agatha she's really cool Agatha. Flannery. Ooh, dude, Slowpoke's a really good Pokemon. Slowpoke. Coughing. Galarian Yamask. Snow Runs. I think I see something good back there. We have a Bounce Wheat. Porygon Z. I just saw one of those in my game today. And just a Holographic Cobalion. That's not a bad card. It's not a great card, but I'll take it. It's definitely not bad. Not bad. Not great. Jordan, it's really good to see you today. We're going to try to see if we can beat the Elite Four tonight. I don't know if we're going to do it or not. <laughs> All right, then I'll do it for you. You want King Kong beating his chest, Ben? I'm going to give you King Kong beating his chest. <laughs> That's my Ursa Luna going up against Cynthia's Garchomp. I hope it, go I hope it does come down to Ursa Luna versus Garchomp at the, the final fight. That'd be really epic. But I think... Uh, no, that'd be, that'd be pretty even. That's what we're praying for. Like the, the final showdown. We, we got to do a little bit of, I'm not sure, was this part of, I don't, this is new, isn't it? This this was not part of uh, the the Victory Road in, in regular BDSP, right? Did you have to help Marley and like regular BDSP get through this area? Or is, or this is all new, isn't it? Or am I, am I just tripping? I might, I might be tripping. I might be totally tripping. I don't remember this though. Yeah, this the final showdown. There's no way this is part. This is like actually in BDSP, right? I know it's been a while, but oh, so they made the post game. Oh, oh, it makes sense, Ava. So it's it's usually post game, but they made it not post game. I understand now. That's why I don't remember it that well. I probably did this one time, like in the actual, like first playthrough, and then I never did it again. That's why I don't remember it that well. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. I like that we have Kingdra. I just hope that it does okay in the Elite Four. I'm hopeful that it's going to be all right. Hopefully it'll carry us. Mm. Oh, no, 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 Rebecca. The, the final showdown is going to be a little bit later on. You'll you'll know. We have to beat four trainers in a row. And then we, we, we face the final girl. And she's like one of the best gym leaders or one of the best champions from any game. 
This is this is definitely not the final fight. Not quite. It's coming though. Why would you do that? Shake that chair for me. Shake that chair for me. Chair of me. Shake, shake that chair of me. Shake that chair of me. Oh yeah. I said chair of me. Shake that for me. Now you you'll know it's the final fight when you see me getting destroyed, okay, Rebecca? <laughs> That's the, that's the truth, though. I think I'm actually going to get destroyed by Cynthia. That's all, you, that's all you'll know. Oh, uh, Jinx has dry skin. I'm going to give her some, like... I'm going to give her some moisturizer. Oh, yeah. she does have a set foul, doesn't she? She used it last, last time. Yeah, I have a pretty good team, but I, I, I'm not sure I was going to hold up. You're not wrong about that, but there's... We're going to be facing a lot of good trainers, so I don't... It's just a different... It's a different ball game. I'm excited, though. I'm really excited to face the uh, Elite Four. Is that a critical hit? Why would he use energy ball on... Oh, for sure going down. Oh, I know, Jordan. Dude. <laughs> There's someone in the chat that's pretty good at, like, competitive Pokemon, and they came in my chat to warn me about the Elite Four in this game today. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous. Someone came to my chat to warn me that it's pretty pretty tough. Is that going to be on Kangaskhan? Nice. So, I think we're going to struggle a little bit. But you never know. Is that how it went down? The good thing is we're, we're, we're going to beat these trainers. We'll get a bunch of money. I can stock up on everything I need for... I think you can buy Lepa Berries in this game, maybe. Or you can buy Elixirs, at least, or whatever you can get. That's, that's what I'm really going to be. Uh, I, I need Lepa Berries. I need Revives. I need Max Revives. That's what I'm trying to really look for right now. Can we look for... I got to find some more items. So where does this place even take you to? Like, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I don't remember this at all. I do not remember this at all. She just got stuck, didn't she? Come on, girl, keep up. Come on, girl. <laughs> Sorry, I burped. I'm kind of weird in the sense where, like, uh... I don't really ever burp, but I micro burp a lot. That's probably normal, I don't know. But she's still stuck back there. Come on! Come on, keep up with me! Oh my god. Come on, girl. I can't believe she got stuck like that. Come on, keep up with me. Put your oh there she, there she goes. I can't believe she just got stuck like that. That's hilarious. Will she get stuck again? Dude, she gets stuck again. Oh my god, she gets stuck again. What if I just go on without her? Can I, leave, can I leave her behind? What happens then? Is this gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fight? Dude, she's getting stuck. Why is she getting stuck? Yeah, she's like, she's like on the treadmill, getting her steps in. You go, girl. Get those steps in, girl. Ooh, that's good. Get those steps in. One, two, left, right, left, right. One, two, left, right. One, two, left, right. You go, girl. That's a great start. 
<laughs> oh, Lizzie, that's so that's so cool. I don't micro burp, only hardcore burping. Hardcore burping, huh? That is pretty hardcore. Hardcore burping. I think I've ever hardcore burped in my life. I'm not a hardcore burper, but I. All right, Bayonet went down. Huge. I don't remember how long this part of the game is, but once we beat this part of the game, we just face the Elite Four and we're good. Okay, these trainers are like not even hard. We're, we're killing it. Wait, that's not true. What, I heard I heard girls don't burp or fart. That's what I've heard my whole life. Was I was I lied to you my whole life? I'm just kidding, obviously. <laughs> oh my god. Da, da. Hey, goes. It's good to see you, man. They don't, Nick. <laughs> I heard girls don't use the bathroom, burp, fart, or yeah. That, that's what I've always heard my whole life. Crazy. Hip no, hip no girl, no girl. Like that's not happening girl. Like not a million years girlfriend. Like no girl, no girl no. Hey girl, hey. Like no girl, not a million years. They should, they should have a regional form called hip yes, instead of hip no. Hip no and hip yes. Oh, we get a, we get some. Yeah, we, I'm gonna have a lot of money to buy to spend for the the, the elite four at least. I think I'm gonna be able to beat it today. It's it's just gonna be it's gonna require a little bit of thinking before I beat the elite four. It won't be as easy as other things I've done. There's, there's some hard trainer fights in this game. These would be a lot harder if my Pokemon weren't like already leveled up all the way. I think I'm gonna beat this. We're gonna beat the Elite Four in this game. And then after I beat it, I'll probably do some shiny hunts, but. I might do some post game stuff on stream. We'll see. Hey, girl. <laughs> Man, Ali said I. F Wait, you guys do fart? Lizzie said I fart. Ali said I fart. Do you guys do fart? Holy moly, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. The whole time? Like, you guys didn't just start doing that, like, today? You guys have been doing that your whole life? Man, that's crazy. I can't believe girls do that, too. You guys have, you guys have like, uh, intestines and, like, internal organs that process food that create the, the gurgles. Wow. That's wild. It's really weird when you think about our di digestive system how it works i know i don't gotta explain it to you guys but like when you think about how it works you put stuff in this end it goes boom, 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 in this in this middle part and then you know the last parts i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna describe that it's you guys know how that works but it is weird when you think about that like isn't it weird that you can't feel what happens like what happens to your food like when it gets to your stomach you don't even really pay attention to it but it just happens you know what i mean you ever think about that like you never really like like when you eat food like I sometimes it, it this is probably disgusting but some, sometimes when I eat food I think about what it's doing in my stomach it's weird man I know it's disgusting to think that way but like I think about what, what like I'm like ooh it's, 
I was like, it's kind of gross that the food I just ate inside of me right now. That's kind of gross. You know? It makes me feel disgusted. Like, if I have a ham sandwich, I'm like, it tasted good going down, but now it's inside of me. I don't want it inside of me. I don't know. It, it just makes me feel weird. I don't like having food inside of me, you know? I'd rather, like, just, like, have it, like, taste good, and then, like, it just, like... Oh, my... Lizzie, you're unhinged lately. Parting's only the beginning. You know what's crazy, Rebecca? You know what's crazy? Um, so, last night on stream, the last two games we won in Fortnite, we won the last two games. And then me and Steph played two games today, and we won both our games. So I, we, I won two games last night, and then we won, I won two games tonight. So I had a four win streak going on, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Four games in a row. Mm-hmm. And when you wake up in the morning, you guys ever wake up at the butt crack of dawn? You wake up, and there's just two ginormous butt cheeks in front of you when you wake up. You're like, hey, Dawn, would you move your butt? I can't see the... I can't see my wall. It's like, oh, yeah, sorry, Nick. I'll move my butt for you. I hate waking up at the butt crack of Dawn. It's just, it's just gross, man. I don't want your butt in my face. These trainers going down. I hate waking up at Dawn's butt crack. Come on. Come on, Dawn. <laughs> Amazing. Aw, oh, thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. If Nick was a teacher, I'll take Nick's class every day. I think I, like later in my life, I kind of want to go back to school to be a teacher. I've always thought like uh, it'd kind of be a... It's just really being a teacher is stressful in this day and age. I've heard like horror stories. And there's a lot of teachers that are like leaving the profession, you know, because I feel like I'm not like anyone that like um, I'm not anyone that likes to talk about like politics or economics in my streams. I don't, you know, that's a, this is not the place for that stuff. But like when I hear stories about like teachers having to spend money to like buy classroom supplies. I remember when, when I was in school, this always made me feel so weird. One, like we had to do like, like, uh, we had to like bring in our own like paper towels and tissues for the classroom to, do, to use, you know? Like the, like the school didn't provide like paper towels, like, like Kleenex to like blow your nose. And I'm like, dude, like this should be something that the government provides. I don't know, like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not anywhere close to like, you know, share my political beliefs or anything like that here i don't think that's the place for it but like it's just stuff like i just like shouldn't like the school have enough resources to have supplies that the teachers like they don't even get paid that much like shouldn't they not have to buy that stuff out of their own pocket for one and two shouldn't like we at least have enough like kleenex for the year for the, the students it just didn't make sense to me like how do we not have enough kleenex for this to, for all the students this year like just stuff like that that blew my mind but but moral of the story i, I think I, I do want to be a teacher one day I think being a teacher would be very rewarding. I think it'd be a cool profession. I'd like to, I'd like to at least, uh, you know. Because a lot of my teachers I had when I was in elementary school, I had a lot of good times, and I, I remember like really like looking up to my teachers back then. So I would like that. Someday. Yeah, Dawn's rude. No, she doesn't, Allie. Dawn does not fart. If I woke up with the butt crack, if I woke, if I woke up with, with Dawn's butt crack in my face and she farted, I would never play Pokemon ever again. Nope. What am I even talking about? <laughs> what am I actually talking about? Here, I, can, I think I think we're gonna. I'm gonna try to avoid some trainers. I don't really have a. I don't have a need to beat a lot of trainers in this game. I think we can avoid a lot of them. If I can do that, I'm gonna do that. Just because I don't, I don't really have to beat them, obviously. He's stuck again. Are you flipping my pancakes? I can't surf because I'm traveling with Marley. She, she can't even keep up with me. She's like behind me all the time. Dude, let, let me surf. 
Let me surf, girl. Let me surf. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing my butt crack. Can someone help me find my butt crack? I misplaced it. The last time I remember, I remember having it was... When's the last time I remember having my butt crack? Um, let me think. Hmm. When, when did I use it last? I have no idea. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to go find it later. I think I was at Meyer the other day. Maybe I like left it in one of the aisles. I'll have to call there and see if anyone turned it in. Guys, put a one in chat for me if you've ever been to a Meyer before. How many of you guys like shop at Meyer or, or been to a Meyer? Because it, when I went to California and I didn't see a single Meyer like at all out there, it made me feel so weird. Because Meyer's like my comfort store, and like going out there and not having a Meyer was so weird for me. I missed Meyer when I was out there so much. Hey, Colleen, what's happening? What up, Colleen? I think Meyer is one of the best stores for buying stuff like for buying like groceries and stuff it's kind of elite i know you have ally i just feel like a lot of people have never been to meyer it's like um it, it's mostly a michigan store but they, they have some in ohio they're in like a bunch of states but just like once you go start heading out west, they they're not they're not even there, and like south too. I think there, there's a couple that are like in Kentucky, I think, or something. There's some in Ohio, I think. There's some in Illinois, but Mich Michigan has the most, I think. Maybe I don't know. I just know here we have a lot of them, and they're very they're very common. Just imagine Walmart, but people actually get dressed before they go shopping. People look a little like, yeah, people actually wear clothes and it's a little more clean. Dude, I can't tell you, I've been to, I'm not judging anybody, like, do where you want, I'm not judging you, but, like, sometimes you just go to Walmart, and you're like, I cannot believe you left the house wearing that. <laughs> Thank you. I know life is short, so I'm not going to judge you, but it's just funny that you decided to, like, yeah, I'll leave the house wearing nothing. I'll wear, I'll wear, like, a really, like, revealing t-shirt. And... Like, where are that other places, the Walmart? There's kids here, you know? There's for sure kids here. Mm-hmm. You go to Walmart, people are walking around, walking around butt naked. Maybe just Michigan Walmarts. I don't know. There's some trashy Walmart around where I live. Yo, Kate, you been to Walmart? I know that Allie has too, obviously, because she lives, um... She used to live here. It's worth going to. Here, let me show you guys the, the Meyer produce section, and then it'll, it'll tell you guys exactly what you can expect when you're in Meyer. Meyer produce is actually some of the best produce. Some of the best. This is like a, a very, very common. This is Meyer where I live. And my produce section looks just like this, too. It looks literally exactly like this. Oh, that's my thumbnail. Nope. Oh my god. No, that's not, that's not what it looks like.
Sorry, that, that's not what I meant to post. <laughs> um, dude, why didn't it pop up for me? That's so dumb. Oh, I didn't even save right. That's so stupid. Bro, I just I just posted my thumbnail in chat. That's hilarious. That's a nice produce section. I can't. I gotta like. The, you, you you ever hate it when like you save a file, and the file saves as an AVIF file, an AVIF file. Dude, save as a PNG or like a uh, a, a JPEG. I hate when you download something as a as a file and it's like an AVIF file. Who are you trying to like? I, it's just so annoying. I hate it. You, no one can use it then. Like, come on, man. First world problems. We have, we have too many file types in 2024. Just save it as a save it as a PNG or a JPEG, and I'll be happy. Don't save it as anything else. It looks so familiar. Yeah, I think it is Ellie. I think Meyer's actually in like a lot of like the uh, Midwest actually. I want to say at least like 12 states have a Meyer. I'm curious now too. We have more than 240 super centers in six states, including Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, and Wisconsin. It's only yeah, six states. That's not that's not even that many. I think that Michigan has the most. Illinois has some, Wisconsin, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. I think Michigan is more known for Meyer, you know, overall. Yeah, I've been to Albertsons, Draco. I've been to Albertsons. Wait, I, um... So I know that Albertsons... I know there's a lot of Albertsons in, like, California, too, right, Draco? I think I've been to Albertsons in California. It's, like, a pretty popular grocery store in California, right? I think you live pretty close to... I think you live, like, somewhere out there, so... That, that probably makes sense why you have them, too. I think I saw him in California when I was out there. Albertsons. I'm pretty sure at least. Because, um... One of my friends the other day, she was telling me, like... She's actually a different, another streamer that I'm not going to, like, obviously say who it was. But we were talking for a little bit, and she was just... She told me what her, what her last name was. Because, like, she, she was, like... We've been friends for, like, a long time. Um, she's like, a, she's a pretty dope French last name. She's like, yeah, it's kind of complicated. Hopefully I marry a guy later in my life and I'll change it to a different name. And I'm like, just don't marry someone that, with the last name of like Smith. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with the last name Smith, but like, man, like having a, a really dope last name, like a French last name and then making it Smith. That's just like, that just feels like it, it shouldn't be possible. You're going to get like a maroon minivan with grocery bags in the back. You'll leave your life of a cool last name. If your last name is Smith, there's nothing wrong with that. Smith's, Smith's the last name, and it's valid, but I think... I like last names that are not very common. Like, like very interesting last names, you know? No, Narwhal, we're, I'm working on it. I haven't beat uh, Cynthia yet, no. Whoa! Wait, Ellie, you live in the same city that w the Walmart owners? Like the the what 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 family is it? The uh something Wall family. Yeah, we have an Aldi here. I go to Aldi all the time. Aldi's the best store. Aldi's the, and Trader Joe's and Aldi are my favorite places to shop at for like food. I like both of them a lot. Trader Joe's for the win. Aldi for the win. Hopefully I'm faster. Yeah, I am.
Is it really, Allie? My last name is really, uh, like, German and Polish. Mostly German. I have, like, a really German last name. I think my ancestors came from... My great-great-great-grandpa came here from Germany. Kind of a funny story how he left Germany, too. He, um... He, like, got in trouble with, like, the... This is a story that was passed down in my family for a long time. Like, uh... He lived in a small town in Germany, like my great-great-grandpa did. And, like, they were going through a really hard time. He was very poor. And... There was, like, a police chief for, like, the... But the sheriff of the town owned like a bunch of land that like he he hunted on. There was like I think there was like deer or something in the land. Just, I, I'll probably get some of the story wrong. I don't know it for sure. But like my great my great 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 grandpa like shot one of the deer because like his family was like super hungry. Like they were pretty poor at the time, and like he killed one of the deer and he got he got found out. So he was basically in, in trouble. So he said, you know what? I'm not gonna face the penalties. I'm just gonna get out of here. So he decided to like migrate here. He left Germany, and then he like brought the rest of his family over later. He came here alone, apparently. He, like, came all the way here alone by himself, and then later he brought his family back or something. That's, like, that's what I, I've heard from my family. I don't know. He's like, dude, I'm going to shoot one of these deer. He shoots a deer, and then he gets in trouble for doing that. And, like, that, for, for all I know, that story is, like, totally fake. And it's just, like, what someone's been passing, passing down for a long time, but that's what I've heard. Because it was, like, apparently, like, private hunting land that he wasn't supposed to be hunting on. Well, we can, we can sell that nugget for some money. That's how my family ended up here. What? Ellie, one of my friends has that last name. One of my friends has that last name. Do you have family here? Oh, this is where Shaman is, isn't it? Do you have family here that, like, uh... Those around. So I'm guessing we can probably encounter Shaman now, can we? This is got no. This is where you, yeah. This is where you encounter Shaman, I believe. I just don't want to go encounter him right now. I'd rather not. We can come back later and do it. I'm not trying to go through the the trouble of it right now. Unless I have to. Do you think I have to? Let's go back and see if I don't have to do this right now. And if I don't, we're not going to do it. I want to just go beat the Pokemon League really bad. That's all I want to do. All right, we're going to be facing the Elite Four here very soon. I haven't even... I haven't faced them yet, but we're going to do it, like, very, very soon. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, wait. You can't you canian. Mine is you can you you canian? Is that Ukrainian? You mean Ukrainian, Rebecca? You canian? Is that what you mean? UK is that Ukrainian or you canian? What do you uh sorry, I'm like I don't even know what that is. I'm guessing you mean Ukrainian, right? Was that apostrophe supposed to be there? Am I just dumb? I'm probably just dumb. <laughs> yeah, but your family is probably a bunch of like, bunch of like sculptors. Hopefully, I don't have to go all the way over there. Maybe, I can, maybe we can just go back and keep making progress in this. I'm guessing by now we can probably just leave this area and we can probably go face our rival. Then we can face the Elite Four. Am I going to shiny hunt Heatran? Probably. I can't go through here yet, can I? What? I got to go all the way through there still? I actually do have to go that way still. Wow. I, I didn't even know that. So I got to keep move, making my way through that area. I'm assuming that Cynthia is probably over there, right? This is so weird. We got to keep going that way to make it through the game. Doesn't even make any sense. It does actually, but... I like that the story is different. It's cool. It's 
pretty cool. I'll take it. Oh, you trying to make a pun? Sorry. I'm really bad at picking up on puns, Rebecca. I'm sorry. Or Becky, Becky, Wecky. Becca, Wecky. You guys are British? You guys like tea and crumpets? Wow. They're from... One of my friends lives in Oregon. He lives... Do you, okay. Oh, do you say Oregon or Oregon? I pronounce it Oregon, and everyone always gives me a hard time for it. Because <laughs> I know it's wrong. I always say Oregon, though. Like, Oregon Trail. You know? Oregon Trail. Don't, don't you guys pronounce the game? You guys don't say Oregon Trail. You guys say Oregon Trail. Right? Isn't that, that Doesn't that prove that I'm right? People, you do not pronounce the name Oregon Trail. You guys say Oregon Trail, right? Come on. I pronounce it Oregon. I've, I always have, and I, I don't even know. That's just always been my way of pronounce, pronouncing it. You guys, do you guys say Oregon or Oregon? I feel like I'm right, because I say, isn't Oregon Trail? Isn't it Oregon Trail? Oregon Trail? Bum, bum. <laughs> Draco Master Lego? Oh my god. Alright, who says Oregon here? UK-anian. 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 Hey, Genki. Hey, Genki. Remember this for the rest of your life, okay? Genki, you can always lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. lean on me. When you're not strong, then I'll be your friend. Oh, and did you hear that the new update for um, Owl Road came out tonight? They, they probably just shadow dropped it randomly. They, they just randomly shadow dropped the update, and I never heard about it, but apparently it's out. Colleen on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Yeah, Miju, DM me. Can I DM you, dude? Of course you can. Yeah, hit me up, Miju. Yeah, DM me right anytime. You can DM me anytime. Of course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can. Draco, let's go Draco to the mall. Draco, Drake, Drake, stop. Drake, go, Drake, stop. That was the worst one I ever made in my life. I'm so sorry. Drake, go, Drake, stop. All right, we got Electrode McQueen takes the field. Light him up. Lean on me. Holy cow, Miju. Wow, Miju, I'm so sorry. That's crazy. Yeah, B, that's wild. Holy cow, that's really crazy, Miju. Wow, I don't even know. You gotta be, you gotta be like. Is it? Wait, is this all new over here? 
don't remember this being here. I'm really sorry, Miju. That's really crazy. Your, your mind's probably in a crazy spot right now. That's you gotta be in a. Holy smokes! I don't even know how to like how you can process that right now. Not a bunch of random shards. You gotta be like your mind's gotta be like uh, in a million places right now at one time. And also nowhere at the same time. This is probably what I had to do. Hi, Beacon. Are you ready to battle? Sure. Fantastic. I think that Dawn had the set tile, didn't she? So this is, we gotta battle her and then we gotta battle our other rival and then we can battle the Elite Four, I think. Well, here goes nothing. This is gonna one hit me. Yeah. I should have healed up my, my Surf Fetch before I went live. Or before I um, came over here. My whole team is like half dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? What word always makes me. The word pink. When I, when I think of the word too long, it makes my brain stop working for a little bit. I think about this. It's the it's the word ink, with a P in the front of it. Pink. It just it just doesn't it doesn't feel like it should be a word. You know, when I think of that word in my head, like one time I looked, I looked at that word and I'm like, this does not look like a word at all. It's the, it's, it's ink with a P, pink. Like it, the, that word destroys my brain when I think about it too much. I can't think about how that word is sounds or is pronounced or anything. It's just too much. It's literally the word ink with a P in the front of it. What the hell? Who made that word? It just doesn't process. I can't think about that word. It sucks. That word's hard. <laughs> I remember I was like in like middle school, and I was like uh, I was like like writing the colors. That, that's been that way for so long in my life. Whenever I say the word with the word pink, I'm like that does not look like it should be spelled that way, or like even like a, a real word. Just ink with a P. Wow, that one shot me. I'm struggling on Dawn, and this is like not even close to like the how hard the Elite Four is gonna be. Got a tattoo said together through life. This is not going well at all. I've got two Pokemon left. When you wonder when you wake up, gonna be all right. Whoa, whoa. Are there any are there any Coldplay fans in the chat right now? I talk about Coldplay too much here. I think. Are there any Coldplay fans in chat though? Ooh, so when it, when, okay, high jump kick's gonna really be good here. And then we're gonna use Hyper Potion, heal up my Earth String even further. Okay, I just gotta take out Lopunny, I think I'm gonna be fine for a while. I don't think anything else on our team could take out my... Flareon? I wonder if I could actually knock out Flareon with one Thunderbolt. We're gonna try it. I'm close. I still have Kingdra. I think now I, I put Kingdra in. Or I put in, yeah, we put, we'll put Kingdra in. And then I'm gonna just go for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one focus energy. Oh my God, this is so bad. 
Okay, I think what I do here, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use a max, max potion. And Kingdra. I can't waste that focus energy because now my critical hit ratio is gonna be increased. It's not gonna work though. I just gotta go for this. I'm, I'm gonna die here. Oh, this is so bad, dude. We lost. It's so sad. If I lose my Earth Ring, where we lose. I need Earth Ring. Earth Ring has to carry me this whole battle now. He's gotta be every one of her Pokemon. I can revive, but I don't know if I want to. And I wonder when I wake up. Are you? It has close combat. That's so insane. That's so insane. Why does Flareon have close combat? Like, actually, love Coldplay. I love that you do Firefly. I love that you like Coldplay. I love that you like Coldplay. I like Coldplay way too much for Mount Good. Hey, Miju, I'm really sorry that you're having a tough time right now. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm sorry that you're going through it. I'm sorry that. I know it's really, really tough. Hopefully, Lurking can help you out. And I feel like it's important to not hold too much in your head right now, you know? You really gotta, like, just, like, not let yourself, like, feel... You just gotta take it, like, a little bit at a time, and don't let it get too overwhelming. Just try to, like, just try to do your best to, like, just... not let it completely destroy you, you know? Am I faster than Mamoswine? I'm, I'm definitely not faster, right? What do I do? Yo, I have to do something here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to revive Surfetch just in case. Holy cow. This is so bad. We're, we're losing bad. Okay. To be fair though, I came into this battle with two of my Pokemon knocked out and one had like half health. So at least this wasn't like a fair six on six. I did, th this battle did start with like a, I'm gonna use one of my, I, I cannot waste a max revive. I gotta save all those max revives for later. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I should, I should I'm, gonna, I'm gonna revive something else. I gotta figure out, I gotta keep it. Okay, here's what we, I gotta revive. Here's, we, we can still win this game very easily because this is still gonna be very winnable. I think. <laughs> oh God, dude. I gotta send in my McQueen. This is horrible. This is actually going horribly wrong. Dawn is very much maybe gonna win this game. We'll see. I'm, I'm playing the revive game now. Ellie, you have a good night. You have a really good night. I seriously enjoy having you hang out here so much. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being so nice to everybody here. Thanks for being so sweet. You're a cool person. I will be live tomorrow with something. Not this, probably not Fortnite, but I'll, I, there's a, a new game that I want to stream really bad that I might play tomorrow. I don't know what to revive. I, I got to figure out a plan here. I don't have a plan. Kingdra can probably survive a lot. Well, he got ice moves. Mammoth Spine counters my team so hard. I don't know what to do. I gotta hope that my Kingdra can survive something. If I max revive my Knucklehead, I can for sure win. I just don't know if I should do it right now. I think I have to use a max revive. Yeah, Ellie, you're really cool. You're really fun to have here. I really enjoy just chatting with you, and you have a really cool stream presence, so I appreciate you. Um, uh, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. Can my surf fetch survive something from him, maybe? I need one of these Pokemon to survive a hit. Ramus one is too strong. 
This one's too strong. I'm gonna stream Peppa Pig, Rico. Why would I? Why am I gonna stream Peppa Pig? I'll stream it. I don't know. I want to. I'd stream Blue's Clues. Okay, if, if my Surfage dies here, we just gotta restart the battle. I'm done trying to mess around with this. Oh my god, we tanked the hit. I know my Surfetch can survive. Well, but he had full he had full health, right? That makes a lot of sense why he survived that, but. I know he can survive that if he's at if he's got full health, right? Let's see what happens if I use maybe he'll use a different move here. Like ice shard or something. I lost the battle. Critical hit. God, Dawn's a cheater. Stinky, dirty cheater, Dawn. That's crazy. We lost that. I just don't like how they they let me have that battle with that. Like, like heal my Pokemon for me before I fight Dawn. You know, like, don't let me. It's so frustrating. Don't let me fight a million trainers and then have me fight a hard trainer like that. That's just so stupid. If I'm gonna fight a hard trainer like that, it's gotta be a fair fight. You know. I get if it's like a, a regular trainer, but like you gotta let me heal my Pokemon before I fight a freaking Dawn, you know? Come on, man. Frustrating. <laughs> Wait, do you play Peppa Pig? I'll play Pe Peppa Pig. There was a game I played when I was a little kid. It was a uh, humongous entertainment game. Um, this is the the best video game of all time. Number one of all time. Okay, this game and then Lego Island for the PC were the best two games. Blue's Clues, Blue's Treasure Hunt, and then Lego Island for the PC were like two of the best games I ever played when I was a kid. They made my whole childhood so fun. I, I wish I could go back in time and be a kid again and play that for a whole day. That'd be a dream. Oh, that'd be a dream. I really like that game. I really like that game a lot. At least I can get like I can get back to her pretty easily. It's just frustrating they let me go through that whole thing and like come on man. We beat so many trainers today just to lose the dawn like that. I lost nine thousand Pokey dollars. Is this the right way? This is the right way, yeah. I went this way. This is the right way. This is Elite Four. This is Victory Road's actually longer than I thought it was. It's pretty long. Especially when you have the shaman stuff as part of this game. This game is actually a lot longer than I remember. You can make a little character and be Peppa Pig's friend. Did you really, Draco? No freaking way. Did you play that game when you were a kid? I would literally sit at my PC and play that game for, you know like a day at a time. I would like wake up as a kid. I was like maybe like six or seven, eight years old. On like a weekend, I'd wake up in the morning. I'd get on my PC. I'd play uh, like Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. I was a big Buzzy fan. I'd play Buzzy the Knowledge Bug and I would also play like uh, Putt Putt, Pajama Sam, that Blue's Clues game. It was good. I'd sit down in my thinking chair and think, think, think. Is when we use our mind, take a step at a time, we can do anything that we want to do. I remember I used to go crazy when I was a kid when mail time came on. Mail time. It's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. I used to go, I used to go bonkers for mail time. 
When it comes, I want to yell, mail. I would be, when I was a kid, I'd be acting up when mail time came on. Mail. I'd be acting up so hard when mail time came on. I'd be acting up, dude. Mail time got, mail time got me misbehaving. <laughs> I never, I never behave when I, oh no, I, I, I didn't want to fight this trainer, dude. Why did I have to fight him? Thanks, Aiden. I, I can do it. I didn't mean it. Oh, his name's Carl. Oh my God, Carl. Come on, frick it. Carl's got a hairy arm. Oh, Let's just do. And not only a Hariyama, he has a, the biggest troll Hariyama of all time, too. Hilarious. Hey, what's up, Pokey Boy? How's the run going? It's all right, man. Honestly, it's been pretty fun. We just lost the Dawn. Uh, it's been going all right, Pokey Boy. Thanks, dude. I feel like. They like change some of the stuff in this game. Like you have to beat like you got to do some of the shaman stuff before the elite four. So I'm kind of doing that right now, really, really quick. Yeah, I really, I really appreciate it, Pokey Boy. It's going, it's going okay. It's going okay. I know. Yeah, when when Steve went to college and Joe came on the show, uh, I, I think I like cried to my mom and was like hey mom this is, this is a joke right like this, this this guy's not this guy's not replacing steve i didn't hate joe but like dude like joe was the man or steve was the man you can't beat steve joe was like i don't know he just was okay i cried so much i had i had the thinking chair and i had the the, the notebook I had like a uh, side, the side table drawer and I had like the, my chair was inflatable. I had the notebook, I had, I had Steve's shirt. So I would sit in the, I would sit in the chair and pretend to like draw up clues, you know? I, I really enjoyed doing that as a kid. I had a great childhood, man. Until I didn't. Most, most of my childhood was good until I didn't have a good childhood and then it was pretty bad. I mean, it could have been worse, obviously, but. Mail. Oh, that intimidate really dropped my attack by a lot. I gotta revive my surf fetch now. Mail. And guys, we hit a hundred likes today, so thank you so much for a hundred likes. You guys are the best. Oh, dude, surf fetch is the best. I love surf fetch, Pokey Boy. Th thank you so much again, man. Bro, Sly Cooper's the best too. I'm a, I'm I'm a big Sly Cooper fan. Bro, Spyro Spyro and PlayStation was pretty good too. But as a kid, I played a lot of uh, um, Sly Cooper. That was like one of my favorite games as a kid. It was Sly Cooper, and then it was uh, War of the Monsters on PlayStation. I played a lot. Okay, we should be good now. I forgot who did she who did she send out first? I think I'm gonna start with Electrode, and we're gonna put screens up right away because I'm I'm done messing around with her. Electrode first, we'll set screens, and then I'll I'll keep retreating as we as we go. But I'm, I'm putting screens out right away. If she wants to play hardball, if she wants to be a little a little. I don't know, it just upsets me. So we lost to her last time. Put a light screen up first. And we'll put a reflect up. We should do like nothing now. That was more than nothing. I'm gonna put a reflect up. And I think we're gonna swap out here. Do I swap out at this point? I think I will swap out to Beaconella. 
This is a really weird swap in because I know we're weak, but we have we have Night Slash. I think if I just hit him with Night Slash one time. I think I'm faster. Maybe I'm not faster. Oh, dude. We... I thought Surfetch was for sure faster. All right, bad start. Horrible start. Really, really, really bad start, but it's all right. Once I bring in Big Hammer Bex. Tell you, once she's in, one Thinkatons in here, let me give her. This shouldn't do too much to me. Yeah, screens, everything, we're good. And the, the, cra the crazy part is, dude, her Pokemon are like not even that high level compared to mine, and we're still struggling. Singing Flareon. Okay, we're sending out. We're gonna send out my Kingdra. It, it, some of these battles are hard. Uh, yeah, Cor dude, Corey, I'm super excited for Legends of uh, ZA. I, uh, I don't really post, like, you know, like, content. I used to post, like, some content like that where I'd, like, you know, just, like, talk about some of the stuff that, like, people are talking about the game. I've been, I've been following all the leaks for it, all the rumors people are talking about, so I'm very pumped for it. Yeah, I'm very pumped. Dude, there's no way it has a berry that's going to make it... Oh, my God, this thing is insane. It's got a berry that makes it so crazy that's so crazy this is like giving you a taste of what the elite four is going to be like all right that's all right we're gonna the elite four is gonna be a freaking so hard dude we're gonna be struggling so hard on this i'm gonna lose i can tell you right now the elite four is gonna be a challenge <laughs> i'm really nervous pokey boy <laughs> I'm really nervous. Yeah, Par Parappa the Rapper? Wait, yeah, I played Parappa, Parappa the Rapper? Of course I did, I love Parappa. If it's the game you're talking about, Par Parappa the Rapper, I played it all, all the time, actually. I played Spyro, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I played uh, some I played some of the Ratchet and Clank games. I played a lot of like the old Spider-Man games. Yeah, Parappa the Rapper went hard, dude. Here's what we have to do. So they're gonna they're gonna send in Mamoswine. We could probably just like we could probably eat a lot of earthquakes. We shouldn't be struggling too hard on this. We protect so we get the flame orb boost. Okay. Now we're gonna now we're now we have the flame orb, so my attack is like a million. Now we just use hammer arm. This might kill me. I don't know if I can beat her. I don't know what I can do to beat her. I think I'm going to lose to this girl, guys. <laughs> I didn't think that Ice Crash was going to one-shot me. I didn't. I really didn't think so. Maybe I can get... This is not gonna kill me. I think I think the best counter was my ticket time the whole time. Yeah. One gigaton hammer and this thing's knocked out, right? Come on. Come on, what's the plot armor? Flinch? That's gotta be plot armor. If I flinch again, this guy, I'm I'm gonna be mad. Thank you. Holy cow, dude. She has the biggest Dawn has so much plot armor. The butt crack of Dawn. I'm literally fighting the butt crack of Dawn right now, dude. Come on. Talk about the butt crack of dawn. Yeah, me too, Ninja. I love Parappa the Rapper. One hit. Let's sail for one piece. The night of the treasure in the grand line. Holy cow. It's still alive. I'm gonna use reflect. Oh my god, that is so hard. That's so horrible. I know, Pokey Boy. I still appreciate you, man. You're still a good dude. You're a really good dude. Oh, 
I want to say thanks because you deserve a thanks. Yeah, we're, we're going to beat... Uh, I think we're going to... We're going to really hardcore struggle on the Elite Four, but we'll we'll be here this time, I think. Does she have a water type as her last one? Yeah, she does. Napoleon. Level 70 as well. I should just go ahead and Thunderbolt, and then maybe I can revive my after. Okay. He'll kill me here. I'll kill... I'll just kill myself here by accident. I should be careful, because I don't know what else... Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, use a revive. I'm glad I revived. Yeah, Draco, so... Um, what I've been doing, so like basically every single time I beat a po like a gym leader, my, my level cap goes up to like um, the next gym leader's highest Pokemon. So Cynthia must have a level 78 Garchomp. So the highest my Pokemon can go is level 78. I can't level high higher than that, which is why it's so hard. So the game like has built in level caps and you, you can turn them off too, but I'm, I'm trying to, I want to beat the game with the level caps on. So my Pokemon cannot be stronger than her strongest Pokemon. So her Garchomp must be level 78, is what I'm thinking. And just because, I, I think that the uh, Empoleon here is a special attacker, so what we're going to do here, just to make sure we can win this battle. I, I'll just use I'll just use Thunderbolt, but then we'll win for sure. I was overthinking that by a lot. I was going to put screens up for, I don't have to do that, I can just use Thunderbolt there. Yeah, they, they can't go higher than 78 right now. So what I've been doing, and the, the game gives you an infinite amount of rare candies, so I can use rare candies as much as I want. So I've been leveling them up to the next gym leader's level cap, just so I, it's an easier time beating trainers, you know? I'm not stuck on, you know, trainers. I can blow through all the trainers in the game. It's amazing to think that you didn't even own a Pokemon when I met you. You're definitely ready to challenge the Pokemon League now. Good luck, Beacon. I know you can do it. So I try to, um... It is really fun, though. It's fun that you don't, you can't, like, over-level. Because over-leveling makes games a little bit too easy, in my opinion. And it's fun that I don't have to think about it. Like, people have done, like, these challenges, like, you know, in BDSP, but you have to make sure you don't over-level. And having the built-in level caps makes it, you don't, you, you can just do it without thinking about it, because you'll never be able to. Because like sometimes you're like, oh, I'll, I won't over level, and then you do it by accident. And you're like, well, I can be like one level over, but you can't miss it all. See, so yeah, I still think before we do challenge uh, the league, we gotta face our other rival. I think one time, so we still have one more rival battle to do, and then I think we face the Pokemon League. Uh, we're gonna go uh, to Veilstone City, and we're gonna ball out so hard. We're gonna buy so many things. I'm going to spend like there's no tomorrow. Spend it all. Spend it all. Because you can't take it with you. Funny how you they wait till you're gone just to miss you. Spend it all. You can't take it with you. Go into Veilstone City. Gonna ball out at the game corner. Or the shopping mart. I'm really nervous, guys. The, the, these gym leaders have all fully IV trained, fully EV trained, competitive items, competitive movesets. <laughs> I'm not really the most competitive battler in the world, so I don't... I'm better than the average bear, but I'm not, like, a great competitive battler, so... Okay, she'll heal my team up. That's really huge. I think we can now... We're going to face our rival again one more time. I know we will. There's no hidden, like, elixirs over here that I can grab. Oh, <gasps> Shaman!
Your mysterious little green friend looks elated to see you're safe. He's even brought you a flower. Oh, I love Shaman so much. You put the Grisidia in your bag. You find a flower on the ground, you reach down and picked it up. It smells like the change of a season, Unova. You put the flower in the incense burner. Aw, oh, Shaman's the best, dude. I love Shaman so much. God, Shaman's the best. That's so cool. I thought we faced our rival again before the Elite Four, did we not? Bum, 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 bum. Wait, maybe we can just buy stuff here, can't we? No, we can buy better. Oh, we can buy the best stuff here. PP Max. Holy cow, we can buy the best stuff here. PP. Oh yeah, we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy all this stuff. Max elixirs. All right, they at least let you buy all like the best items for. That's really nice. I'm going to buy 50 max elixirs. I'll buy like maybe like 30 regular elixirs. I don't even need that many at all, but I'll buy them anyways. I buy full, full restores. Oh my God. We don't think we can just stay here. We don't have to go. We don't got to go anywhere. You can't buy max revives though, which is going to be tough. That's okay. I'll buy some regular revives. I might buy, uh, do I buy like a few more? I have 103, let's just buy, make, I'll, we'll have 140 revives. Make sure I have enough for my whole team. Make sure I have a, I'm like stocking up. This is going to be such a hard challenge, guys. I, he I heard the Elite Four in this game is not, it's not a joke. It's really not a joke at all, so. We're going to be going through it. He's so tiny. They, well, they, they made like, they made, I could, oh, battle items too. I should buy some battle. I should definitely buy some battle items, shouldn't I? I could buy some battle items. Should I do that? I can sell some stuff quick. Hold up. I don't have a lot of money left though. I, I spent all my money. But can you buy, can you buy them here? Do they offer them here? They don't even sell X attacks or anything here, do they? I try to just I, well I could like uh, I got I gotta like use some of these items too before we start so a lot of these are, are already kind of maxed out yeah I think a lot of my Pokemon already have like their stats are already pretty maxed out but I'm gonna use this on hammer arm earthquake we're gonna use PP Max on a lot of this stuff. Ice Beam. Dazzling Gleam. Ice Beam. I'm just gonna make sure all my stuff is as good as it can be. I'm gonna give Surface the leak. I'm gonna try to not use any battle items. That's gonna be so hard to not use them though. Hopefully we, we can win. Yeah, everything's already been like, all my mods are already like pretty much trained to the max right now. Where's the, where, where, I don't see my PP ups though. I bought some. I know I bought some, right? They gotta be around here. I'm just missing them, probably. Did I not buy any? I swear to God, I bought some. I must not have. I didn't buy any. Wow. If this goes wrong and this team can't beat the, beat the Elite Four, we're going to be in trouble. I don't know what we're going to do. 
I gotta go find some new Pokemon that are better. Okay, get the hammer. We're gonna increase that. I'll increase play rough by a lot. Dragon Pulse will, will increase by a little bit. No, why did I? Oh my god, I gave it. I gave him the leak. Or I gave him the. I gave him the item. I didn't use it on him. Let's just go in there and try to beat the Elite Four. We'll see what happens. We're going to try to beat every single Elite Four member. It's going to be tough. They're a joke compared to Beacon of Nick. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, Poke Boy. <laughs> Thanks, though, man. You're so nice. If you could bring one Pokemon to the real world, which would you choose? It's a hard choice. I... He's not my favorite of all time, but I think Grafia would be so much fun to have. Just having like a little Grafia partner, you know? He like be on your shoulder. I love Grafia from Gen 9. Oh, it'd be him. It'd be a, I would like a, like a little Swinub. That'd be very cute. Or a Mammoth Swine, but I think Swinub would be cuter to have a little pet. Or I like Kasui and Lilligant. She's really cool. Or I think I pick Grafia though. Grafia is cool. It'd be hard to pick though, like if I had to really choose. Wait, didn't I have a. I thought I had one more PP up that I didn't use. No, I don't. I'm already broke again, guys. Holy cow, man. I spent all the money trying to prepare for this. Well, I just... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we'll be fine, I think. Hopefully, we'll be fine. I guess I'm going to quickly use the bathroom, and I'll be right back, right? I'm going to use the bathroom, and when I, when I do get back, we're going to go challenge the Elite Four. We're going to try to win. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Really, Draco? You'd also pick Snorlax? He'd crush my house. You'd for real pick Snorlax out of all the Pokemon? I like that so much. I, I think I'd also like to pick Dragonite, because I think flying around him would be fun. Dragonite would be cool. I think having like a Cyndaquil would be cool. Like he's like a, your own like little personal heater. Like in Michigan in the wintertime, if I had a Cyndaquil and he'd like just like, you know, sleep on my feet and like warm my feet up, or, like warm me up, you know? I think I'd pick Cyndaquil. If I could have one Pokemon for a pet, I think I'd pick Cyndaquil. It's cute. It would warm you up when it when you're... But then in the summertime, like, you want a water type to go to, like, the lake with and enjoy, like, you know... It'd be fun to go to, like, a lake if you had a water type and they could swim with you. Like, a Lapras would be fun to have in, in the summertime. I don't know, Draco. That's a good question. In my head, I've always thought, like, it'd be a perfect life, you know, if, like... I wish I could live life as a Pokemon trainer and like you have friends that are Pokemon trainers and like all you do every day is just travel and enjoy life with your Pokemon and go see new places and eat food and explore the world together and you know, it'd be the perfect life. If you and like four or five of your friends were all trainers and you were all like on a, on a journey together and like you can just travel wherever you want. That's why I always fell in love with Pokemon when I was a kid. I thought the idea of being a trainer and traveling the world was like the best life you could ever live. Just having Pokemon as your partners and having them be with you, it's just such a cool concept. That's why the, that's why I just took off so much, I think. It'd be fun just to travel with your friends and always be with them and always have their company and then challenge gym leaders together. It'd be so much fun, dude. It'd be the best life ever. I'd really like that. Would you? I would. I think I'd pick Sprigatito over Litten. But I, I main Incineroar and Smash Bros. And I also. I like Meowth Garotto so much, though. Meowth Garotto is a, a really cool Pokemon. So I, I, I might pick that, too. I don't know. You'd pick Charmander or Firefly? I'd go with Charmander because of how special and uh, memories behind that one Pokemon between me and my dad and my nephew. That's so cool. That's really cool. I would think about picking Cubone. You know, Cubone's really cool. 
Maybe Cubone. Supposed to be cool. Piplup would be cool, but I wouldn't I wouldn't pick Piplup. I think I picked Cyndaquil. No, I don't would I pick Cyndaquil? I have no idea what I'd pick. I I might pick Swinub. I might pick Swinub. He's cute as hell. I think I I think I have a Swinub plush. I don't know what I pick. It's our choice. <laughs> Maybe play Coco. Nah, Jordan, you'd pick a Jordan to pick Stunfisk. Nah, that'd be a good choice. Play Coco would be cool. But you gotta get up every morning and you gotta see his derpy face looking back at you, man. You want you want that derp in the morning, Jordan? You want that big derp? I right, I'll I'll be right back.
All right. I gotta turn that little, my little, do my feet, I have like the, I have wool socks on right now and my feet are still cold somehow. All right guys, we're here. We're about to face the Elite Four. I think I do have a rival battle first. Oh guys, before I'm back, uh, give me half a second, okay? Give me one, hold up. Now we're officially back. Let me adjust this. All right, let's let the light on. Oh, I'd like to do a uh, a pack opening to commemorate us making it this far. Would you guys like to guess the energy for this pack today? So far, I'm two for three on energies. I'm gonna guess in this pack we're gonna pull electric. But there was, it was electric last time. If you guys want to guess, though, you feel more than welcome to. I don't know, Draco. My, this, my swine up plush? I have a few plushes on the ground over here that I don't use anymore. I gotta reorganize my plushes, man. I have my group plush. I have... I have a bunch of plushes. Oh. I don't know, my spine up is, it's, it's around here somewhere. Anyways, here we go. Oh, swine up. Where have you gone, my old friend? If you guys would like to use that code card, you'll get a free pack of cards for the Pokemon TCG Live if you want to do that. I'm gonna stick to my guns and say electric for this pack too. I'm sticking to my guns. Oh my god. Guys, can you freaking believe this? I'm three for four today. I the first two I got it right, then I got one wrong, and I got one right. I should buy a lot I should buy like a lottery ticket today or something. <laughs> that never happens, bro. I, I usually get oh my god. Is that good luck for the Elite Four? Electric. Will this thing please? Sand slash. Swad Loon. Primomatic. Nom. I can't believe I got three energies right today. Drapey. Makuita. Rookity. Galarian Darumaka. Dancer. We haven't pulled any good cards today, though, at all. I mean, Granbull, I'm not going to try to... I'm not trying to insult Granbull, but... Is it a good card? I mean, it's Okay. <laughs> we haven't pulled very much that's good today, though. No, that, that's not even silly at all. Firefly. I wish my dad... To my dad, Pokemon was the thing that stopped me from wanting to help him with, like... I don't know, like... Mowing the grass or, like, raking leaves. I think my dad hated Pokemon because I liked this so much. I spent so much time playing it. He's like, Nicholas, get out here and help me with the leaves. I'm like, Dad, I'm facing the gym leader. I don't know. I'd always like, I'd always like, I'd always give him a hard time when I wanted to like do stuff like that, you know? Dad, I, I want, I'd come outside, but I'm trying to face the gym leader. He's like, you can do it later. I'm like, I can't do it later, Dad. I don't know, I'd, I'd always be like a little, a little punk. Not a punk, but I, I, I just like to play Pokemon a lot, you know? Nick, put down the Game Boy. Nick, put down your Game Boy and come out here and help me mow the grass. Come out here and help me rake the leaves or like, come come here and help me build this or something or like help me. I just never wanted to like, I was just always playing my Game Boy when I was a kid. Here we go. There's one more rival battle, right?
Yeah, so I think my dad resented Pokemon because it always stopped me from helping him. Yeah, there's one more battle. I knew there was. Hold it. Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League? That's why I'm here too. Well, we're about to get... I have a... I have a bad feeling about this. But we've been working hard to get to this point, so win or lose here, I'm grateful that we made it this far. Uh, can we hopefully we beat him first try and we'll be okay. Now we swap into Surfetched. Oh yeah, Jordan, when I tried to like tell my dad that it was an online game and I can't pause it, he would, he'd be like, well, I'm not paying for online next month. You're not playing any more online games then. You can't help me with the laundry or you can't help me with this. And you're not playing online games. I'm like, okay, dad, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, dad, sorry. I'm coming, I promise, sorry. Dude, guys, this is gonna be such a hard, we're gonna struggle so hard with this. Maybe not. I mean, I, didn't, I mean, I do reflect up right now too. This Rhyperior is so tanky. Okay, think of, think of it this way. So each each so there's gonna be six Pokemon per Elite Four. We're 35. We have, we have we have to knock out 35 more Pokemon, and we beat the game. That's still a, a decent amount of Pokemon, but it's not that many. We gotta knock out 35 Pokemon. So five more for him, and then 30 with everyone in the Elite Four. So 35 more and we're good. We can do this. Thirty-four more Pokemon and we beat the game. That's huge. We just gotta beat Cynthia and her Garchomp and we're chillin'. Toxicroak? Oh, Toxicroak is part fighting type, isn't it? Yeah, I think Machamp would be fun to have around Takela, but I think Machamp would freak me out, though. Like, having a four-armed, muscular, ripped dude follow me around, I would just, it's just kind of weird for me, you know? I don't know. I could, like, ride in his shoulder. He can carry me around. He'd be, he'd be a good gym partner, too, I guess. This might one-shot me. Thank God it didn't. We are 33 Pokemon away from beating the game. We got this. No, we're not. He has Focus Sash. He's... Of course it's this thing's Focus Sash. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Dude, of course it's... Like, why wouldn't it be Focus Sash? You gotta be flipping my pancakes right now. You've gotta be flipping my pancakes. All right, Kanga. I need you to do some work here for me. It's weird he went dark. Like, it's weird that, like, the, the AI knows what you're going to do. There's no way he would use Dark Pulse if I was still Ursaring. So he predicted that I was going to swap. That's what you're telling me. Now we're 33 Pokemon away from beating the game. I want to beat the Elite Four today so bad, guys. I really do. I really want to beat the Elite Four today. We're going to do it. I believe. I believe. I believe. Wait, Ben, why'd you say CM Punk? <laughs> ben, why did you say CM Punk? I never expected you to say CM Punk like that. Where did that even come from? CM Punk. Wait, did I not buy any max? I didn't buy any max potions. I bought full. Well, full restores are good, but they're not good for Knucklehead. 
Did you, you, oh, flame orb. I can't. I bought full restores or not. I should have bought some max potions too for Knucklehead. Oh, I'm dead. See, full restore is bad for Ursaluna. Very bad for Ursaluna. Very bad. Okay, we got this. I'm gonna use play rough. Huge. We're 32 Pokemon away from beating the game. 32, all, everything we've been doing in Luminous and Platinum is gonna come to a crescendo. We're gonna beat it today, I believe. CM Punk, CM Punk. This has been a very fun ride. And a very awesome ride today, so I'm grateful. Wow, that, that Faker did a lot of damage. Holy cow. This Ambipom is kind of insane. Honestly, Rebecca, you've been so good on my team in this game. You've been you've been seriously doing a great job carrying me this whole this whole playthrough. Whenever I haven't had an answer for something, your your Gigaton hammer has just been so clutch. Like look at that. I like I didn't have an answer for Ambipom. You, you've been one of the most clutch members of my whole team this playthrough. I love Tinkaton now. I never used to love Tinkaton at all, but I love Tinkaton now. You've been clutching it up real hard for us. I think we I think we do have a chance to beat this game today. Cynthia's gonna be hard, but not impossible. For sure hard though. Did a lot of damage. I need this skull to do a lot like my god. Crit, please. That was probably a crit. It wasn't even a crit. We just one-shot Infernape. All right, guys, I'm feeling good about this. That wasn't even that hard of a battle. Should I buy some max potions before we, we go in? Just you wait. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is. I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna, we're gonna buy some max potions, just for Ursaluna, just in case I need to use them. I, I'm gonna make sure my level. I'm gonna make sure the level caps where it was at too. Let me see the level cap right now. Is it still the same? Yep, still the same. Well, guys, we're going to save before we go in. We're going to save right here. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you've gathered from around Senno. Orberg, Eternas, Heart Homes, Veilstones, Pastoria, Candlelave, Snow Point, finally Sunny Shore. I believe. I believe really hard. Yeah, this is what the whole game has been for. Everything that we've been doing in this game is up is all for this moment here. So before we go in, say hello to your future Luminous and Platinum champions. We have McQueen, we have Big Hammer Bex, Ursa Luna, Kingdra, Surfetch, Beaconella. And Chronics. Whew. It's gonna be a really, really, really not easy fight, but I think we can do it. It's gonna, it's gonna take a lot to to win here, but watch us get like annihilated by the first Elite Four member. Can I go home? Let's just turn around. Yeah, I, I, we're not gonna win anyway. Let's just go back and stream. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Should I explain? Huge fan of bug Pokemon. 
Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? Because I want to become perfect, like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Well, Aaron. And they, they have like access to the whole national decks before we even fight them, so. Aaron's gonna have a really good team. He has Shuckle, that's awesome. Is it gonna be like a stalling, a stalling Shuckle? This thing better not stall me at all. We'll put, we'll put screens up right away. Dude, what a horrible start. Oh my god, Sticky Web is so annoying. That's a terrible start to this 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 game. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible start. Having Sticky Webs out is gonna just suck. Nope. Maybe Big Hammer Bex will just carry here. And you know what sucks? My Sand Slash had Rapid Spin. And I put him in the box. I lost my metal coat. My sand slash legit had. Is it focus ashed? Oh, it's got sturdy. Use infestation. Got bed bugs. Ew, Tinkaton has cooties. Ew. Ew, cooties! Girls have cooties. We are 29 Pokemon away from beating this game. We just gotta knock out 29 Pokemon and we're the, we're the champions of the, the league. Flygon? Flygon's bug and dragon in this game, so we need, we need an ice type. We have a long way to go. You Tinkaton has cooties. I'm ready to. I'm ready to, Becca. Tap house. Every one of my moves is super effective against. Um, this is going to be quad effective. There's no way this is not due. It has a berry like that. That's so stupid. These Pokemon are so good because they have Draco Meteor. No way. Wow. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh no. We lost Onyx. That's okay though. We still have Kingdra. But it's gonna, oh. The good thing is that you use Draco Meteor, which is gonna make it so, not, that's not the worst situation in the world. Yeah, now we're gonna one-shot it, I think. It's just setting up right now. We still didn't knock it out. Bro, what do I do? Holy cow, Flygon's a menace. This Flygon's an actual menace. It's so tanky, too. Well, I think what we do here next is we send in... You know, you know who's right You know who's right for the picking? You know whose job this should be? We definitely need Big Hammer Bex in here right now. Like, I think when when push comes to shove, Big Hammer Bex is our only, ch only choice here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to knock it out for sure this turn. Thank, thank God. Flygun's down. I think it's scary. I think it's scary, 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 scary. <laughs> I think it's good, Takela. Wait, what, what, what you sending out, Motham? Here. If, if if we if we do I'm not against trying to swap out Chronix to somebody else, but he is pretty good. He he has been doing some good stuff for me. 
Whether, like, it, it might be hard to notice it. I need this Gigaton Hammer to hit hard. Thank you. Is that Focus Sash? Oh my god. Oh my god. How nasty is that? It's Focus Sash? That is so nasty. That's nastier than the infestation that Tinkaton had when this game started. That's disgusting. I do think in my heart of hearts that Onyx is good. He does die a lot though, I will I will admit. Okay, is that four down? Four Pokemon, is that three or four Pokemon down for her? Venomoth, we, we leave in... We're weak to poison, though. Let's light screen. It's gonna use like a uh, sludge bomb on me, probably. I called it. Bro, I know Pokemon. I know Pokemon. I called that sludge bomb. I saw that sludge bomb coming from a mile away, actually. I was like, I know this Venomoth is probably gonna use sludge bomb. He's used Quiver Dance. He's gonna be faster than me now. I'm cheat. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. This is a cheeky move here, but I'm gonna use it. I don't care. I'm being cheeky here for sure. He's still faster than me. Holy moly! This Elite Four does not mess around, dude. This is the first trainer and I'm struggling so hard. I have two Pokemon left. Holy cow. First trainer and I'm already struggling. Doing really good. This is the first trainer I'm, I'm losing. I'm like technically losing right now by a lot. It pretty much has the sludge bomb me. This will this will knock it out for sure. Nice. We're, we're more or less tied now. We're more or less tied. Hey Christy, I appreciate you so much. Skylar Rose was being super sweet this morning. Had a had a big pad. Christy, would you do me a favor? Would you do me a favor and post a picture of Skylar Rose in my Discord today? If you have time and you want to do that, I'd be very happy. If you post her for me, thank you so much for the five, Christy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Hayden, if, if I Nuzlocke this game, I would lose a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I understand why this game is hard to Nuzlocke, but it's fun though. Like I'm enjoying it, you know, it's a good first experience with it. Skylar Rose was being super sweet this morning and had a big hat. Like, um, it's, I like the fact that, like, even though uh, it's good to, like, this playthrough here has been good to, like, kind of dip my feet in the water for, like, what a Luminous and Platinum Nuzlocke could be like, because I'm struggling on the regular playthrough, and I think I'm about to lose, so. He's got a drape beyond. I don't know what to do. No way, Sophia, what's happening? Sophia, are you home? Oh, Sophia's here. I love it so much. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. Good morning, Nick and Beacon fam. Uh, side of cart. Lurking while playing. Uh, catch up on school stuff. So happy to be back from vacation. You are back. I'm so happy, Sophia. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to win. We're facing the Elite Four finally. And I'm, this is the first trainer. And I'm already kind of losing. <laughs> Guys, would you do me a favor? Can we get some hearts in chat for Sophia? Dude, 45 months is like enough for five babies. You can have five. That's five babies, dude. Sophia, I appreciate you so much. How was vacation? How was Universal? How was uh, how was everything? How was how was your Easter? How was Universal? How was, how was the school stuff going? I got to hear about Universal, Sophia. Was it fun? OK, I just got to breathe. I just gotta breathe and we'll be okay. Let's 
So it's my Ursaluna versus... I'm gonna use a Max Potion. Dude, seeing Sophia back from vacation just gave me all the strength. Sophia, Sophia is like a core component of this channel, I feel like, in a lot of ways. Everyone likes Sophia here. So you gave me, you gave me, oh my god, my, I lost my flame orb. Wait, he didn't attack me. Dude, I beat my first Elite Four member. Yeah, this game, nose locking this game would be so hard. Dude, we did it, guys. We, we, oh my God. That was wrong. Anyways, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than I am. One down. I think if you would use an attacking move, I would. I'm not sure how. I, would, how, I, I maybe, maybe I could. I, I guess surf fetch using brick break would have been super effective against him. I don't know, man. That's, that still would have been hard if, if I didn't get lucky there. And luckily, I spent a lot of money getting some supplies to, you know, for healing items. So that's not a problem right now. I could I could heal my team through like five rounds of uh of like elite four, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Hey, Dark Flames. I appreciate that so much, dude. I'm not really a great competitive battler, so I hopefully I can have this. I'm hopeful that it'll go okay. <laughs> I'm certainly not the best battler in the world, so just I'm not trying to like pretend like I am, but we're doing our best. I'm learning a lot about competitive, you know? Every day that I play. I appreciate it so much, man. Everything was so much fun. We played the heck out of the Nintendo world. Uh, I got Bellamy a Mario Power Band. Yeah, I got one of those too, Sophia. The, the Mario Power Bands. And he crushed Bowser Jr. I love that the app tracked all the points he racked up. It's really cool. Did you did you guys do the studio tour? Or the Transformers ride? Did you guys... Did you guys uh, I like the Secret Life of Pets. That was one of my favorite things I did there. I like Secret Life of Pets... The Transformers ride. Um, I didn't ride the Jurassic, the Jurassic Park ride, even though I heard it was good. Uh, stu the studio tour was really fun when I, when we did it, Sophia. And then I, the Transformers, Transformers kind of made me a little bit motion sick, but it was still a fun ride when I rode it. I got a little bit sick though. I was like a little bit nauseous when I rode that, but not bad, just a little bit nauseous. And then. What else did I? We rode, we rode more stuff. We went to the Harry Potter area. I, I, I wanted to ride a Flight of the Hippogriff, but I didn't ride that when I was there. But Flight of the Hippogriff looked like it was like a lot of fun. I just, we just didn't have, we didn't ride it. I wanted to though. Sophia, please post all the pictures. I want to see every picture you post. Would you, if you can please post them for me, I'd like to see some stuff from you. Okay? Would you please? I want to see... Oh, dude. This old lady has a Rhyperior. This old chick has a Rhyperior. It's kind of cool. I'm going to uh, max out some stuff on my Pokemon here. Which should be fine. I didn't... I'll use... I don't want to waste these. All right, we're gonna we're gonna still lead with. You know what's stupid? I don't have energy ball. I should put energy ball on my electrode. Why did Why did I not do that? Dude, Big Bertha, we got we got freaking Big Bertha coming in with that right here. here. Big old Bertha, dude. She's gonna she's gonna steamroll me. Big Bertha. All right, Big Bertha. Let's see what you got. Will she start with right here? Hammer up. Oh, this is bad news. This is really bad news for me, actually. Big Bertha starting to camera up.
Bro, we got freaking Big Bertha in the building. She girl's a savage. Yes! Sophia, the... I feel like, in my opinion, the um, the Studio Two ride with did you see the Fast and Furious stuff? I think some Fast and Furious stuff's kind of cringe sometimes with like the way they say stuff. Come on, family, come with the family. We're gonna win. You were real. You 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 rode really hard out there. We're proud of you. It could be really it could be really cheesy, but it's kind of fun. And then the King Kong one was awesome with the dinosaurs. That was so cool. Yeah, the Studio. There, there, I think that the studio tour at some points was a little bit long, a little bit drawn out, but it was still, it was entertaining at least. And then, um, God, what, there was something on the intercom that like the, it was by the studio tour. There was something in the intercom that they said that was super cheesy. And I'm like, why would they say that here? That's so cheesy. What, did, what was it? Oh, yeah. have a tramtastic day. Sophie, did you hear that when you were there? Did they did the did the intercom say have a tramtastic day? I about rolled over in my seat when I heard that. I I like almost like buried myself and rolled over when I heard them say, "Make sure you have a tramtastic day." My like, tramtastic day. What the hell does that even mean? You want me to have a tramtastic day? What the hell does that mean? I when I heard that I was like, what? what like what? <laughs> it was so funny. Have a tramtastic day. I was like, what do you want me to do? This thing probably has ice beam on it. Dude, I dude, is it me guys? Am I? I I'm calling, dude. I, I know exactly what they're gonna do before they do it. I said, I know Needle King, and this guy's got ice beam for sure. What what does he do? I'm like calling what they're gonna do before they even do it. You got wish cash. I think now I switch into surf edge. We have leaf blade. Cause we're gonna beat the elite four. I know I'm gonna get so far, then something's gonna happen, and I'm gonna lose. Bro, what's the point of dra dragon dancing? Unless this thing is... Wait, does Wish Cash get sturdy? Yeah. This piece of crap. The berry is still weakened. The, he had a berry that weakened his damage, and we still one-shot him. The Rindo berry weakened the damage, and he used up, and it still fainted. It still was a, a quad effective attack. Ooh, we're cooking. We're cooking now. We're going to beat this. We're going to beat this for sure. Wow, we're destroying this gym leader. We're wrecking her day. After this, we just have two more gym leaders and we have Cynthia and we beat the whole game. My score is what? What type? Ground and... Ground and flying? No, poison. It's, no, glass score is ground and poison. Ground and flying? What type is Gliscor? Ground and ground and flying, I think. Is it isn't Gliscar poison flying and then Gliscor is ground flying? I'm probably wrong about that. What type is Gliscor? You heard that, Sophia? Oh my God! You know what I said? But when I heard "Have a Tramtastic Day," I'm like, they would never tell you to have a Tramtastic Day at Disneyland. Like this, that, that's how you know that that's the difference between Universal and Disneyland. Universal tells you to have a Tramtastic day, and then Disneyland does not tell you to have a Tramtastic day. That's the biggest difference between both parks. Ashley, what, what type is Gliscor? You know? You're, you're like a Pokemon knowledge bug. They're, okay, they're both ground flying. You're smart, actually. You're really smart. Dude, this guy is setting up. You know, you know, you know what he doesn't know I have though. You know what this guy? You know what this Nimrod here? He's like, oh, I'm setting up against Nick. What he doesn't know is I have Ice Shard. So he's he's gonna set up here. He's got Poison Heal. Okay, I gotta hope that I, my Ice Shard is still gonna be enough to take him down. 
Dude, this is bad. Oh no. He's setting up. If my Ice Shard does not kill him, then we're screwed. This has to kill him. Wow, dude. See, hey, take well, you said you said that Chronix never did anything good. What was that? What was that? <laughs> what was that, Tekla? What was that? Look at him shine. He's, he's probably gonna knock out Rhyperia here too. Not quite, but almost. <sighs> okay, you're right, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He's horrible. <laughs> All right. You know who you know who this calls for. You know who this calls for. I've been keeping this guy. I've been keeping this girl on the bench the whole time, dude. Dude, Ber Big Bertha is not ready for Big Hammer bags. <laughs> oh no, she's not. Dude, she didn't. There's no way she thought I had Big Hammer bags. She's not ready for Big Hammer bags. Look at that. Dude. Ooh, Rebecca, you're so you're so good. Carried me. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. We're going to win. That's what makes you so strong. I think that you can go as far as you want. Dude, she was she saw that Gigaton hammer coming at her and she said, oh my God, I, I never thought that was possible. She said, oh my God, there's no way Nick has Gigaton hammer. I said, oh yeah, I do. I said, oh yeah, I do. Uh, Bertha. Big Bertha. Bertha's the homie. Bertha's the homie, dude. <laughs> dude, I swear to God, like, nobody has your back. Like, Big Hammer Bex has your back. When the going gets tough, the going makes sure they have Big Hammer Bex riding shotgun in their car, and you're going to have a good life. When the going get tough, the tough bring out big hammer backs and then she just wrecks everybody. Thanks, Rebecca. You like legitimately did kind of carry me that game, so. I shouldn't waste these, but I think it's fine. All right, I don't know what the, um, there's a fire gym leader, is it next? Is the fire, the fire, yeah, it's this one. Dude, I, I know, I know my Sinnoh. I know my Sinnoh. I was like, I think Flint's coming up. Well, I know Flint's going to be coming here some sooner or later. Because I know Sinnoh so well, like the, like the back of my hand. Yo, trainer. You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. Heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. I almost thought, I thought he meant, I thought he was going to say the other word. You would have fired in that guy's butt again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? All right, Flint. Everything that's ever happened in my journey as a trainer has led me to this moment right here. Where I'm going to be fighting you. And let me tell you what. I'm not just going to beat you. I'm going right through you. Through that door. And we're going to face the fourth member of the Elite Four. And then we're going to face Cynthia. So respectfully... You're going down, my friend. If this Shuckle has uh, Stealth Rocks, I know he's got Stealth Rocks. Here, hear me out. The Shuckle is going to throw out Stealth Rocks turn one. And I'm just going to let you guys know right now it's happening. What? Wait wait for the Stealth Rocks, right? Wait for him. Wow, I'm wrong. I'm very wrong. I'm like really happy to be wrong there. That was really... Oh, I used the wrong move. Oh, I, can't, I, cannot, oh, I, cannot, be, I cannot be throwing like that. I cannot be throwing like that. Uh, wait, that's such a waste of a turn. I thought I. It's fine. I can. I don't really need. Basically, I just need him for screens right away. And this is a fire type gym leader, so all we got to do is like send in my Ursa Luna and probably just we can run rush out over the whole thing. Wait, I'm going right through you, dude.
Sorry, I meant Torkoal. I didn't mean Shuckle. Sorry. It's not a Shuckle. Yeah, that's, tor that's actually Torkoal. Sorry. I didn't mean Shuckle. I meant Torkoal. Sorry. <laughs> the first gym leader had Shuckle, so I, I had Shuckle on the brain. Blaze the going to destroy me. I'm not going to survive a hit by him. I'm just not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh! <gasps> Bro, Ursaluna is my, one of my new favorite Pokemon of all time. Dude, this guy's a savage. Dude, this Ursaluna is an absolute beast, dude. This thing is insane. I didn't think I was gonna survive a hit. Like, uh, oh, I, I had Light Screen up. That's why. No, Light Screen's only. No, I still have my Reflect up. That's why I survived that attack. I had Screens up. That's the only reason I survived that. That's why screens are so important in Pokemon. Without, without my Reflect Up, I would not have survived that hit. That's why I survived that, I forgot. There's no way I survived that. Like, without screens, there's no way I survived that. I'm gonna use a Max Potion on Ursaluna. I was like, how did I, I was like, I, I, I didn't understand how I survived that at all. Uh-oh, it's an Energy Ball. I think we're still gonna be okay. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> do we just send her in? Do we do we do we just send her in to clean up shop? <laughs> Is it a is it a big hammer Beck scenario? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do we just send her in? Yeah, I'm I'm kind of upset now. I'm like so upset. I just want to send her in and just have her go crazy. Big Bex, dude. I think we just drop in the big Bex, and we just drop in big Bex. Dude, I I think the shop needs to be closed. I think Flint needs to. Nothing's gonna teach us Nine Tails a lesson like a Gigaton Hammer will from Big Hammerbacks. Nothing will. Ooh, it's for sure over. It, it'll it can lower a special attack. Ooh, sorry, Nine. Is that Focus Sashed? Oh, come on, you. We're gonna lose Big Hammerbacks. Oh my god, Rebecca, you are insane. In what universe did in what universe did you actually avoid that attack? You are you're the most clutch Pokemon. I've, I've never seen a Pokemon as clutch as you. That's crazy. You're, you're gonna go down here, I think, but it, it it's it was a noble cause. Wow. Wow. I salute you. She goes down, but it's it's alright. We still have three Pokemon remaining, and we can... I think at this point, I'm going to try to send out my Onyx. I know it's a horror. It's probably a bad idea. We're going to probably die here instantaneously. Yeah, that's a horrible idea. We're not out of the woods yet. This is still very losable. Okay, we still have one of my... One Kingdra was what I was planning on, like, just kind of holding it down for us here. I'm going to try to focus energy first. Yeah, we focus energy. We're going to be fine. Now, this will boost my critical hit rate. So, it's got Sniper for the ability, and it's got a scope. It's, yeah, it's, it's scope lens, Sniper ability, focus energy one time. We're going to be critting almost every time now. This thing can't stop flare blitzing. What is, is, is this thing uh choice choice it it's got a choice specs on it, doesn't it? This, no, yeah, it's, this thing is for sure choice specs. That had to be a crit, right? Yeah, we're gonna be critting every time now. Sniper, focus sash, or uh sniper, focus energy, and then we have um scope lens for the item. We're gonna be critting every time with Kingdra. 
I'm gonna, I'm, instead of Kingdra, it's Crit, it's Critra. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And now we just sweep. Now we just totally sweep. I like legit don't think there's just anything he can do against me here. This is not gonna kill me, right? Wow, it almost did. Holy cow, three gym leaders down. Three elite four members down. Kingdra really popped off there. That was a real that was a really Kingdra went crazy right there. Thank you so much, Kanga. Ooh, burn right down to cinders. Wow, that was beautiful. This is not as hard as I was uh, as I thought it was gonna be, but we still have Cynthia left. Cynthia's gonna be the, the final trainer we're gonna be facing, so. We have one more to go, and then we have Cynthia. We're making we're making work out of this guys. But yeah, I think if I nuzlocke this game, it would be so much harder, obviously. I don't I don't even know if I will. Okay. When I sh I should definitely save my game quick. Onwards and upwards. Wait, what do you mean, Dilly? This is the the real. Wait, this is the reason Flint only carries two fire Pokemon in the real game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, you know what, man? All my fire Pokemon get knocked out so easily, so I'm just gonna not have any fire types. But I'll still call myself a fire trainer. That's so true. He's like, dude, screw fire type Pokemon. They just die. I'm not using them. I forgot Lucian's the fourth lead board member. Ah. You timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I'm a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you. Live up to that reputation. Lucian more like... Papushin. <laughs> Lucian Papushin. <laughs> Lucian Papusin. <laughs> Lucian, more like Papoose. I'm gonna change the name to Papoose. Papoosin. Stop the stop Papoosin around. Here it is. This guy doesn't want the smoke. Oh my god, I'm losing it. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine after he, he like, can you imagine after more like, um, after like he has like that whole like, like beginning monologue where he's talking about like, I'm the toughest Elite Four. I gotta go all out against you. And you just go like, okay, Pushin. Okay, Pushin. Papushin. Do what you gotta do, Papushin. so funny that's so funny dude i think in this scenario um let's try let's try kingdra whatever you say pushin Ooh, that was a great swap in that was a really really smart swap in right there that was huge i predicted him all right pushin whatever you say buddy Dude, Kingdra's a beast. Then we use Focus Energy. We'll boost my critical hit rate, and we're gonna, we're just gonna sweep him. That was a dumb move. This guy sucks. He, he raised, he'll raise his speed before purpose. Oh, he's gonna. That's why. He 
huge. Good job, Pushin. It sounds like you're saying Potion, but you, you put like an extra O in it, Pushin. That's his new name, Pushin. I think I should use like an actual, I should heal up my, I don't even care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up my Kingdra. I'm not even gonna feel bad about it. Cause I don't think Draft Break held anything that's good against me. Psycho Boost? Ooh, he's gonna. Holy cow, this is bad. This is really bad, actually. This is actually is pretty bad. This is gonna kill me. God damn, this is bad. I don't have a dark type. I don't know, guys. This draft rig setting up against me is going to be horrible. I'm going to protect so I get um, my flame orb to work. And we're going to go right for Earthquake. This might kill me, too. I, dude, I, I, I can't beat him. I, I'm, I'm going to lose the draft rig here. I don't think there's any way I can beat him. What can I do? I need to outspeed him. Yeah, I lose. I should I should have sent in, you know, you know what I should have done? I'm, I'm going to lose here. I for sure lose here, I think. What I should have done, what I still can do, is paralyze him and get hope, hopefully he just gets paralyzed. I, I got to paralyze him. Oh, he withdrew. That's huge for me. That's actually kind of huge for me. Thank God he withdrew. Bro, that's horrible. Well, I'm going to use a Max Revive on my Knucklehead. I saved the Max Revive for this moment. Bro, this is a hard battle. This He actually is hard. He bailed out. He did bail out. I'm surprised he actually bailed like that. I'm surprised he bailed out. That was surprising. No way he uses U-turn like that. Now he sends back. Now he sends Drapery back in, right? Metagross. Oh god damn, this is bad. I'm gonna reflect that. I think I think setting I think that reflect's gonna be so so clutch because he can't do much to my to my Earth Ring now. Earth Luna. He can always punch me, but it's not gonna do much damage. Yeah, that was really cool. unless I get frozen. Dude, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Of course he has a berry. Of course he has a berry. Taking down his Metagross is pretty pretty massive. It actually really is massive. That's huge. I think putting up my Reflect right there really saved my butt. Dude, Slow King's gonna kill me. Let's just try to go for Slash. Almost was enough. That kills me. <gasps> Earth Ring is such a beast, dude. This, this Earth Ring is such a beast. It's crazy. Earth Ring is such a beast. It's crazy. I, I, I don't I don't die here, do I? Oh, I do die by the flame orb. Oh, I'm burned. I still die. If we beat him, it's gonna be a miracle. Let's go, Sir Fetched. I'm not giving up yet. I'm like not giving up at all yet. Let's go. Let's go. 
He's got three Pokemon left. He's got that Draft Rig left, though. Here it comes. I switch out here to Onyx, I think. That's what we do. I just can't let him set up. Oh, I do actually dilly. I do a facade, I think. I should keep... That's a good idea. Facade's actually a good idea. I do a facade. Yeah, I do. He didn't use, he didn't use Psycho Boost. Yeah, that's a good idea, dilly. I should use facade. Oh my god. He's not he's not using uh I gotta end up I gotta use another revive, I think. Oh my god, we killed Drafferig. This run was looking very hopeless when we were he was sweeping me, but We're gonna be okay, I think. He brings that back out. Now the thing is, do I use Ice Shard and hope hopefully that is enough to take him down? Let's just hope this takes him down. No, it didn't. Okay, he's blade screen again. Okay, so far so good. We still have my Surf Badge on deck. I'm just gonna uh, hope that Okay, he used close combat, which is not bad for me because that means that he's gonna lower his special defense and defense. I do, I'm gonna send in my Beaconella, but I'm, I am gonna use a Max Revive to revive my Ursaluna, I think. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. I gotta be careful who I revive here. I think I gotta revive Big Hammer Packs. Yeah, I think I, I think I revive my, I think I do revive Big Hammer Bex here. Dude, Surf Fetch is amazing. This, this guy has survived that hit. That's crazy. I, I'm going to take this opportunity to revive one more Pokemon just in case I have to. This, this is a kind of a cheesy way to win, but I mean, is it really a cheesy way to win when... This might be a little bit cheesy, you know, to some people, but I'm going to send in my McQueen. This is why I kept Electrode on the team. Electrode is so good. We're going to use Thunder Wave. Paralyze him. If he's paralyzed, we set a screen up now. Yes. No, I, still, I still use close combat, which is fine. We're not losing today. We're not losing today. Now we send in my Big Hammer Bex. <laughs> We should be faster, I think, now, too. Now we just play, we just play rough. And we beat the fourth Elite Four member. And she goes down. And that's and there's Lucian for you. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now, go on. Step through the doorway to your final battle. Woo, we did it. Dill, you can back, Dill, you can back Steve whenever you want. Get Electro back up. Dude, it's crazy that we we both thought that, though. <laughs> no, you, you're fine, dude. You can back seat. Yeah, we both have the same, the, the same brain cell. I gotta get Electrode back up in that scenario. That was the best. That was obviously the best way to go, though, right? Gotta revive Electrode. I was just debating. I, I was debating. I'm like, do I want to set screens or do I want to, um, just paralyzed? In my head, paralyzed made sense. I was like, I think paralyzed is the way to go. This hasn't been the hardest Elite Four. I, I I I always overcompensate. I, I still have 82 full restores. Dude, this, this shows you I'm an overpacker. If I'm, if I'm going away for a week, I bring so much more stuff than I need. And when I when I face the Elite Four, I bring so much more than I need. I have 80 full restores and 50 max elixirs and 21 elixirs and 120. I have 123 revives, dude. 
I don't need that many. Why did I bring that? Why did I get that many? I have one more trainer left, and I have so much stuff that I, I bought. I just overpack and over over prepare. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I think I have facade right. I I like panic packed. I thought I had the facade TM. Did I, did I, did I pass it? I must not have bought it. I don't have it. I mean, unless he can learn it. He can't learn it. He can't learn it. It's TM42. Yeah, he can't. He, he doesn't know it. It's TM42. Hmm. Bro, I have TM40, 41, 43, and 45. You can probably buy it from like Veilstone City or something. All right, here we go. This is the team we're bringing in to face Cynthia. We have Lightning McQueen, Big Hammer Bex, Knucklehead, Kanga. The I like my I, this is a really go to team. We have Beaconella, and we have Chronix. Who for I think Takeless secretly hates Chronix. I don't know what Takeless got against Chronix, but <laughs> no, Chronix, Chronix has definitely kind of failed me a lot of times. I do agree, Takeless. He does die a lot. Because Ice and Rock are weak to a lot of a lot of things. Here we go. Her guard trump is next to her too, which is kind of awesome. Have you been thinking? Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together. You and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon lead champion, I accept your challenge. This is dope. This feels... She's starting with Lucario first. All right, here we go. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Ooh. I think we're gonna start, we're gonna put screens up first. Wow, we barely survived that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be horrible, Dilly. The Garchomp is gonna be really bad, dude. Garchomp is gonna be so brutal. Maybe what if what if my Onyx does beat it for us though? You know, then I I can't never say anything bad about Onyx ever again. Lucario's down. That close combat, the reflect made it so close combat did not uh, one hit KO me. And now I can put another set of screens up. Dude, I think isn't Electrode like one of like the top like I think Electrode's like top like seven or eight fastest Pokemon of all time, right? I'm pretty sure Electrode's one of the like, one of the fastest Pokemon of all time. And the the thing with Togekiss is it's flying type, so I should probably just Thunderbolt this right now. Yeah, that's actually huge. I still have one HP left. Okay. Well, we lost. Uh, maybe that probably was the best idea overall. But I think screens would have been very helpful in that situation too. I don't know. I think Ursa Luna has to be the one that I, I save for Garchomp. I gotta save Ursa Luna for, la for last.
Are, are, and level-wise, my Pokemon and her Pokemon are pretty even. Lopunny. I think Surfetch should handle Lopunny. I forgot that Cynthia has Lopunny. That's weird. That's a weird Pokemon for her to have. Now we just go for Brick Break, I think, here. Oh yeah, that was a great that was a great swap in. Oh hell yeah, dude. Get out of here, Cynthia. Dude, this team is great. This team is great. Three down. Glaceon? Am I gonna regret this leaving Turf? I don't think I'm gonna regret this at all. Oh, it has extra sensory. Ah, uh, dude, of course it does. We gotta be careful now. <laughs> Bro, I love whenever I'm like my back's against the wall. I need a solution. It's always back. It's always big hammer back stick going to my aid. Like whenever I really need help in this game, I swear to God. Big Hammer Bex is always the one that, like, I'm looking at my part and I'm like, God damn, I need someone to come in and bail me out. And it's always Big Hammer Bex. It's, like, literally always Big Hammer Bex. Always. How did not kill? I had a berry. All our Pokemon have berries. Like, this is so unfair, dude. Not really. That was super effective, wasn't it? It's, I swear to God, Rebecca, you're always the one that bails me out, though. I swear to God. You're always the number one. I look at my part and I'm like, dude, we need someone to really help me out here. It's always you. You, you. Ooh, I need my Surf Fetch back. If I don't have, I gotta make sure my Surf... Okay, my Surf Fetch is always, all the way dead. Holy. F That's what I forgot to do. I was gonna save... Yeah, I need to revive Surf Fetch right now. Ooh, this is bad. This is real bad. Unless I just... No, I think we're going to send in Kingdra here. Maybe I didn't need you. Let's see if I can... I'm just going to use... Okay. I'm going to use Focus Energy here. And then we're going to see if... I, maybe I can sweep with Kingdra. Dude, I think I can sweep her whole team with Kingdra right here. Focus Energy, Sniper, Scope Lens, Kingdra. I think that we're going to have no problem against her right now. If I get a crit here, this is going to one-hit KO it. That wasn't a crit, was it? No, it didn't one-hit KO it. Wow. That didn't even do close to what I was thinking it would do against her. But I can at least probably knock it out. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. No way, dude. No way she's bringing out Garchomp here. No way. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. I still have some of my best Pokemon remaining. This is... Dude. Okay, this is bad. Here's what we're going to do. I think Garchomp has a berry that makes it so... It can, like, reduce super effective attacks, right? So if I, if I send out Onix here and we use Ice Shard... It might use the berry up. Yes, it did. But now the berry is going to be used up and it can't. That's, that's that's exactly my thought process. Use the berry up with Ice Shard. Even though we die there, that's huge because it, the berry is going to be irrelevant now. And now we send in Knucklehead to finish the job. This is exactly how it played out in my head. That's exactly how it played out in my head. Now we use Protect. It's going to Dragon Dance. Uh-oh. Here we go. We're going to go. We're just going to... We're going to... This Earthquake... You need, I need to survive one Earthquake by him. We survive. And now Knucklehead's going to come back with a super huge Earthquake. And we beat Cynthia. <laughs> and just like that, Cynthia goes a town down. 
This team did it. This team, dude, this is a... We did it. You defeated champion Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Oh, it feels great. That really feels good. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys for the GGs. That, oh my god, it feels so good. Thank you. Wait, my alt account, that's a play on Alex just beat Cynthia's Garchomp. It did. It did, actually. It actually did. Thank you guys for the GGs. Dude, Alex, thank you. Uh, Dilly, thank you. Ben Solo, thank you. That was awesome. What a ride. That was truly excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave us support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step under the lift. I wonder if this is any different than... <laughs> Yo, this was, uh, this was me as soon as I saw my Earthquake do that much damage. That was my Ursaluna. <laughs> that was for sure my Ursaluna. My eye itches, dude. Oh my god, my eye's in pain. Uh, bro, I have something, something in my eye. Ah, uh, it hurts. It hurts. My eye hurts so bad. My right eye is, my right eye is so, in so much pain. <laughs> Yo, Lizzie, thank you for the gifted membership. Lizzie, I appreciate it so much. Ooh, let's go. Lizzie, you're amazing. You're amazing. I appreciate you. You're the best. You're amazing. Bro, my right eye is in a lot of pain. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Is that Birch? Or, I mean, Rowan. Birch is Gen 3, right? That's not... That's not... That is not the... <laughs> Sorry, that is not the professor from this gen. Beacon, your last battle was splendid. I just call this guy Professor Birch. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Deacon, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a, into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Beacon. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. I just called him the wrong professor name. It's hilarious. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be a quite a long time ago. Deacon, welcome to the Hall of Fame. I want to see what happens in the post game for Luminous and Platinum. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you're leaving are the memories of your adventures. Excuse me, so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you throughout many challenging battles. I like how they are all in different Pokeballs too. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. McQueen. The Pistuing Electrode. Big Hammer Bex, who basically carried me through most of the game. Ursa Luna, who did the most damage and who tanked the most. Kingdra, who was a, a late addition, but a great addition. Surfetched, always gotta have one on my team. They're always solid. And Chronix. Crystal Onyx, I mean, it died a lot, but also you don't get to play Crystal Onyx in most Pokemon games, so I had to use one. One of my favorite teams I ever I ever used in a Pokemon game. One of the best teams I ever used. One of the most fun teams I ever used. This is a really solid Pokemon team that I that we got to use here. Pokemon Luminescent Platinum. Is this diff this is this new? No, this this wasn't BDSP, right?
in Crystal Onyx, the Pokemon who is so lucky to be a uh, a custom form, or else I would never have used him. <laughs> in Chronix, he, he did some... He, I mean, the Ice Shard, I think, okay, I will say his Ice Shard against Garchomp to, to break the berry was actually pretty clutch. He did do that, at least. He used Ice Shard, he broke the berry from Garchomp, which probably would have stopped me from one-hit KOing with Earthquake. He did actually do some stuff. It wasn't totally useless. Wow, this is so pretty. This is such... Oh, I love it. Was this in BDSP? Wait, I don't remember this being in BDSP. This had to have been though, right? They, they didn't add this, did they? Is this new? I don't remember having like the like the flat like the the those memories like that. That's kind of cool. No, because they would have had no. This this has to be from BDSP because Rorkrit has Pokemon next to him. I just don't remember this like the the right side having like all the, like the stuff like that with your journey flashing before your eyes. I like, don't really know if I remember that. Yeah, I'm not wondering where Ed Sheeran is, you, you loon. Celestial, we are free, we are... How does the song go? I can't remember how Celestial even goes. It is the... How does Celestial even go? Where's Ed... Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a picture of Ed Sheeran. So like, it, make, it makes me feel better. Hold up. I'm gonna get a picture of Ed Sheeran. Hold up. Let me... Um, Ed Sheeran Transparent. Dude, there's one thing this is missing, and it's definitely Ed Sheeran. You're right, Dilly. Oh, dude, it was too late. Oh, my God. No, it's not too late. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so much better. There he is. Celestial. Celestial. We are... Oh, no. We were made to be so much more than this Finding magic in all the smallest things the way we know is what, what really matters Let's make tonight go on and on Celestial We were made to be nothing more than this Finding magic in all the small Dude, we need Ed Sheeran in every Pokemon game going forward This is perfect There he is I'm gonna kiss his cheek really fast, right? You guys ready for this? Perfect. Give him a little kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I did that for Adobe to say, bro, what the <laughs> I'm gonna give him one more cheek. I'm gonna give him one more. I'm, I'm, I'll give Ed Sheeran one more kiss on the cheek. Come here, buddy. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Finding magic in all the smallest things. This is a cool ROM hack. This is a really cool ROM hack. The end. I just wonder if, uh, wow, that's so cool. Then it goes right back into the, the intro with the,
This is such a better version of BDSP. If, if BDSP was this game, it would have been so much better. Like, this is exactly what we deserve for the remake. Not everything, because I know they, they wouldn't have done, but it just, it's such a good Pokemon game. I wish this is what we got for the remake. Even if, if they were going to do Chibi, Chibi, I wish they would have done, done it like this. They would have had more Pokemon. They would have had... Such a good remake, dude. Such a good remake. Such a good fan game. Wow, I really, I really enjoyed this. But let's see what happens when we start it back up again. I'm going to kiss Ed Sheeran on the cheek. <laughs> Are you, Rebecca? I'm laughing in tears. Wait, kiss the other cheek? Okay, I'll kiss both cheeks. Hold up. I'll, I'll bring him back. I, I, I can't, like, really see him, though. I, got, I can flip him around. Nope. It's up, oh, my God. He's upside down. I'm kissing his armpit right now. Sorry, I'm not trying to kiss his armpit. I got I to gotta flip him horizontally, then I can kiss the other cheek. Hold up. Flip horizontal. I got. I gotta like kiss his guitar though. Both cheeks. There you go. Well, I guess that was the same cheek because I I flipped him. That was the same cheek, wasn't it? Because I flipped him. I just kissed him. Uh, whatever. I give him a lot of kisses. We'll give him a lot of kisses. Yeah, that was kind of weird because I, I flipped him the other way. I, I flipped them horizontally, then I kissed his... Okay, that was very that was very strange. <laughs> that was uh, honestly kind of weird. Beacon! Pixel Toad came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you needing to go on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could even ask. <laughs> Bro kissed the sheer sheer Edmund. Dude, I love Ed Sheeran, dude. This guy's my favorite. Beacon, I'm, there you are. I'm looking everywhere for you. I was wondering if you could assist me with my research. Is there a chibi Ed Sheeran I can find? I wish I could find like a chibi Ed Sheeran so he like blended in with the rest of the characters in this game, you know? You see, there have been mysterious sightings of a grass covered Pokemon around Sinnoh. Well, I've only seen him about a million times. Oh, you, you've seen the Pokemon around? And it helped you throughout your journey? How fascinating. I may have some intel as to where we could find this Pokemon. It seems you may have quite a bomb with it. How about it? So you can pay the thanks for helping you out. And dude, this is, that's exactly how the BDSP should have went. Oak should have given you that this game plays out so much more intelligently. I don't is that how we did it in the first game too? I'm not sure if that's how it that happened in the first game. I don't remember. I don't exactly remember. Maybe it did play out that same way. I don't know. Six more Vicky Roy's. Oh my God, Jordan, you're you're crazy, dude. Six more Vicky Roy's. He says. Wait, do you mean like the ones that do the battle royale, Rebecca? Where you have like, you have like the Pokemon on the bottom of the screen, they run around, and you all get one. What is it? You want to sail to the battle zone? Cynthia's here. I thought you would come. I'm glad I waited for you. I think it's good that our world is constantly changing. Of course, I don't want it to become what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions. Nobody would want that. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy. Where Pokemon and the people around them can be happy for each other. I want the world to become a place where everyone's smiling. The world could be so much better if we all try to make it that way. I want you to keep traveling to many far off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people and Pokemon. 
I came all the way here just so I could say that to you. Your horizons will expand again if you visit the fight area. I like how in this game, like, they have to walk straight up and then right and then straight up. It's really awkward when you see that. Beep beep! Oh, hey, Beacon. What took you so long? I'm finding you one million Poké Dollars. Actually, never mind the find. Come with me, will ya? I think this was, no, this, I tried to get in the Battle Frontier, which happens to be right here, and these guys came along and got my face about it. They, okay, so the developers of Luminous and Platinum are adding a full Battle Frontier to this game, but I think it's not done yet. Oh, we got a battle again? Guys, I just beat the Pokemon League. You want me to bet? We're gonna, we're gonna do a double battle against... We just destroyed these guys. We gotta battle them again? Wait, this, was this also in... This might have also been, like, in, like, uh... Hey, Kayla. Because Ed Sheeran's my... Ed Sheeran's my love. I love Ed Sheeran so much. He's my love. He's my light. Okay, they're using Protect. So we get, like, free screens then, right? You should have... Kill, you should be asking why isn't Ed Sheeran on my screen more often? <laughs> Ask not why Ed Sheeran is on my screen. Ask why Ed Sheeran is not on my screen more often. That's the real question you should be asking yourself. And the one that matters at the, at the end of the day. I love Ed Sheeran so much. My favorite person in the whole world. I think we're gonna be able to like mollywop these guys. Let me send. I'm gonna send a knucklehead. Captain America: Winter Soldier came out ten years ago today. Oh my god, dude, that is insane. Captain America Winter Soldier came out 10 years ago today. Dude, that's actually insane. That is actually insane. Dude. Holy cow, I can't believe it's been that long. Time goes by so fast, man. That really blew that really just blew my mind hearing that today. That's wild. A good thing that didn't kill me. But I know the Rotom the Rotom's gonna have levitate. I already battled it before. Captain America came out ten years ago today, huh? Oh, that's so crazy to me. Why didn't oh I guess Will Wisping my uh it, it would have been dumb to Will Wisp my Yeah, Rotom did you levitate? At least Gastron didn't die there. I'm not sure if they actually have the Battle Frontier in this game yet, like the full Battle Frontier. Muddy Water? That'll probably knock out the road time almost, not quite. Not even close, actually. I love Enchirin. I know, isn't that crazy? Nick has definitely lost his mind. I know, I'm feeling old too, Take Love. That, that fact right there made me just feel so old today. Like, unlike anything else ever could. I love that. I love that movie. I know it came out a while ago, but it didn't, it didn't seem like 10 years ago. I, I, I would have guessed like eight years ago, you know? Like eight years sounds like it could have been accurate, but I know it's longer than that. No way it knocks out my Ursaluna. I can't believe that. It doesn't even feel right. It feels so wrong. Yeah, that Gastrodon is so clutch. This Gastrodon is so clutch.
Dude, nothing says Pokemon battles like every turn taking 35 minutes. How can you, how can you tell if you're playing Pokemon? Oh, you can play if every turn based battle takes 35 minutes to actually go by. That's how you can tell you're playing Pokemon in 2025 or 2024. I mean, why wow, man, you've been you've been on the same turn for about for a while now. Are you feeling okay? I don't think I don't. This is a bad swap in. This is a bad swap in. But they both use protect. Come on. Come on. Don't both protect like that. Come on. I got to pee, guys. I know it made me feel old, too. It made me feel very old. It doesn't even kill. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's hard, Takla. That's the hard fact about life sometimes, you know? Yo, what's up, XJ? I think it's hard to deal with your own mortality and you're getting older and stuff, it's hard to really deal with those emotions because sometimes it feels like your life goes and just goes by before you even realize it. It's hard to deal with that, you know? It's part of being a person, but it's, it is very hard. So if you're feeling like, you know, depressed about it, I think it's, nor it's really normal to be like, you know, to have those emotions. Because the older I get, the more I feel like I, I have trouble with that too, you know? And I'm still pretty young. But I feel like I do have trouble with that still to this day. Like just trying to find a way to manage that, those feelings. All right, we're not gonna. Hmm. What do you think, Ed Sheeran? I'll send in uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this, is a, this is a very hard battle for being we get six Pokemon each and they get three each and we're, we're gonna beat them but it's still a struggle I just can't believe I can't really believe that it's been that long crazy man <laughs> dude I heard that they uh for captain for Yo, actually, we did beat Cynthia tonight, though. I beat the Elite Four and everything. In in this in this game, Cynthia was, it, she was very much harder than in this game. But I feel like I had a good team, that's why I didn't struggle against her so much. But the the gym leaders in this game are way harder. They have way more Pokemon than they do in regular BDSP. So it's definitely a lot. This game is a lot harder than traditional BDSP. It was this, this game is infinitely better than the like vanilla BDSP, and we we can actually shiny hunt all the legendaries. Um, and you don't have to use Ramones Park. They're just in the overworld. You can go find all the legendaries in this game, and they're just all over the map. So we can go shiny hunt them later, which is pretty cool. I'll probably do that at some point. Does he have Protect 2? He has Morning Sun. Wait, what? Wait, what did that just do? Wait, what did my attack just do? Did I? Oh, he, 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 I think he's got. Is that Storm Drain? Is that what it does? Isn't the ability of Gastrodon Storm Drain? Is that what it does? It, it absorbs every water attack. It absorbs it or something. Isn't that Storm Drain? Or Water Absorb? I mean, that's probably a Water Absorb, isn't it? I think it's Water Absorb actually. I think it's Water Absorb. That's what it is. Uh, don't burn me, please. Wow, that was a critical hit. Why 
Why would you use it? Oh my god, he used Earth Power. Gastron's gonna lose some health. I'll use, I think if I just get one more crit. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. We won. That was kind of hard to lose, like, kind of hard at least, a little bit. Yeah, Kayla, I feel bad for you guys in a sense. Like, you guys that were in, like, high school or, like, late middle school during, like, the whole lockdown thing. Because you guys were kind of, like, cheated out of, like, a high school experience. I do feel bad for you guys. But you still have a lot of time to be young. Don't, don't freak out about it too much because you're still so young in the grand scheme of things. Don't let it get to you too much, you know? Just make sure you enjoy every single day. You work hard on yourself. Because you can't stress time back. Like, no, no matter how much you, you get sad about it, you just got to make the most of your, where you are right now. Enjoy yourself. You're still super young. Don't let yourself get, like, caught up in, like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. Should have enjoyed myself more. Just enjoy right now. You're still really young. Just realize that. You're still super young. You still have so much time. See, I got a lot tougher, yeah? Okay, I'm off the, the front teeth. Palmer, what's this all about? What the? Daddy? Daddy? If it isn't Pixel Toad, you've grown all sturdy. And Beacon too? I haven't seen you in a long time either. Beacon, your mother told me you'd gone off to the battle zone. So I'd come to run lo running looking for you. So are you two gonna take on the Battle Frontier Challenge? The Frontier had five facilities, but most of them aren't ready yet. Each one will have a unique set of rules, so they're all different. <laughs> Anyways, I'm satisfied to see that you're both doing well. Yeah, they're gonna be adding like, a whole battle tower to this game later on. I don't think I'm gonna like, ever stream that really, but I'll probably try check it out at some point. This, was, this game was at least worth playing through. I really enjoyed playing through it. Hey, hey, I just watched you two battle. You're something very special, aren't you? Beating an Elite Four like that. The name's Buck. Say, why don't you challenge our island's unofficial gym challenge? Wait, what? They have, they have another gym challenge? Six routes on the island, one trainer on each route. Each being an expert in a type that nobody in Sinnoh specializes in. Sounds fun, right? You should do it. This is not in regular BDSP. If you beat them all, well, I'll battle you. I'll be training as Dark Mountain. Bro, that's so cool. That is really cool. There's like a there's like a separate gym challenge out here. Like, it's an unofficial gym challenge. Why did he say mommy, or why did he say daddy? That is pretty cool that they have like a like a another gym challenge in this game like that. It's pretty sick. Look at how small Torchic is. Because they made all the stuff like they skilled all the stuff in this game. I wonder if we go back to uh Battle Park. There's like another set of gym leaders. I know I'm, I'm basically like my you guys basically came to see me. lead him now. <laughs> we'll say sign heart to him. Goodbye. Goodbye, Big Ed. Goodbye, Big Ed. You'll be very much missed. Alright, guys. I'm going to take a very, very quick pee. I'll be right back, alright? I'm taking a very quick pee break, and I shall return. I have a couple ideas. I want to do one or two more things before I do end stream today. I got a couple ideas. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do when I get back. I won't be live very much longer when I get back, but I want to do maybe one or two more things today. Um... Thank you all for being here tonight one more time. I really enjoyed the stream. I really enjoyed being here with you guys tonight. So everyone that's been here all night, I really appreciate you. Everyone that's hung out and made the stream fun, it, it means a lot to me. So everyone that became members today, gifted membership, subscribed, super chatted, uh, membership renewals. Thank you everybody that's been here all night. You guys are 
beautiful people. I got a pedo. <laughs> you gotta get you gotta blow at a kiss. I wish I had like a, a gif of him winking. Celestial. What a beautiful man. What a beautiful man. <laughs> That's how I came into stream. I was so concerned. Yeah, I'm just kind of losing it today. I'm losing it a little bit. I'll be right back, everybody.
Sorry. You ever like unmute your mic? Or you, you thought you did, and you don't unmute it, and then you like start talking and you're like, oh, I'm still muted. Just me? Okay, just me. Just me, just me, just me. Thank you, Alex. All right. Before we end stream today, I'm either going to play a few games of Pokemon TCG, or we'll play a couple games of Unite. I don't know what I want to play. What would you guys rather... I know it's like I should choose it for myself, but what do you go? Do we do TCG or do we do some Unite games today? I always never play Unite anymore, but I'm gonna maybe play a couple games today. We'll play like two games, either two TCG games or two Unite games. I'm on the fence. I kind of want to play some Unite. I'm gonna do a poll. You guys can choose. We'll play like two games of each. Pokemon Rumble. I'm not playing Pokemon Rumble. I'm not playing Rumble. <laughs> All right, we're going to do either TCG. I've been enjoying the TCG a lot. It would actually make it easier to... Uh, I, I won't even say. You guys can vote. Alex, I don't even think I have Rumble on anything, dude. Well, well, was Rumble on like the um, the DS back in the day? I think it was. It would make it easy to play on my computer because I, I have the TCG installed on my computer. So if I was going to play on anything, the, the computer makes sense. I'm not playing Peppa. I'm going to get Peppa Pig. All right. This is close, man. This is hella close. There's 13 votes. When it, once it gets to 20 votes, then we're gonna then we're gonna choose. Once we get to 20 votes, we're gonna pick. I made like a new Pokemon TCG deck too, so I want to try that. But I I also don't play Unite. We'll see. Hey, what's up, Time Mister? I've been really good, dude. Things are going pretty good, Time Mister. It's been a while. All right, TCG's in the lead by 6% with 19 votes. I'm gonna, I'll leave the poll up a little bit longer, but I, I think that TCG's gonna pull out with the victory today. It's looking rather likely. Nineteen votes. If you guys want to vote in the poll, I would love you for it. Yeah, I really think we're seeing like the last. You know, Unite's gonna be really like not big. Like, the game has been up and down for a long time, but it really feels like this is the point where it like really starts to decline. I, it, games don't last forever. Unite's definitely in its like final days. And I, they could probably find a way to revive it when like the Chinese release comes out. All right, we're up by t this is like ten percent increased. But uh, there's a new game on Steam that I've wanted to try. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I can show you guys quick. I'll bring it up. I might end up streaming the game, but I might not. I gotta make sure I save. Hold up. I just unplugged my controller. I didn't mean to do that. We did beat the game, which is really cool. We beat the game. It wasn't the right way to close out of the emulator or like the, the ROM, but it's fine. That was the wrong way to go. But I just made a, I made a Meowskarada deck in the Pokemon TCG Live, and I've been really liking it. I haven't been winning all the battles I've been playing with it, but I've, I've won a decent amount. Enough where I, the deck's kind of 
working. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah, it's called Content Warning. That's the game I've been that's the game I've been uh checking out recently. It's very cool looking. I think it'd be fun to do like a Oh, uh hold up. Yeah, the game is called Content Warning. This is oh dear. It was free for why is my Steam looking citrus, like this? We need to take this camera. This is Citrus's first game, by the way, guys. I hear I'll, I'll let it play for a uh, sec. Say hi in the comments to Citrus Bird. We need to go in Hello. into that ship, um, film cool stuff for our viewers, and then upload the video and make views, which make us money, to make more views and more money. So let's go. Hoorah! It looks like a really silly game. So like, you're supposed to come in this like, like really creepy area. There's a lot of a lot of random and freaky stuff happens, and you're supposed to record. And whoever records the creepiest stuff and gets it on film, and uploads it and gets the most views, you get the most. You get views for uploading it. You see how he just died. And there's some really creepy stuff down here. Some really creepy stuff down here. So you want and you can die too. So you don't want to die. You want to record the stuff and you want to get out of there. You want to record and then bounce. I think it'd be really, really funny to play this. I would really, I would, I would enjoy playing so much. And then if, once you get more money, you can buy more equipment that lets you stay down there longer. But it's like, like the stuff down there is like insanely terrifying. And then you go back and you watch it all together. It looks really fun. Looks like a really funny time. Citrus, we need to. It's a really cool idea. It's only seven dollars too. Cool idea for a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick that day. Hey, that's cool, Needy. Uh, I know Huggy's been... Well, he didn't, I don't think he plays it much, like, recently, but I know Huggy's played that game recently, too. Oh, no, Rebecca. When I stream that game, you're going to be front and center. I'm going to make sure I'm going to... I'm going to I'm gonna go in Discord and be like, Hey, Rebecca, make, remember, I'm, st I'm streaming content warning today. <clears throat> I want to make sure you don't forget. Make sure you're there today, Rebecca. Don't forget... There's actually a lot of games. This is there's a, a game called Crime Scene Cleaner. It's like Crime Scene Cleaner Simulator. That's how that is coming out. I was seeing like new games coming out that looked fun, but what is this? Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions? I, I've been looking at new games on Steam that are coming out that look fun. Spanky is on my wish list. I'm playing Spanky and that drops. We're about to play the crap out of Spanky. We're gonna play Spanky till the cows come home. <laughs> XJ said this is not Unite or TCG. That is true. Yeah, for sure, Kayla. I would be very scared to play that too myself. I'd be very, very scared. They said they um I gotta see what they did for the I'm not gonna play today, but they said they updated Power World today too. I think they just actually uh, there's a big update today, actually. Yeah. Raid boss. This is the all the patch notes for the new pe power update. That's absurd. That's absurd. They updated. They put a lot of work into that today, or whenever they updated that. That's cool. That's really, really, really cool. I'm just trying to look out for new games coming out that I haven't heard about that look fun. There's a lot of games that I'm trying to keep my eye on. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I haven't seen like, I mean, this is like the one game I've seen that I really do want to try. Content warning does look like a lot of fun. I'm going to try that for sure. It just looks, it looks very creepy, though. It looks very, very creepy. Ooh, I got some new cards. Sandy Shocks. Prime Catcher. We get one free pack. I wanted to actually, um, I wanted to actually make this full screen. Torpedo. Keldeo. Maridon. 
And that's actually kind of a good card. I've heard that's actually a pretty good card. Um, but I did make him right on deck recently. I'm gonna buy some more cosmetics for my character. Hold on, I'm gonna let's make this full screen really quick. There we go. I think we can go to the shop and we can buy some stuff for my character. Hold up. Or if we go to my decks, I think we're gonna, I think we can actually uh we can almost afford I can buy new card sleeves. I kinda wanna buy new card sleeves. Look at the smile. The smile of ones are cute. Those are actually really cute. I'm going to buy these. These are the ones I wanted for the longest time. The flower ones. Oh, yeah. We're buying those today. How do I, how do I buy them? Dude, of course I want the flower ones. Can I Can I put them on? Can I actually put them on here, too? Look at how cute those flower cards these are. Those are the ones I was trying to save up for anyways. Those are those are awesome, and this is the deck that I made. So we'll see if I can get we can get a W today. I've really been trying to make this deck as good as it can be. I've been trying my best, my hardest. Mm. Have I heard a sticky business? I don't think I've heard a sticky business before. I don't think so. The card game, or like the 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 game. Is that new, Kayla? I gotta find a way to move this too. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. It sounds kind of familiar though. It sounds like a, a little bit familiar, but not super familiar. Yes, I wanna go first. No, I don't think I've heard of sticky business before though, that I know of. I gotta, there should, yeah, I guess there is music. Sticky business, eh? Dude, I got a mulligan. I, I have no Pokemon in my hand. Honestly, though, this is a really good hand. Sort of. This, this deck is really cool. Um, the way it plays and the way that... Um, it's just kind of hard sometimes to get the cards you need, but when you do... Yeah, Firefly. Everyone that I'm playing against, so there's like a rank system. So everyone that I'm playing, this is a real person I'm playing against. Yeah, this is like their 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 gamer tag right here. So you, I think there is a way, like in like a tutorial, you can face fake people. But these are real people I'm playing against. That, that's a real person, and they have a they make their own deck, and then I make my deck. So this is 100 like player versus player, and then you can you can play uh, casual or ranked. If you if you play ranked and the more you win the more you grind the rank system you can unlock new cards you can um, you unlock, there's like uh, different prizes you have I gotta end my turn don't I yeah I'm gonna end my turn that's a very good thing so yeah this is this is the person I'm, I'm playing right here this is always PvP so this is this is a real person I'm playing for sure I don't know if there even is a way to face people like face some um, fake people like face like computers. I'm not sure if there is or not. I think what I do here is I should... We're going to discard both of these cards. And I'm going to get a Pidgey out of my deck if I have one. I can put Pidgey into my hand, right? And we're going to put Pidgey on the field. I think I should actually use this. This is a deck I, I half made this myself and well I, a lot of what I did for this deck is like I looked up a lot of like what some good decks are and this this deck looked promising but it's not the best deck that's out right now so I'm just trying to find ways to make it a little bit better yeah this is definitely a player you can you can uh, if you guys get this game you can add friends too so you can um, friend people and we can bat we can do friendly battles too so if you ever try this game we can add each other there's a way to add friends so yeah this definitely is PvP. It's fun. Like, there's like a really good strategy element to it. There's some, there's some really good decks out there, though. Some really good decks. Aw, oh, Jessica, thanks for sending me a code. Oh, I just died. 
What does that do again? Dude, that is a great card. This attack does 10 more damage for each ancient card in your discard pile. Here's what we do. We're going to use the rare candy. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. I'm going to look for... All right, Radiant Alakazam. So, Firefly, basically, like, um, the only way this game has microtransactions is if you like buy physical cards and put the codes in you can't you can't pay money directly into the game to get what you want there's like um i think when you start playing there's like eight decks that are like really good decks that the game gives you for free and you can you can use those and grind the length you can actually climb the rank ladder pretty easy with those and then as you do that you can sort of like just earn cards and you can just like make decks over time so like you don't you really don't have to pay any money to actually like be competitive in this game you can play like one of the eight decks they have and as you like use it more you kind of learn how how it works and everything you do you do not have to pay money to play this game like at all um i think i'm gonna use this uh this is gonna be tough i'm gonna use this like when i first started playing this i barely i like legitimately didn't even use um i basically just only played with the decks that the game gave me you know it's really fun firefly i think you'd really like the game if you if you try it it's really fun i think i'm gonna put this on pidgeot but the good thing is i can discard the stadium card that's actually huge for me Mm -hmm. you can kayla and you can play this game and you can you can earn the battle pass so this game has a battle pass you you, you can't even physically pay money for the battle pass you have to do, like, do the daily challenges and you don't, there's no way to buy the battle pass you have to earn it in this game which is really cool too so there's like eight decks you get and they're the decks that the game gives you for like the like the starter decks you can beat some of the best decks that anyone can actually pay money for well, you can't even really pay money for it. Like, there's no there's no microtransaction in this game at all. That's one of the best parts about the whole game. Like, I there's a Lugia deck in this game. It's, like, one of the best decks that you can even buy, like, in real life. And it, it gives you the deck for free, which is really, really awesome. So there, there's really no way to, like... Uh, it's This is very, very friendly for new players. Yeah, it's very friendly. I'd recommend picking this up if you ever... And the, you can play on your phone. There's a phone app for it, a tablet app. You can play on, the, on your PC. <laughs> So there's a lot of ways to play too, but I think that's really cool, Firefly. See, this is where this deck gets really good. This is where I think we're gonna win this game. You, I think you guys will see like how good this deck can be. I'm gonna put this energy on this thing, right? Then we're gonna um Super Rod. And then we're gonna we're gonna get uh I guess we can get this. If, if, if you if you do play firefly you have questions i i'll help you any anytime you have questions just hit me up if you ever want to like know stuff about the game or like how it works and stuff god that's actually such a good i could do that right now actually well if i attack him right now i, I beat him okay this guy did not have a good game plan we just won Look at how cute these these cards are here too. We just we just won. I didn't even realize that. We just beat this guy. I didn't even do, I didn't even get to use like any of my deck strategies. It just all right. We won. <laughs> he must not have had any bench Pokemon. I don't, I don't know how he didn't have any. Maybe he just gave up or something. I feel like he just gave up. We're also close to ranking up too.
it's Sophia, the, the TCG honestly is really easy to play. Like all you have to really understand is you have six prize cards, your opponent has six prize cards. If you knock out one of their Pokemon, you take a prize card. If you knock out one of like their EX Pokemon or their V Pokemon, you get two prize cards. And you win the game if you take all their if you take all your prize cards and you, you pick all of them up, you win. That's like the general idea of it. But there's a lot obviously there's like some more complexities to it too. And then, so every every like six hours, you get like two quests right here, right? So if you fulfill them, you get like some currency up here and you can just earn currency. And then this is the battle pass that you can get over time too. And you, you can't even buy this with real money, which is really awesome. And there's like, so there's like a basic one and then a premium one. Um, you, you can unlock the premium one just by playing the game. That's the only way to unlock it. You just got to gain currency over time. You unlock the battle pass. You can get some free cards that way, which is awesome. And then you can, over time, you can buy, like, buy new, like, shirts, which is kind of nice. You can, like, change your face. <laughs> There's glasses you can buy. And then, um... Like, you, there's, you can't even... You cannot put money in this game at all. You can't buy any of this stuff directly. So all, all these currencies here, you have to just earn over time with by playing the game, which is kind of cool. So if you wanted like 1500 currency here to buy these, you couldn't even, you could not put money in the game to buy that. You just got to earn it over time. I wanted to like actually show how my, and this is like the, the ranking system here. So it goes, um, this is like the the baby league, like the early ranks. Then you go into the Pokeball ranks. So I'm almost in the great rank. I'm still in Pokeball rank though. And then you go to the great rank. And you're in great for a while. There's Charizard rank. Then you hit like ultra rank and that's where legendary start to come into play. And this is just, this is just like the there's like the legendary Pokemon don't really matter. It's just like the the placeholder you know that's just like showing you like just the label of the rank and if you, if you rank up you get like some cool cosmetics you get like some some in-game currency and the highest ranks the arceus rank so you can just try to like you know improve your deck and get better i'm still in ball rank right now but i'm almost in greninja rank so I'm, we're getting up there it's fun to play though the game is really fun it's really enjoyable <laughs> no, you can't Firefly. So you can't spend money in this game. What you can do, though, you could, like, buy a bunch of cards in real life. I don't necessarily want to recommend you do this, but you can go to some websites, um, and people, like, in bulk, they sell the code cards from the TCG. You can buy, like, 50 of those code cards for, like, really cheap if you really want to buy cards in this game. I'm not saying you should do that. Be careful if you do. I'm not recommending you do that. But, like... Um, that is possible. If you want to find a way to get cards in the game, you can like people sell bulk code cards online, and they sell like the virtual codes for them. You can buy them for like five dollars. You get like fifty code cards, and you can put them in the game and get a bunch of bunch of cards for free. I'm I'm just saying that's what he, some people do do, but you don't have to do that. You you could just use the decks they give you, and you can win a lot of games. It's really see like um, Ar this Arcanine deck is totally free. Chi and Pow deck totally free. Charizard deck totally free. All these decks are free. You don't got to pay a single dime for them. And they are really good. Like, really good decks. So, you don't have to spend money in the game at all. Um, It's the same, Sophia. Yeah, if you if you play... um, If you play... If your husband puts, like, uh, stuff... Like, the codes in... He's putting them in the same game that, I, that I'm playing right now. It's the exact same game. Do you have the dog mouse? And then you can like just like collect cards in here too, and then you can make decks with them. Yeah, it's the same game. Because it used to be the Pokemon TCG Online, and there was never a phone app for it. And then they released the TCG Live, and they transferred the the, the online to this, and then they kind of all made it like a they they made like a mobile app for it. They kind of like all like just like synced everything together, you know. I just started playing this like maybe like I don't know three weeks ago or maybe like a month ago now
it's fun though to like try new decks and see what works and if you want to like try a deck then like you're not sure if it's like really good you just play casual you can just bring car like just bring a casual deck in those game modes and you can usually do pretty good it's fun though all right your opponent had to take one mulligan before drawing a basic pokemon And what's, what's nice about it is if your opponent has to mulligan and they gotta like draw draw um you get a free free card to start your your turn off with look at how cute the shiny sprigatito is isn't that adorable <laughs> Chinese sprigatito is so cute man and then we're gonna play this I'm gonna get a Pidgey. I'm gonna get a Bidoof. It's really crazy how good uh, Bidoof and Babarel are in this game. I'll put a double turbo on Sprigatito. And I'll end my turn. Hey Hayden, if you ever if you have extra cards and you ever want to give them to me, you don't have to, but I'll take them if you ever want to. Do they really XJ? A lot of people post them for free on the TCG Reddit too. Really? I never knew that actually. That's a really good tip, XJ. That's a really good tip. That's a really good tip. Yeah, if you guys ever have like any questions about the TCG Live, I'm not like the most like super, I don't know everything about it, but I've learned a lot. He has three energies on him already? How? What did I miss? Dude, I look away for a second, he's got three energies on him? Oh my God, what happened? What happened? <laughs> like, is that is that part of his thing? Search your deck for up to two basic fire energies and attach them to this Pokemon. That's one of his attacks. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's horrible for me. See, there's some decks that are just like, some cards are just pretty crazy. And then, so you see, normally, like, if I knock out a regular Pokemon, I take one prize card. If I manage to knock out that Arcanine, I take two prize cards if I knock it out, because it's, it's an EX. So they're, they're pretty balanced in the sense where if you do knock them out, you, you do get a lot of prize cards for doing that. All right, I got to, like, get my strategy going or I'm going to be screwed. I don't know if we're going to win this game, but we're going to try. <laughs> we are going to try. Let me draw like a Pidgeot, a Pidgeot. Oh my God. And it's, it's pretty easy to come back in this game if you're ever like, you know, really behind. It's not hard to come back, which I like about the game too. It's never, it's never like for sure, like a loss, you know? It's looking pretty bad for me right now, but we can come back. Hope. Dude, loud pack. Would you really? I've been lurking. I have an insane amount of code cards. I'll DM you. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Would you really do it for me? If you if you would, loud pack, I'd dude, you'd be my favorite person today. If you want to. I just don't. This deck relies on Alakazam so much. If I don't have Alakazam, it's hard to come back. Hey, if you want to, Loud, I, it'd be, it would really mean a lot to me, man, if you would. See, though, a lot of times I've, like, got... Oh, my God, we got Maelstrata. That's huge. That's actually huge. Okay, here's... A, okay, why... You, you guys want to see a crazy play? I, I'm gonna... I'll describe to you guys exactly what I'm doing here, okay? So, um, I can evolve my Maelstrata... So rare candy lets you bypass the middle stage evolution when you're evolving, which is huge, right? 
Oh, I don't have any. Oh, this is bad. I don't have any. Uh, I can't do that this turn. Okay, I can't do my. I can't do my strat this turn. Which is fine. Dude, that really is nice of you, Loud. I'm looking to get some some more TCG packs or some um. <laughs> dude, Loud, you're a great guy, man. You're a really dope dude. Like legitimately a dope dude. I appreciate it, man. Cause I'm I've been like like just playing ranked like kind of casually this season, but I'm trying to like actually play more. It's fun. If I manage to get an Alakazam, it's probably gonna be over for this guy. He's already taken two of my prize cards, but it's not the end of the world. We'll see, I guess. I appreciate it loud very much. I do nothing with them. That's fine, man. I, I see like from like being a streamer, I've given out so many code cards here because I was like, I'm never gonna play TC. 500 damage. Why did he do that? Dude, he just, why is he, I mean, I guess he has cards to let him get energies out of his discard pile, right? Five, that, that just did 500 damage. I need to find a card that lets me, if I draw up a barrel this turn, that's gonna be big. If I draw anything that lets me get new cards in my hand, that's all I need right now. I gotta pick a new Pokemon to put. I gotta put this Brigatito out. This is looking very bad for me. Dude, this is such a bad, 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 bad. This is so bad, dude. I gotta put this out just so I can buy a little bit of time. I can bring his Charmander out. This will buy a little bit of time for me. Do I switch into Male Scarada here just so I can take out his Charmander? Do I do that? Such a gamble. Uh, I don't think I do that. I think it just end my turn. This is, the, this is like when the, this is when this deck doesn't really do very well. Yo, we got Becky, two belts, and Loud Pack in the building. Yo, oh my God, Firefly! I'm so happy you did. That makes me really happy. You're gonna have fun playing this. I I know you will. Well, I don't know you will, but I think you will. <laughs> you gotta try it. I think you'd really like it. That's so cool. He's thinking. Ooh. You know that that's actually that, that's huge for me too. I needed that to happen. This might this might actually change the game. Oh my god, we got we have a barrel. Oh yeah, Dude, I, I think this guy's actually toast. I don't know if this guy realizes how. Oh, I I need Alakazam still though. That really to make this deck really work. Hmm. We got some good cards in my hand all of a sudden. Oh, oh guys. Okay, watch this. Here, you guys want to see this turn? Okay, watch this turn. We send out Arvin here, right? I get Master Ball, which gives me any Pokemon from my deck that I need. This this is gonna turn. Okay, we we, we use Master Ball to grab Alakazam. This is gonna be such a good turn. We we send Alakazam on the field. We're gonna play the barrel from my hand. I'm going to attach the double turbo energy to Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, just, just in case I get Pidgeot at some point. I need Pidgeot to, I'm gonna, wait. I don't need this. Actually, I do kind of need this card. I, I should save that. No, I think what I do. I'm gonna use Meoscrata's ability. I discard an energy card from my hand and I can put 30 damage counters on one of my opponent's bench Pokemon. And if Meowth when it when it attacks, if the opponent has damage counters on it, it deals a super amount of damage. 
So that's going to be what I, that's my plan here. Um, I can't put an energy on anything. I just put it. I forgot that that was bad on, on my part. I think I'm going to end my turn there, but this is, we're, we're, we're actually sitting pretty good. That was a good, that was a good turn. That was a good turn. If you have questions, let me know, Firefly. I'm very happy to help you if you have questions. He's got a buy barrel too. Okay. I know this guy has a Charizard in his deck. I need boss's orders. That is not a boss's orders card. That's fine though. I'll put a energy on him. I'm gonna attach this to him. So this TM here, I can use it for one turn only. It allowed me to get my Pidgeot, which I need. That's gonna be worth it in and then some. I'm I'm a little bit nervous. Hey Chris, it is good to see you, my dude. I love the Wormpool profile picture. He's in a retreat. I think with Charmander he retreats here and he's gonna send out Arcanine again. Oh he, yeah, he can retreat Charmander. I think he I think he can at least. He's gonna attack me with that's that's a weird move. That's a weird play. Okay, so what's nice about... I'm gonna use this to put 30 more damage counters on Arcanine. Ooh, this is hard. Uh, the barrel's ability lets me draw until I have five cards in my hand. So I'm gonna do that next. And I'm gonna use one of my Ionos, I think. Now I'm gonna draw until I have six cards in my hand. That's really nice. That was really huge. I can use Super Rod to put these cards back in my deck. I can put Energy back in my deck. So all these can go back in my deck now, which is nice. Match off my deck again. See, Meowskarada is weak to fire, so here... Ugh. We can still win this game. I know we can. I'm going to get a Meowskarada in my hand. I'm still gonna. I need a Sprigatito. I can evolve this Sprigatito. I, I can evolve. Oh, no, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Hey, Jessica. It's good to see you again. Hello. Jessica? I think what I do here is I'm gonna retreat my Sprigatito. And I'm gonna bring out my Pidgeot in, in exchange. I'll put my Pidgey on the bench, which might have been a bad idea. But now we can attack with Blustery Wind. Ooh, I could put an energy on something. Nick the Popper. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. You're the bomb. Nick the Popper. Yeah, I'll just attack with Blustery Wind, I think. Now we get one prize card. Put that in my hand. The game is kind of turning around. Now I was hoping he'd bring this card. I was hoping he'd bring Arcanine back in. That was that was the hope. I'm popping them like balloons, Rebecca. When I'm playing TCG, Rebecca, everyone else is just balloons because I'm the popper. It's like a carnival game. For the balloons, I'm the guy playing the carnival game. Pop, 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 pop. We're, pop, we're popping everyone's balloons today. And 
Interesting. I don't know if this guy can beat me. Once he loses, he's, he's going to lose his Arcanine. His Arcanine is not going to be around very much longer. And then I think that's going to be his demise. Once his, if, if we win this game, we level up too. So we're going to rank up as soon as I, if we win this game. Opponents selecting cards from their deck. If we win, we level up. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I'm playing a carnival game. We're playing a carnival game. They're all the balloons. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, him getting Charmeleon's good. Wait, Charizard EX is very good in this game. This is where gets, I'm a little bit nervous about Charizard EX. He's trying to... Ooh, he's got a Radiant Charizard too. So you see the Radiant Pokemon? You can only have one Radiant Pokemon. I think it's how it works. Or one of each copy. I think I think one Radiant per deck was his, right? You can't have more than one Radiant Pokemon in your deck. So what's cool about this Radiant Charizard, you don't have to evolve it. You just put it on the bench. It's all, he almost killed me with that, but it, it's not quite not going to knock me out. All right, guys, hear me out. I think what we can do here... I think we can actually take out that his... Uh, we can take out his Pokemon this turn. I think we can at least. I think we can take out his Pokemon this turn. I'm going to evolve the Sprigatito. Or to Florigato. I think I'm cooking right now. Here's what we do, right? Um, I use Meowth's ability. We discard an energy. And I can put damage counters on his Charizard right here. Right? So I'm putting 30 damage counters on his Charizard. And then Alakazam's ability, I can move two damage counters to whatever Pokemon I want to move them to. So I can I can move these two to his Arcanine. They can make more damage on him. And then... What's really good? I'm gonna use Super Rod, and I'm gonna shuffle some Pokemon back, some cards back into my deck, and then I can uh, I can discard one Arvin, and I can get two energies in my in my hand again, which is huge. Now I'm gonna put one of these. What's the retreat cost on him? Oh, there's no retreat cost for Pidgeot. Oh my god, that's huge. I think I retreat and I, I send out my, my, my Meowth Garada. And we can deal exactly 200 damage. And that, that's that's exactly enough to knock out his uh, Arcanine. That's exactly enough. So I can put one damage. I'm going to put one energy. That is crazy. Having no retreat cost. So usually if you want to take a Pokemon and put it back on your bench, you had to like discard an energy to do that. It requires no energy at all to do that, which is really nice. I'm going to use Arvin and get... Uh, I'm going to pull this card in my hand, which lets me switch my active Pokemon for free. Then I'll use the barrel, which will allow me to make sure I have five cards in my hand. This deck is actually pretty solid. And then we can, I'm just going to deal, I'll deal 200 damage. And we just knocked it out exactly. You remember how I was behind before? Now we're exactly tied up now. The game's tied. We're all tied up now. 3-3. Three, three. This deck is for sure a comeback deck, but it's a dude, this deck is so fun to play. I think we're going to win now for sure. And we're definitely going to win now for sure. Chris, thank you for joining my Discord, dude. I appreciate it so much, Chris. Thank you for joining the Discord, my man. That, that means so much to me, dude. Now we're all tied up. I don't know if he can do very much to counter me now. Holy hell, that just did so much damage. Hold, oh my god. How did he attack with that? Wait, what? That did how much damage to me? I mean, it's not the end of the world because I can, I, I get one more Meowth Garada next turn. I did not expect it to do that much damage. 
That's crazy. Uh, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast. This Pokemon costs... Oh. So... Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. We can, we're still going to be okay. We're still going to be okay. I can still attack with Meowth this turn. I'm going to play... I'm going to use Pidgeot EX's ability, which lets me get a card. I can put a card into my hand for my... for my deck. I'm going to get an energy card. That was so scary, though. I did not expect him to knock my... I'll use my his ability to put some damage counters on... Uh, that Charizard, just in case... He, that Charizard's going to be coming in next. I got to make sure I, I realize that. How much damage can I do this turn? 220? I can knock that Charizard out this turn. But if I if if, if I lose this Meowth Scrat, I lose the whole game. So this game is actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I should move. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to have to knock him out. Did I do anything else on my turn? Now I get a prize card. I'm still I'm still losing. And him losing that that uh Radiant Charizard is actually really bad for him. Oh my god, loud. Are you serious? I just emailed you 60 code cards. Dude, are you serious? God damn, man. I know you I know you you don't you don't really use them. That's still so nice, bro. God damn. Thank you for that's really nice of you, man. I appreciate it. That's really cool of you, dude. I, that, that's very, very nice. Okay, so basically, we just have to, we had a certain. Maybe I, maybe I, no, no, my Pidgeot's almost dead. If he, if he has a card that lets, that, if he has boss's orders and he's, he, he's gonna beat me. If he has a boss's orders card, he can swap in. He can. I gotta beat him in the next two turns or else I, I'm like, I'm like mega done. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put damage counters on that Charizard in the back, right? Um, I'm going to use this to get a card from my deck that I need. I don't even know what I need. Like, there's nothing I really need right now. I just need to get more energies. Dude, thank you so much, Loud. That's, that's, that's dope, man. That makes me excited. I really appreciate it, dude. I'm going to put two damage counters on Growlithe here. We'll knock him out right away. I can attach an end. No, I'm not going to worry about that. We're just, just going to attack. 240 damage. He's knocked out. He loses all the energies that, that are attached to him. We just got to knock out one more Pokemon and we win. We get a Babarel. It's one to one. This is a close game. He's got one prize card left. I have one prize card left. I don't know if he can beat me. I think it, it's possible though. I, I don't know what this Charger even does. Oh, he wins. He wins. He wins. He can use his attack. I think he wins. Oh, he's swapping into Pidgeot. Yeah, but remember I said if he had, if he had boss, yeah, it's over. He he wins, dude. He beat me by. I thought I brought it back too. I thought I brought it back. That was a great game. I'm not even mad about it. Oh. it was a one v. We we each had one prize card left, and I barely lost that game. I thought we brought it back. This deck is really fun. This deck is really fun. We just we almost beat them. So my, my rank is gonna go down by like Black a heart. oh yeah, by a little Black bit, see? Heart. Black heart. Dude. We were right there.
I just think I took a, I took way too much and see we we got that we got that quest. Now we're level seven tier unlocked. We are right there too. And you see you get so many free cards by playing. We got this free we got the iron hands by playing and we got the iron valiant by just, by just playing the game. And we're gonna get some free packs here too. We get one free pack. Yo, exit. Thank you so much for being a member for 28 months. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Chad, I love y'all. W community. Dude, there's so many nice people here. Like, that's just the truth. There's so many nice people here. Guys, I'm going to play one more game today, okay? I want to get a win before I end stream. I just got to uh, get a, what, another water. Give me a sec. Be right back. Sorry for the short delay, guys, but we are right back. Exit, thank you for being a member for 28 months. I um I played the TCG when I was younger. And like the the TCG online is, or the TC, the live game where I'm playing here is really good, dude. It's really, really good. Shoot, one sec. Sorry, I had to turn my light off quick. And the final card in the pack. I think, yeah, I already have one of those. It is cool because like you can always collect all the new cards from all the new sets that come out. 
It's very fun. I just can't believe I lost that last game by a little bit. Unfortunate. Firefly, I can't wait to hear about you playing this game. What up, Jess? Good morning. What up, Jess? Top of the morning to you. Jess, what's going on? I, um... Honestly, Firefly, if you're looking for a deck to start with, I think the Lugia deck in this game is kind of busted. I'm not recommending it. You can use it if you want to. It's just, it's really, really good. If you want a deck to, you know, I think Lugia is probably one of the better decks in the out of all the starter ones, but they're all really good. I think Lugia is just like insanely busted, though. This is a good hand to start with because I can put we can evolve Bidoof into the barrel. And I don't have to put energies on him. Hmm. I can't do anything this turn. This is kind of a bad hand. This is sort of a bad hand. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. I just bought these. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. I think they're cool, man. I I realize I like I like Pokemon that are based on flowers. Like Lilligant, Shaman, Venusaur. Or like plants in general. I like Venusaur, I like Breloom. I like grass Pokemon a lot. More than I thought I did. Like Shaman's cool. Um Neoscarada has a flower like on her, on her neck. I, I like flower Pokemon. I don't know. I, I'm like really liking Neoscarada lately. I think she's super cool. Like when I first saw the design for her, I was like, I didn't really like the design. But the design's kind of cool. I think she's really grown on me as a Pokemon overall. It happens like every gen, like. You know when like new Pokemon, like when you when there's like a new Pokemon gen, and like you're like I, I hate the new gen. They don't look like like none of these Pokemon look like look like Pokemon. And then eventually you just like accept that they're Pokemon. And you're like, yeah, it's a Pokemon. That's all. That's all I've been for like uh, all the new Pokemon that are wow. This is a gouging fire deck. I don't even know what that Pokemon even does. I know nothing about gouging fire. Discard my hand. I'm not doing that. I I really have a... This is a bad way to start this. I have a really bad hand. Why is... It, dude, why is everyone using fire decks today? The first guy I face used a fire deck. This guy's using a fire deck. It just puts me at a big disadvantage. Can't do anything about it. But I'm gonna put all those cards in, dude. I'm gonna like literally use every card you sent me. I, I really appreciate it one more time, man. Loud pack rips. The goat, the legend, the man, the myth. They don't call him quiet pack rips. Loud pack rips. Mm. I need I need an Ultra Ball, please. Brigatito. Oh, that's good because we can evolve him. We, okay, we can use Rare Candy, and we can ev we, So what we can do this turn? Right? Hear me out. I'm cooking. I'm in the freaking kitchen. I'm in the kitchen doing some cooking. This is actually gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna put a um. We're cooking with fire. Jess, that is really nice of you. You're. You are the bomb.com.net.edu.org.aol.com. You're so awesome, Jess. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I, I'm grateful you spend almost, like, you're always here. Thank you very much. If you guys want to put some hearts in chat for Jess for me, if we can get some big hearts in chat, I would really appreciate it. Makes a million, Jess.
<laughs> I'm glad you sniped Evelyn too. This guy's a Charizard EX. Uh, okay, so next turn. All right, guys, watch me cook. Uh, probably not though. I'm, I'll maybe I'll cook a little bit. I can use this rare candy to evolve into Miascarata. I don't want to waste. I'm just gonna use this right now to draw totally five cards in my hand. Yes, and then I can use Arvin to get the Master Ball card, and I can also yeah I, okay. And then we're with the Master Ball, I can get Alakazam. Alakazam is one of my prize cards this game. Which means I'm going to have to knock out some of their Pokemon to even have a chance to win this game. Wow, that's really awful. That's legitimately so awful. I don't know what I can... I don't know what to do. To have a chance to win, I'm going to have to, for sure, like... That's such, a, that's such a rough place to be. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Or thank you so much, Jess. So sometimes you need, like... Some decks are built around, like, a few cards, like, always... Like, this deck is built around getting Alakazam on your bench. You want to make sure... That's, like, one of the, the biggest features of this whole deck. And if you don't have that, it puts you at such a big disadvantage. This deck is basically built for that. And without it, like, there's nothing you can really do. It puts, it puts you in a really tough spot. Evelyn, congratulations again on the membership. A membership. Thank you again, Jess, very much. You're so... So awesome! Um, if you guys just joined us too, we did beat, we actually ended up beating, um, <laughs> it is way too early in the morning for you guys to be talking about, it's way too early to be talking about Fortnite in my chat, okay? Way too early. Way too early. Fortnite. At this time of day, you guys talking about Fortnite this early? What the heck are you guys talking about? I think what I should do here... Uh... My god. Put energy on Miascarada. And then we're gonna, um... Just discard my hand, I think. We're in a horrible spot. This is a horrible... Look, this game is horrible so far. Discard this, discard this. I'm gonna go for the Pidgeot. That's not horrible, I guess. I can search my deck for any card that I want. I'm gonna search for Mascarada. I can use the barrel until I have five cards in my hand. This game's not over. This game is not over. Until the fat lady sings. Game's not over till I say it's over. This game is not over. Evelyn, thank you for being a member for 14 months. Yo, sweet. 14 months and growing strong. You're... One of the best people in the world, Evelyn. I'm grateful to have you part of my channel. I'm grateful to have you part of my life. I'm not grateful because I think... Wow, he just knocked me out. <laughs> what is Fortnite? Fortnite is a game that you can play. It's a game. What is Fortnite? <laughs> you never heard of it before? Let me tell you all about it. Let me tell you all about it, Jess. Let me talk to you. Let me tell you about let me tell you a story. Let me let me tell you a, a long story about what it is. Let me let me educate you. 
you don't know what Fortnite is. I don't know what to tell you. That's where all the cool kids are playing nowadays, Jess. All the cool kids are playing Fortnite. Every cool kid in the world's playing the game. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do this. No, I should not have done that. Oh, dude, that's a bad idea. I wasted my super rod. Is it worth it to get a? I don't know. It might have been worth it. I don't know. I'm really not happy with my choice that I made there. If we do win this game, it's by it's literally by luck. Okay. I just, I, if I can knock this Charizard out and I get... I, here's the thing. If we knock this Charizard out, we have a one out of three chance to get Alakazam. I'm so scared. Dude, this guy's got some good cards. Please have mercy on me. Oh, man. This is looking bad. I just want to get a win today before... Katie, I'm so glad you joined stream today. Holy moly. Good morning. Haven't caught a stream in a bit. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing so good, Katie. I'm doing this. Tonight's been a tonight's been really awesome. How have you been? I I, I think it's because I've, I've been streaming like a little bit late, a little bit late at night. I, I hope you've been really good, Katie. It's so good to see you back. I would say things have been pretty dandy. Put the four basic energy cards from my discard pile into my hand. I gotta discard two cards from my hand. What if I do this first? I can play this. Ooh, that's that's really. How many energies do I have in my discard pile? Yeah, that's not worth it right now. Yeah, I I just thank you for being here. It's really good to see you. Life has honestly been mostly really good lately. I need to play here. Play here is we're going to put one of those on this Meowskarata. I'm going to uh, discard this energy right here. And we're going to put 30 more damage counters. Oh, I should not have done that. I should have put him on Arcanine. You ever think like, you guys ever like, like realize you have a brain and you like you use your brain wrong? And then you're like, why is my brain doing the wrong thing? You know? I like when my brain makes the right choices, not the wrong choices. But at least with this, we can discard the stadium card and play. But I, I've been honestly pretty solid, Katie. Oh. <laughs> no, Jordan, here's the thing though. In in theory, right? Here, here's, a, here's the deal. I don't need many turns to actually knock his Pokemon out. Watch. So this turn, he's you, you see how he's got three EX Pokemon? The good thing is here, this turn I'm for sure knocking out his Charizard. I really don't need many cards. Like, I, I don't need many more turns to actually to, to win this game at all. I know it's I know it's kind of crazy how I'm playing this game right now, but I really don't need many. I, I do agree I need, I need to be careful about how many cards I'm drawing. I, I really don't need that many more turns to beat him. I really don't. You are right though. I think I think I do need to be a little bit more chill about this. But um <laughs> Cuz all all I need is knock out I need to knock out all three of these Pokémon and boom, we're going to we're going to win the whole game. I don't need many more turns. But I do agree with your in theory you're right. This is the last time I'm using this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw four more cards. I'm use super, I'm gonna, I'll use Super Rod to, to make these go back in my deck. Look at that. See, we're, we're, I'm, I'm putting cards back in my deck and I'm, I'm taking cards out of my deck. So it's, it's like a balancing act, you know? I'll get a rare candy in my hand. And then, I think we just, we attack and we knock him out this turn. 
I should probably equip this to one of my Pokemon. I'll equip this to Sprigatito, and then we can we can use this card and we'll knock him out. I need to get Alakazam. Alakazam's in here somewhere. I think he's gonna be right here. No! Oh my God! We didn't get him. We didn't get him. He's somewhere in here, dude. Oh, it's so sad. I only had a I had a one out of three chance to get him, and I, I didn't get him. He, he, I think he beats me. No, he didn't beat me. He did not beat me. This this turn we, we we're gonna knock his Arcanine out though. I think. Oh my god. How much damage will I do? I think I should actually. Uh, here's what we do here, right? I can't knock him out. Here's, oh, I guess I, I win. I win. I win. I win. I win. I win. I win this game. I I, I can knock. I, I win this game. Watch this. I need 30 more damage to knock out that Arcanine by attacking him. So I use Metal Scout's ability. I use the ability to put one damage counter or put 30 more damage counters on him. I can knock that Arcanine out in one hit right now. I can knock out that Arcanine in one hit when he comes out next turn. I use this to draw one more card from my deck. Then we attack for 220. We knock out Gouging Fire. I think I can win this game. Please give me Alakazam, please. If, if he uses the... I think I actually do lose this game. He, he's got to put one more energy on him and I lose. I win. 10, 10 more damage. 10 more damage and I would have lost this game. I win this turn. I win this turn. I can do exactly enough to knock him out. I win this turn. I win this turn. So I, I, um, I didn't even need Alakazam to win this game. Can you believe that? Can you believe that I, I'm actually gonna win this game? I, I didn't even draw Alakazam at all. I put 30 damage counters on him. That was a crazy strat we just pulled off. Let's just knock him out, and win. We. Barely won. And Alakazam is going to be down here, right? Oh my god. He was in the bottom row. You know how close that was to me losing? Dude, that was so close to me losing. <laughs> we barely won that too. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yo, Jester Fox. What is going on, my dude? Good morning, Jester Fox. Yeah, we... We basically that game was won by like ten damage. That was pretty crazy. Yo, and we actually we oh we this is the highest I've ever been in. I've never actually reached great tier before. So if you reach great tier rank, you get new shoes, you get some 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 credits. We get some crystals. We get some other credits. We get some... Oh, I'm going to wear those green shoes. Green high tops. And we get some other green high tops. That was funny, though, Jordan. You're like, maybe now you shouldn't... Uh... <laughs> maybe you should stop drawing cards. I can't stop drawing cards, Jordan. What do you want me to do? Wait, is there a difference in like the di wait? Why did it say I unlocked two pair of shoes? Did it not tell me that I unlocked two pairs of shoes? I don't get it, man. I thought it told me that. That's awesome, man. That's cool that I actually hit Greninja rank today. I know, Jester Fox. Are you ready? I'll be watching Saturday and Sunday both nights. I'm watching. I'm for sure watching all of WrestleMania this weekend. Who who do you think's who do you think's gonna win? Like the most, 
important matches. Do you think Sami Zayn's going to win? Do you think that Logan Paul is going to retain? Do you think Cody's going to win finally? Do you have any predictions? I do think Cody's going to win. I think that L Logan's going to retain. I don't know, man, actually. I do think Logan keeps the title all the way till SummerSlam. And I think Braun Breaker is the one that takes it from Logan Paul. SummerSlam, I think we're going to have Braun Breaker versus Logan Paul. for. The, well, actually, yeah, I think so. I hope that Braun Breaker is the one that takes it from Logan Paul. That'd be really cool, in my opinion. Braun Breaker beats Logan Paul. Braun, Braun Breaker versus Logan Paul at SummerSlam would be a huge match. That'd be cool. I don't think Sammy should beat Gunther either. I don't think I don't think so in my opinion. I agree. Gunther easily wins. Can't see Sammy winning. I agree. Totally agree with you. See what I think happens is somehow Kevin Owens cost Randy. I think Randy is about to pin Logan clean. And then Kevin Owens and Randy have a small feud. I think we're going to have Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam this year for the title. I think we're going to have the, the, a really good Orton versus Rhodes program. So I don't think that I don't think I see Randy winning the US title because that would be like a weird thing. But um, trying to think, I'm trying to think besides that. I think Rhea Ripley for sure retains against Becky Lynn. Or yeah, Rhea, Rhea for sure retains. I think Bailey might win. I hope Bailey wins. It, it should be a good WrestleMania this year. I'm excited to watch. I'm excited to watch. I think that Roman's going to go away for a while, just for Fox. I don't think we'll see Roman. We might not see Roman all the way till next WrestleMania. And maybe him and Rock both come back and we finally get Rock versus Roman. Or maybe they do it at SummerSlam. No, I think Rock's busy till next year anyways. Maybe Rock costs Roman. Roman's away till next year and they both come back and they have a, a match against each other. I don't know. I really have no idea what happens. But I think that Roman goes away for a while, for sure. Once he, once he, once he drops the title... I think he's going to be gone for a while. Could be six months, could be... Who knows? But I don't think we'll see him back for a while. For a good while. See, I think what happens... Just, I think, honestly, what happens... Seth betrays Cody. Rome, Rock betrays Roman. I don't know. Maybe not, though. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I really think there's going to be a double turn, though. I think Seth turns on Cody. Rock turns on Roman. You're going to have a double turn. Seth turns heel. Roman turns face. Because what if what if uh, Seth loses his title to Drew? That makes him really bitter. Then Cody cost him the match night one. Those are two reasons why Seth would get bitter and want to turn on Cody. Then the next night, Seth... Decides not to help Cody. It, it's just easy to see that happening. Rock and, Roman, Rock and Roman win night one. Roman loses night two. I love talking about wrestling. Anyways, guys, I have been live for a while. I think it's I think it's about time we wrap the stream up. All right. <laughs> it's been a long night. I really had a good I've really had a good time tonight, and I appreciate you guys so much. We finished Luminescent Platinum, which is really cool. I really enjoyed that game. So thank you all for hanging out with me for Luminescent Platinum. Um, and we actually hit Greninja rank in TCG, which is double cool. So everyone that was here tonight, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for your time. Webcam's going out. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the, thanks for the support. I will be streaming again tonight again. So I'll be back tonight. You guys are amazing and beautiful and wonderful and i can't even express my overall appreciation so thanks for hanging out with me everyone that's still here thank you we're gonna raid somebody we're gonna find a raid 
Firefly, make sure you let me know your thoughts on this game, okay? Give me posted them if you're playing it. If you uh, if you have questions on like any strategies or anything, let me know. I'll, I'm happy to help you. I'm gonna figure out who to raid. Then we will go on the a big parade. Jess, thank you for being here every morning. Thanks for the gifted membership. I hope you have a good end of your week. Ooh, guys, Mystic's playing the Power World update. We gotta go show some love to Mystic. She's doing the... Let's go raid her, okay? I'll catch you in her channel, and then I'll be live again tonight, okay? You guys are the best ever. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Have a really good rest of you guys. Uh, well, have a good start to your Thursday. I thought it was Friday for a minute, but it's Thursday. Have a good start to your Thursday. Have a good start to your weekend. Those of you guys in Australia. And I'll be live again tonight, so... Ta-ta for now. Uh, I'm gonna go pee really quick, and I'll be back. Beacon fam forever. Hope I dropped the right link. Bro, I would I, I know that I know that I do. Sometimes I just feel like I dropped the wrong link sometimes. I think we're good. <laughs> do you want me to, Rebecca? Do you want me to come check your village out? I can boot it up right now. You want me to come see what you're cooking up? Wait, what? Clean your microwave. Wait, what did I miss in chat? Clean your microwave? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? what's wrong with Jessica's microwave? Is it dirty? Jessica, clean your microwave? Wait, did I miss something in chat? <laughs> I must have missed something massive. It must have been a massive thing I missed. I'm like ending my stream and I see a random message like Jessica clean your microwave I, got, I gotta scroll back up and see what you guys are talking about oh my god there was one popcorn kernel in my microwave huh huh Why do I smell popcorn in my house? I don't have any popcorn in my house. The last thing I made in my microwave was some garlic bread. I'm gonna check it out. Hope, are you, listen, 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 listen. If you think there's a ghost in your house because you found one kernel of popcorn in your microwave, I think the most likely outcome is that you probably made popcorn a while ago and one kernel escaped and probably took refuge in your microwave. <laughs> I don't think it means there's a ghost in your house or anything spooky is happening. I think there was just a kernel in your microwave that you missed. Nick, I think there's a ghost in my house. Why? There was a corn kernel, popcorn kernel in my microwave. happens in the morning here, man. If I didn't make popcorn and smell popcorn, I go straight to the ER. I would be like, sweet. I didn't make popcorn, but someone made it. Right, if, if I was home alone and I smelled popcorn and I, someone made me popcorn and there, I was, there was no one here, I would just say thank you and just start eating it, you know? When life gives you the, the popcorn smell or free popcorn, you gotta eat it or just take a big fat whiff.
dude. You know how many people out there would kill to have free popcorn or even like the free popcorn smell? I don't care if it's a ghost. I don't care if it's like your nose, your nose playing tricks on you. I don't care if your nose is taking a you know vacation and it's not working properly. Just enjoy it. Life's too short to ask questions like that. But sometimes you just gotta let it go. Let just let go and let it be what it is. You know, let the let the universe just like handle that stuff. Just enjoy it. You know. Like whether it's like a, a ghost, whether it's like a different dimensional being, whether it's like an ethereal being, whether it's like, you know, maybe you in a different time period that came back to make you make yourself popcorn because you felt bad for yourself. Maybe at one point in your life, you didn't fulfill your potential. So you, your, your future self came back to make you popcorn to apologize. Whether it's like, um, maybe you just randomly have memory lapse and maybe you made popcorn and forgot about it. Who cares? You have popcorn. You smell popcorn. Enjoy it. Life's short. Yo, Shaggy, I went to a movie. I went to the movies like a few months ago. I had some popcorn when I was there. Movie theater popcorn hits like a it hits so hard. There's nothing like movie theater popcorn. It's like some of the best stuff you'll ever eat. I know it's horrible for you, but like if, if you go to the movies and get popcorn, it's pretty elite. And it's also three hundred dollars for a bag or for a container of it, but it's it's good. It is good. But you, you know what? I, I don't judge anybody. So if you enjoy this and it makes you happy, I don't, I'm not judging you. But there's people that I know that go to like the movie theater just to buy popcorn and they leave. I think you should, you could like literally buy so much popcorn and make it at home and almost have it taste as good. But I guess it's never going to be as good as their popcorn is. But you can make, you can go buy popcorn and learn to make it on a stove and almost have it be as good. But it still never has like that authentic, genuine movie theater taste that uh, the movie theater popcorn has. But I do understand that. All right, Rebecca, I'm booting my Xbox up right now, okay? Um, I want to say thank you all very much for being here. You guys are amazing. Thank you all for the stream. I'm going to wrap it up here, and then I'm going to uh, go say out of Mystic, and then I will be laughing it tonight. So, ta-ta, farewell, bon voyage, much love. I hope you guys have a good start to your Thursday, and I'll talk to you guys later. Adios, bye-bye, and uh, all the love for myself. Thank you, guys for, thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all you guys very much. Much love.